shit. How do they expect us to get a good night's sleep with these terrible mattresses? I'd rather be using one of those horrible MAGA my pillows than these bricks they're making me lay my head on here. Still, I wish this were just all a horrible nightmare, but every time I wake up, I'm still here. And they still haven't let me see the others yet. I hope they're doing okay. Hello, Barack. I hope you slept well. Is that supposed to be some sort of joke? Now tell me where the hell I am. I've told you before, you're at the hospital. Well, I suppose institution is the proper word. Uh-huh. And why exactly? And where are my friends at? Well, because this is your home, of course. You and the other patients fell into a short coma for a few days, but all of you finally woke up. That's not possible. We've spent the last few months fighting zombies and the apothecons. This is not our home. These apothecons? All of you have mentioned them to me. Have you all been playing pretend in the yard or something? No, you dumbass. Now, let me see my friends and let me out of here before I use my executive powers to drone strike you. I'm sorry, Barack, but threats are not permitted here. I advise you to be on your best behavior and maybe we'll allow you some time with your friends. And you really must stop with this president nonsense. It's not nonsense. I am the 44th president, damn it. Right. Well, whatever the case, we here at Brookhaven Mental Institution are happy that you are back with us. We will be upping your medication and monitoring you closely for any other signs of trouble. Now, I'm going to go check up on Joseph. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here. Come back. I want to go home. Please, let me out of here. How are you feeling this morning, Mr. Biden? Sleep okay? You know, Jack, for once in my life, I didn't get any sleep at all. And how could I in a place like this? You people have kept me here like a caged animal. Give me some answers. Like I told you before, when you woke up from your comatose state, you are at Brookhaven Mental Institution. You were admitted here some time ago, and we have been giving you quality care ever since. Quality care my ass. This place is a dump, and everything that's came out of your mouth is a damn lie. Why, I'd say you're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. Well, I assure you I am telling you the truth. Anyways, it's time we start talking serious rehabilitation to make your time here wonderful. I'll be blunt with you. Your family doesn't want you to leave. This'll probably be where you spend the rest of your life. You damn liar, my family would never do that to me. I know the truth can be hard to accept. Perhaps having someone to talk to would make things better? The only people I need to talk to are my friends. Let me see them, damn it. Joseph, you need help first and foremost, and we have a qualified psychiatrist on site ready to see you. His name is Dr. Cohen. Follow me, if you'd please. Fine, but only because I want answers and because I can't stand being in this prison cell of a bedroom. All right, Joseph, this is your stop. Head on inside. Dr. Cohen is expecting you. Um, hello? About time you got here. Joe, thank God you're okay. Finally, we're all together again. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. I was starting to think I really was crazy. Well, the jury's still out on that one. George Berry and I have been talking. We all remember the same thing, defeating the shadow man, and then Dr. Monty saying he was gonna send us home after all. And then we woke up here. Wherever here is exactly. I'd understand you or Donald being locked up in one of these places, but what did I do to deserve this? Ah, uh, shut it, George. I haven't gone off the deep end yet. Still, wasn't there supposed to be some doctor we were supposed to meet here? Yeah, we've been in here for a few minutes. Haven't seen anyone. Still, the vibe of this room is unlike the rest of the dark and dreary atmosphere of this asylum. Whoever this doctor is, though, has a shitty taste in music, too. Like, I've heard elevator music more entertaining than this crap. Well, that's not very nice of you, Mr. Trump. Who the hell said that? Turn around. Well, I think we found our missing doctor. Uh, have you been standing there the whole time? My apologies for hiding behind the furniture. When I have a group of patients like this, I like to observe them in their natural state. What a creep. Think of it however you'd like, but it was effective. I have a better understanding of your situation now. I highly doubt that, Doc. Yeah, you sound like a quack to me. Who are you anyways? My name is Leslie Cohen, but for you all, Dr. Cohen is fine. Dr. Hackman, the man who escorted you all here instructed me to get a read on you all, see if I can help any. You don't seriously expect us to listen to a guy named Leslie, do you? Be cool, Donald. We need answers about our situation. Maybe Dr. Cohen here can fill us in. 
I'm just saying the last guy with the surname Cohen, who I trusted, ended up being a snake. Perhaps some fresh air would do us all some good. Ease tensions, hmm? If you'll follow me, we can go to the yard to continue our discussions. I'd like that, but aren't you worried about us escaping? Well, that's not possible, I'm afraid. There are walls erected around the facility, and guards posted at each exit. You think you're not the first patient to ponder leaving. Regardless, it sounds like we agree on a change of scenery. Follow me, please. Here we are. Isn't this much better? I guess so. It does feel nice to not be locked in our rooms for a change. I'd imagine so. Plus, there have been rumors swirling about that the hospital is haunted. Not that I believe in such things, of course, but I'm sure for the believers of the paranormal, it would feel safer out here. Great, now we gotta worry about ghosts too? That's just swell. I don't give a damn about some ghost stories. Listen here, Leslie, what's the fastest way for us to get out of here? I'll give it to you straight, given the severity of your illness. I'd say the odds of you leaving are not good. I'd start getting used to the fact that this is your new home, but don't worry. In the two months that I've worked here, I've been nothing short of impressed with the hard work of the staff here. They will take good care of you, and I will always be available as a resource. Nah, uh sorry, dog, that's not gonna fly. I mean, do you know who we are? The American people won't stand for this injustice. We're presidents, not prisoners. Ah, yes, I've read the files on you four that you believe you're presidents. I suppose I understand the want to feel important, but you four are genuine in your beliefs. This is what we in the medical world call folie à deux. My French is a bit rusty, but it roughly translates to shared madness, which perfectly describes your condition. Get it through your skull, man. We don't have any condition. This is clearly the work of Dr. Monty. He must be punishing us, trapped us in an alternate universe or something. Monty, how exactly do you know that name? He is the director of the facility, though I have never met him face to face. And what's this about punishing you and alternate dimensions? We don't owe you an explanation. You wouldn't believe us anyways. You just want to write some report to diagnose us with some other bullshit so you can collect a paycheck. I care about my patients. That's the reason I dedicated my life to this profession. For some unexplainable reason, I find myself compelled by your story. Nobody else is going to give you the time of day like I will. It's my job to listen after all. So please indulge an old man's curiosity. I don't know, guys. I've about had it with doctors. I agree with Joe for once. Well, I don't see any other options. If we can get through to Dr. Cohen here, we just might have a chance to get out of this mess. I suppose it's worth a shot. All right, Doc, listen closely. This is a long and very convoluted story. And then we woke up here in the hospital. Did you get all that? Incredible. Apothecons, zombies, alternate versions of yourselves. <laughs> and the part where Mr. Biden came back after defeating an evil version of Pee Wee Herman and the devil, who turned out to be another version of him. Some really creative stuff. You four could write a book while you're here. What a waste of time. I knew he wouldn't believe us. Now, I'm not saying you're lying. In your hearts, you four may very well believe what you're saying. I'm just giving suggestions of how to best tell this story. Who knows? Maybe others will find it as interesting as I did. I am glad to see you're able to recall such a long and detailed story after your comas. Your minds are sharp in that regard. Still, we need to talk about more pressing matters. Dr. Hackman told me the staff found some contraband in your rooms after you awoke. Some sort of book written in an incomprehensible language. A pair of aviator sunglasses, a twenty-sided die, and an odd blue rock. You know outside items are not permitted without going through the proper channels first, which you failed to do. That twenty-sided die was given to me by an alternate version of myself. Same with Joe's aviators. Give them back, they're important to us. And that book, the Cronorium holds knowledge not meant for mere mortal eyes. And that rock must be the elemental shard. Doc, this is proof that we aren't making this up. Please, you gotta help us out. 
I'd love to, I really would, but that's not my call to make. How about this? I'll let the staff know about the sentimental value of these items so they keep them safe, and eventually you may get them back. That's the best I can do. Unfortunately, we're out of time today, though. I'll have to escort you back inside, get some rest, and we can follow up next week. I really did enjoy our session today. I very rarely get such an insight into a group like this. Guess we have no choice right now, guys. Let's head back inside for now. Next chance we get to talk, we can come up with a game plan. Another night in this hell. I can't believe I'm actually having trouble sleeping for once. But in a place like this, I don't know if I'll ever get a good night's rest. Still, glad I got to see the guys today. It confirmed that we're not crazy after all. Unless we're all crazy, that is. And that Dr. Cohen fella is interesting. He could be an asset in this place. Well, enough musing to myself before I actually do go crazy. Time to try and hit the hay. Huh? Who, who's there? <laughs> ah! I can't believe I'm doing this. This could cost me my job. There we are. I've never seen a book quite like this. The markings appear otherworldly. I wonder what the importance is. Interesting. This must be the inspiration for the tales my new patients were telling me earlier. Wait a second. The pages, they're changing. How can this be? And it mentions me. This, this can't be true. <sighs> Calm down, Leslie. This must be a bad dream. You must have fallen asleep in your office. I'm afraid not, Dr. Cohen. You just had to go sticking your nose where it didn't belong, didn't you? Dr. Hackman, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I was just... Reading the Cronorium. I admit, I felt its energy too when it first arrived. I read it and learned of my true calling, my destiny. I'm sure you've seen her, haven't you? Out of the corner of your eyes, the little girl wandering the halls. Turns out her name is Samantha, and she's drawn to our new patients. They have been secured in the secret wing of the hospital. Secret wing? Samantha, have you lost it? Even if this was true, why tell me? Because soon you'll be dead anyways. What? Uh, what the? Where am I? Shit, I can't move. Attention all staff and residents. Brookhaven Institute is under attack. Under attack? What's going on here? Dr. Hackman? Who? Who's there? Could it be Samantha? She's real? Either way, I've got to get out of here. There we go. Now to find out where exactly I am and who's attacking the hospital. What on earth? What are those things? Stay back, I'm warning you! Ah! What on earth is going on here? Shit, what are those things? Ooh, that was close. What's going on, though? I was brought here by the hospital staff, and they strapped me to that chair before evacuating in a hurry. Better follow that scream I heard. Barry, is that you? What the fuck is going on? I'll be damned if I'm going to die here. Just what are these nightmarish creatures? Better see what I can learn. Dr. Cohen, is that you? What are you doing here, dressed like one of the patients? George and Barack? Boy, am I glad to see some familiar faces. This is really happening, isn't it? Unfortunately so, but where's Donald and Joe? Over here, guys, they got me good. Give me a hand, will ya? Get up, Donald, no time for napping. Where's Joe? There's no sign of him anywhere. Doc, do you know anything about this? I'm just as in the dark as you three. Admittedly, I went snooping through the items you four had on you when you awoke from your comas. I wanted to give them back to you. I read the strange book, and I did not like what it said at all. Then Dr. Hackman approached me and said something about a girl named Samantha before knocking me out. Samantha? Are you sure? 
If she's here, then maybe she did something to Joe? What would a ghost girl want with him? And how does it connect to these creatures? I mean, the hospital has been completely transformed, for Christ's sake. It's like a twisted reflection of its former self. It's a long story. For now, let's look for a way out. Whoa! You did fit! I will have no mercy on you for your arrogance! It really is, Samantha, and she sure is angry. Can you blame her? Surely she thinks our Joe is Dark Brandon, who did some pretty awful stuff to her back when we played Origins. Are you saying that wild tale you told me earlier is actually true? You four are U.S. presidents who have taken on zombies and other eldritch horrors? We weren't lying, Doc. Now we find ourselves seemingly in another dimension, and Dr. Monty is responsible. Joe is imperative to our mission. We need to rescue him before Samantha does something horrible. If she hasn't already, she sounds pretty pissed. Still, we can't stay here. Once the elevator reaches us, we'll get out of this horrid place. Elevator is currently out of order. Please restart the local power supply. Well, so much for that idea. Don't suppose you know how to get this elevator up and running again, do you, Doc? There should be a breaker somewhere nearby. The power system in this facility is somewhat, uh, rudimentary. Hey guys, over here, we found some better weaponry. But just what are these doing in a mental institute anyways? I don't know, but I found the breaker. Everybody, to the elevator. Well, I prefer escalators over elevators, but anything that'll get us out of here is fine by me. Finally, a break from this madness, though I'm sure it won't last long. All right, Leslie. It's time you start telling us what you know. Just what is this place and what kind of fucked up stuff were they planning on doing to us? You think I know. I'm just as in the dark as you all, perhaps even more so. You seem familiar with this madness. I've only been here for two months, and I've never even seen this part of the hospital. Well, it is true we've experienced our fair share of madness over the past year, but this is unlike anything we've seen before. Usually, we're mowing down hordes of zombies and have at least some idea of what to do. But these creatures, I'm not sure what they are, and this location is unfamiliar to us. I see. We've established this Samantha is seeking retribution against Mr. Biden, but how does Director Monty tie into all of this? Monty, that backstabbing snake, he said he was going to send us home. Basically, Dr. Monty is a cosmic entity, a god in some ways. We helped him defeat the Apothecons, and in return, he sent us here. I assume he's keeping tabs on this dimension in some way, hence this mysterious Director Monty. That would explain his mysterious nature. Like I told you all earlier, I've never met the man. I just received a job offer in the mail for this place, and Dr. Hackman conducted the interview. I never could have imagined the evil hiding in that man's heart, though. To attack me like that and attempt to do God knows what with us. I've made up my mind then. We're going to find your friend Joe and live to see the dawn. I may not look like much, but in my youth, I was a United States Marine. I can defend myself. Well, that's great. You'll be aiding former Commanders-in-Chief. So this will be the most important mission in your life, Marine. Let's go save Joe and get the hell out of here. Let's just hope he's doing okay. Joe is probably scared shitless right now. Well, Mr. President, this is our stop. We don't know what awaits us beyond this door, so let us exercise the utmost caution. Here we go, guys. Keep your weapons at the high ready. The whole hospital. It looks different, corrupted. I will try to guide us around, but this is not the Brookhaven I remember. Holy shit, it's Ted from Transit. I'm sorry, but who is Ted? And what is Transit? It's not important. Either way, he looks deactivated anyways. And the power seems to be out. These doors won't open. Hmm, what is that? Look, over there. That must be Samantha. How do we get in is the question. Fuck it, out of the way. There we go, we're in. I like the way you think, Leslie. Shoot first, ask questions later. Shit, more of these monsters. Man, I wish I could nuke the fuck out of this creepy ass place. Hey, who turned out the lights? Guess it's good our weapons have flashlight attachments. I found a locked door with a keypad. Seems we need a code to gain access. 
I believe that's the security office. Once we deal with these demons, we can look around. I can barely see. This is pretty fucking horrifying. I'm kind of glad Joe isn't here for this. I mean, you're harder to see than the monsters, Barry, given your skin tone. You're lucky I'm too preoccupied fighting for my life to get pissed at you, Donald. Anyways, I found a room earlier that has slots for a fuse to go in. Seems like it's a power source for the doors around here. And the Lord said, let there be light. Let's hope it stays this way. Well, knowing our luck, that's unlikely. Man, I feel like a member of Antifa the way I'm looting this place. Oh, hey, this must be the fuse Barry mentioned. Maybe we can open up some new areas now. Wow, someone must have left the sink running in here. What the? Ah! Holy shit, a fucking alligator. This must be a methed up Florida gator or something. It won't fucking die. I hope you don't get reminded of Ron DeSantis, Donald. Hey, I don't think about that pudding eating, high heel wearing loser anymore. Last I remember, I was up on him by 40 points in the polls. We gotta get home so I can beat him though. Donald, you're high key crazy trying to parkour around an alligator. I think I've found part of the code for the security room, so it was worth it. See you later, alligator. Great. We should try one of the other wings of the hospital and see if we can't find the other half somewhere. I see what you were talking about, Barack. This fuse does open up other parts of the facility, but it seems only one can be opened at a time. Let's check this site out first. Well, shit, lights are out again. Guards up, everyone, and be on the lookout for more of those creatures. This place. I must admit, I did find the idea of shared showers inhumane makes this facility seem more like a prison than a place to get help. Am I tripping, or does this place look like the Gulag from Warzone? Well, if you are tripping, make sure to pass me some of that stuff. I know I could use a hit of that Obama Kush right about now. Got an SMG here, everyone. Eat lead, you freaky fucks! They just keep coming. Kinda like Michelle the last time I paid her a visit. Donald, now's not the time for jokes. You're gonna start a petty squabble with Barack if you keep it up. Thank God for these Molotovs just lying around. Oh, and look, the lights are back. Good, I was getting tired of not being able to see. Holy crap, it's Juggernog. Doesn't look like it's in working order, though. This universe seems much different than the usual ones we visit. No zombies, but stuff like Ted and Juggernog clearly exist. There's no mystery box or pack-a-punch either, apparently. And this location is completely new to us. Different universes. I never imagined the multiverse theory was true. It sounds like you gentlemen have been through many ordeals, especially for men of your position. But that begs the question, how do US presidents end up becoming saviors of the multiverse? Honestly, saviors is a strong word considering we haven't been able to save anything. Things just never seem to go our way. Maybe I spoke too soon. I found the second half of the door code. Good going, George. This just might redeem you for 9-11. Yeah, whatever, Barack. Anyways, security room is open. I'm sure this kind of room looks familiar to you, Barack, the way you spied on me after I won in 2016 and wiretapped my phone. Yeah, whatever, Donald. Keep your conspiracy theories to yourself. Hmm, what's this behind the glass? Holy shit, call me Elon Musk because I just got a fucking flamethrower. Well, after Joe and I's encounter with him at Alpha Omega, I'd rather not think about him ever again. Hey guys, notice these screens? They have different symbols that change with a click of a button. I swore I saw these same symbols on the TVs around the place. Think they're connected? Great deductive reasoning, George. I think you're onto something. Let's just hope President Biden can hold on a little longer while we unravel this mystery. Hello? 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 Guys, where are you? Where are you? And where am I? Where am I? I want my mom. Finally, Joe Biden, I have you right where I want you. Who the hell said that? Tell me where I am. You don't remember me? What you did to me? Well, listen here, young lady. I'm sorry if I sniffed your shoulders once. It was an accident. I'm getting better about personal space. Your voice does sound a bit familiar, though. You will remember me. All of the torment you caused me will be repaid 100 times over. This nightmare you are in will never end, and I'm going for your friends next. Please, no. Let me out of here. No, I promise I have no clue what I did to you. Let's talk this out. You want to talk? Well then, let's play hide and seek. 
I'll hide. You come and find me. Damn it, I don't have time for this. Please, someone help me. Oh, hey, here's one of those TVs. And the number one is labeled on the bottom. Maybe this means it corresponds to the first screen. I don't know about you guys, but this is sounding a lot like an Easter egg to me. Easter egg? But we're in the middle of December. What does Easter have to do with this? Don't worry about it, man. It'd be way too complicated to explain. Just focus on killing these monsters. You know, I'm starting to think I should have stuck to my previous job. Teaching snot-nosed college kids was hell, but it definitely beats this. I sure hope you weren't a professor at one of those woke universities. Even though that applies to like 99% of them. Also, I found another TV. Number two is the Treyarch logo. I'm not sure what you mean by woke. Although there were many a time I caught a student falling asleep. Guess I wasn't as good of a professor as I'd hoped. Don't beat yourself up, Leslie. You seem pretty smart. Your knowledge of this place is paying off big time. And even though you were wrong in your diagnosis of us, you clearly know your stuff and care about helping people. Well, thanks, Obama. That means a lot, really. Found a third TV. Now that we know three of them, can't we just brute force the correct sequence? I mean, in theory, yeah, I suppose so. Let's clear out the rest of these freaks and see what that does for us. Moment of truth, let's see if this works. There we go. Guessed it on the first try. Power restored. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Hackman. Your private quarters are now unlocked. I should have known Gene would have had something to do with this. He must have been in cahoots with Monty from the start. Gene? What a lame-o name. Let's find this secret room of his. Maybe he'll be there and we can get some answers. Hey! You there! What? Who said that? Are you fucking blind? Over here! No fucking way. Ted? We are not on a first-name basis. If I still had my bus, you'd be sitting on the back of it. Oh, hell no. Come here, you shithead. Put me down! Damn, I knew I loved transit for a reason. Ted is hilarious. And just what the hell do you mean by that? I'm kidding, Barack. Jeez. Ted here must have been created in the 60s or something. If it makes you feel better, the cool kids all rode in the back of the bus, like Rosa Parks. As we all know, I met her back in the day. She would have loved transit, too. Yeah, right. Either way, Ted here is about to be put in the scrap heap. Please reconsider. I apologize for my earlier comment. I can assist you. My skills can be utilized to gain access to any part of the hospital, as long as you can find my body. You better be telling the truth. I believe I sense my body behind this door. Please, let us head inside. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Either way, we know what we must do. Let us head inside and confront Dr. Hackman. Let's do this, boys. Well, well, well. If it isn't Dr. Cohen and his merry band of fools. As you can see, I have transcended, shedded my flesh to become so much more. What I was always meant to be, a god. Finding the Cronorium was the best thing to ever happen to me. My god, just look at yourself. Just what are you talking about, Gene? What did this Cronorium tell you? The truth about who I really am, about who you are, Leslie. Have you lost it, man? You're just a quack. Dr. Cohen here is a real hero who cares about those around him. He's proven to us exactly who he is. Thank you, Donald. Still, I want to know what he's talking about. I knew your curiosity would be too much to resist. You see, this reality, it was not meant to become what it is now. These four presidential zomboys were the catalysts for everything. They drew Samantha Maxis here, whose power I will use to ascend to the ether, as it has been written in the sacred pages of the Book of Knowledge. The Cronorium. Now hold on. I've read the Cronorium, and not once have I ever seen you mentioned in it. Donald even controlled the ether for a while, and he'd never heard of this dimension or its residents, and he had the knowledge of all realities. You haven't put the pieces together yet, Barack. I thought you were supposed to be the smart one. You see, 
This dimension was created the moment Dr. Monty sent you home. Before then, this plane of existence did not exist. Though it was meant to be unbeknownst to even us, Dr. Cohen and I had been chosen to be the overseers of this realm. After all, we are two halves of the same coin. No, that's... that's impossible. That can't be true, can it? But then that would mean... No, my life. All of it. The memories I thought I had made. The family I thought I had. Doc. <laughs> hey, keep it together, Doc. It's okay. <laughs> Shit, he's really losing it. <laughs> That's it. Let your mind unravel. Do not worry, though. There is still purpose to your life. Join me. To become whole again, I need you. What the fuck do you mean, whole again? Just, who are you really? You still haven't figured it out. When Monty created this world, he created us. We are representations of him. Cohen is the good aspect, while me, well, you don't need a PhD to figure out what part of Monty I am. You mean you're a version of Monty? Doc, you can't go with him. What choice does he have? His entire worldview has been shattered. He can become all-powerful with me, create and destroy universes as he wishes. We will exist as Monty's phantom. Dr. Cohen, don't listen to him. We know you, know what you stand for, that you are so much more than Dr. Monty. Please, we can defeat him and save Joe. I finally get it. This place, I'm in hell. Whatever you're thinking about doing, Leslie, don't. Absolute power is not worth it. Believe me, I know better than most. And so, the sun sets on a life not worth living. But one can only hope that in its final hour, one last desperate spark of light can show itself. Yes, that's it. Submit yourself to our destiny. Now we shall become one. Leslie, don't do it. I must thank you three proper. And please, pass the message along to Joseph as well. You were the only real friends I had in this life, and I won't ever forget that. So you better save him. What are you talking about? You were right about one thing. I only have one logical choice. The choice that will benefit my friends, and in a way, myself. Because it will make my life, as imaginary as it was, actually matter. Goodbye, Dr. Hackman. No! You fool! What have you done? Oh my god! Doc, what were you thinking? He took his own life. I guess knowing your whole life was a lie is enough to drive anyone mad. Yeah, but guys, think about it. Not only did he go out on his own terms, but he's managed to stop Monty's shadow from becoming whole. Dr. Hackman's plan is ruined. Damn you all. This is not what was supposed to happen. I was supposed to become a god. It was my destiny. Yeah, we've made a habit of defeating villains who think ultimate power is their destiny. Hillary, Bill, the Shadow Man, and now you. Ugh, this isn't over. You may have defeated me, but one way or another your time is coming. Woven throughout the fabric of reality, whether it be this one or another, your fate is sealed. Mark my words, Dr. Monty will learn about this and will destroy you. If the girl doesn't get to you first. Well, there's one threat out of the way, but at a high cost. First Yamato, now Dr. Cohen. We're leaving a trail of blood behind us. We can't blame ourselves. We didn't choose this path. Dr. Monty is solely to blame. And Dr. Cohen was one half of Monty's psyche. If he and Hackman merged together, we'd just be in even more trouble. It's sad the way it ended up, but I don't think there was another way. Right now, we need to focus on saving Joe and stopping Samantha. Yeah, but we have no leads. I believe I can be of assistance. Huh? Oh yeah, forgot you were here, Ted. On the nearby table is my body. Please reattach my head and place me in the machine nearby. Well, you heard the robot. No time to waste. There you go, Ted. Whoa, wasn't expecting a light show. Heh, <laughs> I bet the Middle Eastern villages I droned struck thought the same thing before their lives flashed before their eyes. At last I can move again.
again. This feels nice. Thank you for assisting me. Maybe one day I can go back to driving my bus. It's been a long time. I do remember my last passengers very well, though. There was this old socialist and a know-it-all Jewish man, and I'll never forget the crazy fat conspiracy theorist who claimed the lava had chemicals in it. What the hell are you talking about, Ted? Uh, Ted, how long have you been here exactly? I woke up in this place not long ago. I don't know why or how, but I feel like I am a long way from home. Yeah, we feel you there. Anyways, what's next? I have performed a scan of the area. I have located powerful interdimensional artifacts. I believe they belong to you, yes? Let us collect them. Follow me. Man, this is why I love transit. Ted, you are a certified badass. Please, allow me. There we are. I don't ever want to hear anyone complaining about robots stealing their jobs again. Hey, an open safe? And look, George, here's your 20-sided die plus the elemental shard and some sort of key. Cross-referencing the shape of the key with the different locks in the building, I have come to the conclusion that that key unlocks the church, which is where your magic book is. Wow, Ted, is there anything you can't do? I cannot experience the joy of love. Okay, Debbie Downer, it was a rhetorical question. Let's just head inside. I have never been more creeped out inside a church in my life. Probably because you're a Muslim, you'd be better off inside a mosque. Donald, just shut up, man. Here's the crinorium. Hey, what gives? Fetch me the soul. Samantha, stop this at once and give us Joe back. I don't mean to alarm anyone, but there are zombies incoming. We're all going to die. The fuck we are. My flamethrower and I will turn this place into ground zero if we have to. You three will pay for what you did to me. You will join your friend Joe soon. What the hell did you do to him? Don't tell me he's... Dead? Oh no, not yet. His suffering will become absolute. Not only for what he did to me, but for you fools teaming up with Monty. You four are monsters that must be stopped. This is all a huge misunderstanding, Sam. That wasn't Joe who said and did those creepy things to you. Well, it wasn't this Joe anyways. And yes, we did work with Monty, but we were being tricked. Yeah, what Donald said. Please, Samantha, we know the pain you've gone through. We can work together to make things right. Enough of your lies. Clearly my minions aren't enough to destroy you. Come find me if you really want to save your friend. Oh fuck, look out guys, it's a blight father. Here comes another one. We are absolutely fucked. Fuck off with that loser energy, Ted. We just showed that blight father who its daddy is. Now let's take the crinorium and get the hell out of here. Okay, well where is Samantha waiting for us at? I believe I sense otherworldly energy nearby. There is a secret room in Dr. Hackman's office that gives a direct path to her. Ted, if I wasn't a raging robophobe, I'd kiss you right now. You better keep those views on the down low when we get home, Georgie. You're likely to get canceled. Darn it. I was really hoping for a kiss from famed war criminal George W. Bush. Haha, <laughs> good one, Ted. Oh shit, is that bookcase moving? How cliche. Well, guess this is it. Let's go get Joe back. Looks like we're going underground, boys. It seems we are in a sewer. I hope my circuits don't get wet. Well, I guess this is where the gator came from. Shit, more freaks! Keep moving, I got our six. All right, now come on, I feel like we're close. She is behind this door. I give us a 17% chance of success. What the fuck is that thing? It looks like a bigger pile of trash than the Democratic Party. It is my rage-given flesh. 
Prepare to meet your end, presidential zomboys. There's some adrenaline shots nearby. This shit makes you more cracked than Hunter Biden. Oh, fuck. That's it. Nobody throws shit at Donald J. Trump and gets away with it. Just dodge and weave, Donald. I've been doing it since 2008 when that reporter threw his shoes at me. I do believe our firepower is not optimal for our current situation. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Don't lose hope, Ted. George even told me if we kill this thing, he'll give you that kiss. I said nothing of the sort. Make your jokes while you can. It won't save you from what is coming. Shit, she might be right. I don't know how much more of this we can take. We can't give up. Joe is counting on us. It is a shame you three will die here, while Joe suffers for all eternity in the void. That's my VP, dammit. We will stop you by any means necessary. We've lost Joe once. It's not happening again. That's my VP, dammit. We will stop you by any means necessary. We've lost Joe once. It's not happening again. Barack, is that you? I can hear you. Can hear my you. friends, they're fighting hard for me, even now. Even now. Fuck! This thing is just too powerful. I'm starting to break. Damn it. There's got to be something I can do. I can't just sit here idly by while they throw their lives away for me. Think, Joe. Think. Think. Wait a minute. Of course, that's it. I truly am sorry, Samantha, but I won't let you kill me and my friends. Here goes nothing. Biden! Blast! Oh, fuck! Here it comes! Goodbye, cruel world! Whew, got here just in time. This cannot be you escaped. There's no way you're that powerful. You're just a creepy old man. Never underestimate a Biden blast. Now, Sam, if you'd just listen, I could explain everything. How this is all just a big misunderstanding. No, I tire of your lies. You four are clearly stronger than I thought. You may have won the battle, but I will return. And when I do, I will be far stronger than you could ever imagine. Holy shit, Joe, do you know how to make an entrance? Yeah, for real. Tearing a hole in the fabric of reality, defeating a giant monster, then telling Samantha off. You continue to surprise me every day, Joe. Question, though. How'd you get your clothes back? That I'm not sure of. I just woke up and they were back on. Well, I sure hope that happens to us, too. I'm not a t-shirt guy. I feel naked. So, uh, what happened between the time I disappeared and you all fighting this giant monster? That's a long story, but the short of it is that we got the Cronorium and Elemental Shard back. This hospital was a dimension created by Monty to make us think we were crazy. And Dr. Cohen and Dr. Hackman were the two halves of Monty's psyche given physical form. Whoa, really? So where are Cohen and Hackman then? Dr. Hackman went evil scientist mode on us, and to stop him from gaining full power, Dr. Cohen took his own life. We assume because one half was destroyed, the other simply ceased to be. Yeah, and then Ted here joined us. Uh, Ted? Yeah, the robot from transit. Say hi, Ted. Wait a sec, where's Ted? He's gone. We didn't even get to really thank him for helping us. Well, I think we have bigger things to worry about, like where the hell do we go from here? Well, I think that answered my question. We've never seen a portal of this color. Do we trust it? Not sure what other choice we have, Hussein or Barack. We've stepped into random portals countless times now. What's one more time? Maybe this one will finally be a way home. Where the fuck are we now? I, I, I don't know, but it's cold as fuck. Well, safe to say we're not out of the woods yet, boys. I sure hope we're getting close to somewhere we're warm. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll make it very long in just these t-shirts. <laughs> I've never been so c cold in my life. You lucky b bastard, Joe. I have half a mind to just take your blazer from you. Guys, this is n n no time for p p p petty squabbles. We have to conserve our energy to stay warm. Wait a second, look, in the distance. 
Yippee! We're saved! Come on, guys, let's hurry up before we freeze to death. Wow, look at this place. It's a damn winter wonderland in here. And that nice burning fire, boy, does that feel good. It's hard to believe, but it's really almost Christmas. We've been on this whole saving all of reality quest for so long. It's easy to lose track of time. I would love to be home spending Christmas in Florida right about now with my family. Yeah, I feel you there, Donnie. I'm sure Michelle and my girls, hell, the entire nation is worried sick about us. They probably think we're dead if we've been gone for this long. So uh, have we just barged into someone's house? Seems like someone lives here. You're damn right someone lives here. Who the fuck said that? <clears throat> I'm right in front of you. You like to just break into people's homes, do you? You trying to make the naughty list or something? Ah! It's a creepy little gnome. A gnome? Really? Joe, that is very clearly a Christmas elf. Right. Don't ever get me mixed up with one of those dirty gnomes ever again. Great, and he's racist against gnomes, too. But for real, how is this possible? Just what is going on here? What? You've never seen an elf on the shelf before? Uh, yeah, fake elves that you buy from Walmart. Fake? Nah, mate. Those are disguises. How else do you think the big man keeps an eye on everyone? He can't do it all on his own. We're his eyes and ears out there. The big man? It, you don't mean Santa? Joe, Santa isn't real. This is clearly some tweaker with a birth defect. Not real? Buddy, you're lucky I have a bit of restraint, or else I'd have to put the hurt on you. Now, I'll ask again. What are you blokes doing in my home? Well, we didn't mean to intrude, Mr. Uh... My name's Larry. Larry? I was expecting something like Buddy or Happy or something more elf-like. Oh, something more elf-like, huh? Well, gee, you must have spent many hours at elf practice to learn what qualifies as an elf-like name. Sorry, just ignore George here, Larry. As I was saying, we went through this blue portal and it brought us to wherever the hell this is. And as you can see, we're not really dressed for the snow. So as soon as we saw this place, we just came inside for warmth. A blue portal, you say? Hmm. That could only mean one thing. Listen here, you four. I hate to ask humans for help, but it seems I have no other choice. The entirety of Christmas depends on it. Oh, hell no. I just want to go home, not be dragged into another crazy adventure. But Donald, didn't you hear the man all of Christmas depends on us? And I can buy anything I want for Christmas. I'm a billionaire for crying out loud. OK, Scrooge. Christmas is about more than the presents. It's a magical time of year. And if we don't help out, Billions of people worldwide may never get to celebrate Christmas again. Ah, uh, fine. What do we need to do, Larry? I'll explain on the way there. I seriously hope you don't expect us to go back out into the cold, do you? Oh, right. I forget you humans are sensitive little babies when it comes to the cold. Fine. Hang on a second. What the hell are you doing, you little freak? Pipe down, will ya? Let me focus. I feel all tingly inside. I sure hope you know what you're doing, Larry. Of course I do. I'm Larry the fucking elf. Now stand perfectly still. Whoa, nice threads. Barack finally got a bit of that white privilege, I see. Oh, shut up, Donald. Still, I do look pretty good, don't I? Beats my old tan suit, that's for sure. Well, my new look is pretty simple. Thankfully, I don't like to be extra around the holidays, and it'll keep my head nice and toasty. What the hell, Larry? Why am I wearing a fucking jack-o'-lantern sweater? Well, my bad. Even I make mistakes. Truth be told, I never wanted to be an elf. I've always wanted to be a dentist. Don't worry. Joe will get over it. I assume these new clothes aren't just for looks, though. Correct? They're made out of magical thread, and they'll keep you warm in even the most frigid of temperatures. Traversing the North Pole won't be a problem for you lot now. So we really are at the North Pole, huh? Well, thank you, Larry. These will come in handy. My black ass is not meant for the cold. Well, now that that's settled, we can get a move on. Santa's workshop isn't far from here, and time is of the essence. All right, guess we're doing this. We're really going to Santa's workshop. This may just be the craziest day of our lives, which is really saying something considering all we've been through. I just hope I don't look like too much of a dope in front of Santa with this stupid sweater. I've always been a believer. I'm sure your outfit will be the least of your worries when it comes to looking like a dullard in front of Santa. 
Anyways, let's mosey on out of here. Well, these clothes definitely make a huge difference. It feels like it's 80 degrees out here. You're welcome. That's some genuine elf magic for you. Uh, question for you, Larry. I know elves are supposed to be small, but you're like super small. Is that common? You're right. Most elves are about half the height of an average human. Very rarely, though. Some of us are born this size and are outcasts among elf kind. We can't help in the workshop, you see. I want to change public perception on us little guys, though. So I'm hoping by fixing things, I'll gain the respect I deserve. Plus, I really don't want to be confused with gnomes anymore. What's with the gnome hatred? Well, I met this one gnome named Melvin, right? Real creepy bugger. Just rubbed me the wrong way. That was my one, and thankfully only encounter with one of those ugly little wackos. Okay then, seems a bit racist, but whatever. So what's exactly going down in Santa's workshop that requires our help? I'm glad you asked. It's a real shit show. First of all, Santa's missing. We haven't seen him in about a month. It's like he just up and vanished. That's horrible. Aye. And to make matters worse, this weird guy comes in saying that he's in charge of the workshop now, that Santa retired, but I don't believe it for a second. Calls himself the Toy Maker. Apparently he has a bit of history with the workshop, so most of the elves just took his word for it. But he has turned the place into a sweatshop. Conditions are horrible, and wages are unfair. The joy that used to permeate the air has been sucked out. Quality of the toys made have been reduced. Hell, we've started importing stuff from China, and letters from children are no longer being delivered. I can see why you've enlisted the help of the presidential Zomboys then. We'll talk to this toy maker and force him to spill the beans. Well, it wasn't me who reached out to you. That portal you mentioned? That's something Santa has been known to do. Now that you mention it, you four do look a bit familiar. You guys are US presidents, right? Yes, sir. And we've been traveling the multiverse for quite a while now, usually fighting hordes of zombies or whatever else comes our way. Our lives have been pretty tough. I see. Well, if he's truly alive, then I see why Santa reached out to you. You see, the toy maker hasn't been impressed with the way things have been going down in the workshop since he took over for obvious reasons. He released a mysterious compound into the water supply, and a large number of elves have become what can only be described as undead. Sounds right up our alley, then. I might feel a little bad about killing zombie elves, though. Once we find out Santa's whereabouts, he'll be able to turn things right. Anyways, the workshop is just a little bit further ahead. I'd keep a weapon handy if I were you. The place will likely be crawling with zombies. And do not underestimate the toy maker. He isn't a mere mortal. He's attained some of Santa's powers and will do God knows what with them. Well, he's about to meet his match then because we've defeated demons and wannabe gods. We'll show him who's boss. Look guys, there's the workshop. <gasps> Zombie elves! No time for crying, Joe. Lock and load. I still can't believe we're about to enter Santa's workshop. I've dreamed about this ever since I was a little kid back in 18-odd-6. Of course, back then, Santa wasn't known for his red outfit and white beard. That look was invented by Coca-Cola in the 1930s. Wow. Thanks for the history lesson, Ghost of Christmas Past. But I think we have bigger things to worry about, like the zombified elves. I wonder if Element 115 is responsible for turning the elves into zombies. Element 115? Never heard of it. Either way, we're not here to sightsee. We have to get inside and confront the toy maker. So, uh, Larry, are you gonna be chilling on my shoulder the entire time? Don't worry, Georgie. You won't even know I'm here. Besides, the last thing I want is to be stepped on. I heard Donald likes to be stepped on by Russian prostitutes. Fake news, Obunga. Oh, what's this? Yo, Joe, this present is for you. Really? I hope it's a pack of Depends. Speed boost. Oh, man. It was just a power-up. Yeah, but whose voice was that announcing the power-up? Never heard that one before. That was the toy maker. We must hurry inside and confront him. It's Christmas Eve. We're running out of time. 
You heard the elf, guys. Let's go. This toy maker is going to get a piece of my mind for trying to ruin Christmas. Shit, more zombies. Let's head inside, quick. Holy crap. Someone pinched me. I must be dreaming. Ow! Donald, it was a figure of speech. Oh, my bad, Joe. I totally didn't know that. So this is it, huh? Santa's workshop. Looks pretty desolate, considering it's Christmas Eve. So we just need to figure out where this toy maker is, then. Looking for me, are you? Hey, who said that? Show yourself. Welcome, Presidential Zomboys. I do hope my workers weren't too much of a bother on the way in. They get a bit cranky when they're hungry. That's him, all right. That's that rotten toy maker. Such harsh words, my small friend. You wound me. Now, hold on a second. You called us the Presidential Zomboys. How do you know who we are? Because it is my job to know. Oh, yes, I have been watching you for a long time. I know things about you that you wouldn't believe. Like how President Biden still wets the bed. That's pretty damn believable. Now, are you going to step aside peacefully, or are we going to have to do this the hard way? And why would I do that? There's much work to be done. After all, tomorrow is Christmas. You and I both know you don't give a damn about Christmas. Now, I don't know what you did to Santa, but you better believe we're going to find out. I haven't done anything to him. He left of his own free will. He finally recognized my genius, it seems. Liar! Believe what you want, little elf. It matters not. This was fun, but I must get back to my work. With all of the elves around here succumbing to Element 115, I must finish the preparations for the last Christmas. The last Christmas? Unless you're talking about the song, then I don't like the sounds of that. No time to explain, I'm afraid, but thank you for stopping by. My workers will be sure to keep you entertained, though. Toodaloo. Well, shit, now what, Larry? We have to stop him, obviously. And I know just what we need to do. For now, try not to die. Damn that toy maker. Nobody can replace Santa, especially that hipster-looking freak. Joe, aren't hipster weirdos like your primary voting demographic? No time for politics, you two. We have a job to do. So, Larry, what is it we need to do to defeat the toy maker? Well, first things first, you're gonna need to arm yourselves. Those dinky little pistols won't last forever. As I'm sure you know, there's a magical weapon box around here that can help you boys out. I think the toy maker created it for some sadistic reason. Well, that sure sounds familiar. We'll use his own creations against him then. Ooh, a present, and it has my name on it. Bruh, a sniper rifle? This is worse than a lump of coal. Yeah, I think I'll take my chances on the mystery box. The Razorback, I'll take it. Fetch me their souls. Oh shit, gotta get a weapon, quick. Hell must have frozen over because these hellhounds are covered in ice. I'm so sorry, little pups. I wish I didn't have to use these weapons of war against you. I can't imagine the reason for anyone to have a gun like this that holds 100 rounds in the chamber. 100 rounds in the chamber, Joe? How stupid are you? The chamber only holds one round. I really don't think you should speak on gun control ever again. My point still stands. I have some sympathy for the kids who won't get to experience Christmas this year, George. But on a slightly different topic, I think I found the room where they make all the coal for kids like Donald. Damn, MC Stammer, could you talk any slower? Is your age finally catching up to you? Speaking of dementia patients, I found a poster for the best Christmas movie ever, Die Hard, starring Bruce Willis. Whoa, Donald, too far. Besides, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. The fuck it isn't. How could you even say that, Barack? How the hell is an action movie like Die Hard a Christmas movie? I'm glad you asked. For starters, it takes place during a Christmas party. Not to mention the soundtrack has many Christmas staples in it, like Let It Snow and Winter Wonderland. And at the end of the movie, it actually snows, and John McClane reconciles with his family, which is a positive message for the Christmas season. Who the hell cares? Die Hard sucks anyways. Damn, George, I thought you of all people would like it, considering it's about terrorists trying to blow up a tower. Holy shit, Sleepy Joe coming in with a haymaker. But for real, the actual most goaded Christmas movie of all time is the one starring yours truly, Home Alone 2. I mean, who can forget such iconic lines such as, down the hall and to the left. Kevin McAllister would have been doomed without my help. 
Donald, you and I both know you were only in that movie because that was the only way you would let them use the Plaza Hotel that you owned in it. Fake news. They begged me like a dog to star in it. Enough, both of you. Your petty squabbles are giving me a damn headache. Let's take the elevator. I'm sure we'll be able to find some useful stuff upstairs. I think you're starting to rub off on him a bit, George, but you heard the man. Let's go. Don't worry, Larry. I'm the coolest guy here, so it'll do you some good sticking with me. Right, whatever. I don't need lessons on being cool. Thank you very much. Damn, Santa's workshop is looking more like Santa's warehouse. What the fuck? Bathroom breaks prohibited? The toy maker is really giving the elves piss bottles like this is Amazon. Oh, you don't like my business practices. An elf's work is never done, so they can't afford to take bathroom breaks. Damn you! I promise, on behalf of every elf slaughtered today, I will make you pay. You tell him, Larry. We're gonna hit him with the force of 1,000 drone strikes. There are some weird perk drinks in this place. I've never even heard of half of these before. These special elixirs were concocted to increase productivity amongst the elves. I see. Say, Larry, what is this? Harvesting Christmas energy. That's some genuine naughty energy in there. We've repurposed naughtiness into something useful, a renewable energy source. If you free it, it can be used to power up nearby voltmeters. All right, well, it's been released. Now what? The energy will be attracted to naughty actions. In this case, killing. So in other words, slaying these freak bags. Say no more. I can slay zombies all day. Well, high as fuck, might I add. You know, Barack, you remind me a lot of Santa, actually. You know, I can agree with that sentiment. I am a lot like old Saint Nick, except instead of dropping presents out of a sleigh for children worldwide, I drop bombs on kids in the Middle East. Jesus Christ, no. I was gonna say because he likes to take a hit of that magic mistletoe, if you know what I mean. Yeah, ignore him, Larry. Obama has a fucked up sense of humor. Hey, I found some sort of doohickey. Now let's get the hell out of this cage. That looks to be like a part for the experimental new toy we were prototyping before Santa disappeared. It was deemed too dangerous for mass production, though. Maybe it could help in the fight against the toy maker. Now that you mention it, I think I found a similar looking piece in a closet earlier. If it's as dangerous as you say, then it'll be perfect to use against the toy maker and his army. Oh yeah, Larry, what is it we're looking for exactly? You said you had a plan to defeat the toy maker. That's right. There is a powerful artifact being sealed away inside Santa's vault, the snow globe. It's not your average knick-knack, though. This snow globe has the power to trap a soul inside of it. Sounds a lot like the summoning key, to be honest. Well, I found Santa's vault, but it's locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Where's the key? Santa usually kept it on his sleigh, which is parked out front. Oh yeah, I saw that before we came inside. I think the gate was locked behind another one of those voltmeters. We'll have to find another one of those naughty essences, I think. Christmas must have come early, boys, because I just got the Ray Gun Mark II. Nice, Joe. I found the naughty essence in here, by the way. We can begin escorting it whenever. Oh, my stars, I must have been an extra good boy this year. I got the Blundergat, too. We can totally start escorting this naughty thingy. I'll decimate any of Santa's little helpers that try to stop me. Just remember, those are my brethren you're talking about. Try and show some respect for the dead. Didn't you say you were an outcast among the rest of the elves? Why do you even care? Doesn't mean I want them to die. Right about that. What do you even do if you can't help in the workshop? I mostly just sit around in my cabin all day playing Fortnite. They just brought back the OG map last month and it was a blast. What? They brought back the classic map and we missed it? I have such fond memories of dropping at Trump Tower and getting so many kills. Actually, they removed Trump Tower when they brought it back. I forgot that place was named after you. What a load of bullshit. The Wokies over at Epic Games must have gotten triggered that everyone called it Trump Tower. You know, my life is a lot like Fortnite. I was cranking a 90% approval rating after Al-Qaeda double pumped the Twin Towers. Jeez, you four have six senses of humor. I wouldn't be surprised if all of you are on the naughty list. Oh yeah, I got the Ray Gun Mark III. This makes up for the other George getting it when we were at Gorod. Hell yeah, Barack, seems like Democrats stay winning today. Anyways. I've started escorting this naughty orb. That toy maker has a sick sense of humor, putting a nail gun in the box. Like this isn't even a weapon, it's a tool. Stop bitching, Donald. If it kills zombies, it's good enough. Now let's go get Santa's vault key. We're nearly there, boys. I can't believe I get to see Santa's sleigh up close. 
Now hold on a second, Joe. I thought you told us back when we were locked in that closet in Siberia that you were scared of Santa. It was a SpongeBob reference, you nincompoop. Who could be scared of Santa? I mean, he only watches your every move to make sure you're not misbehaving, knows when you're asleep or not, and breaks into your house to leave gifts. Well, Jesus, Joe, when you put it like that, he sounds like the creepiest dude in the world. Let's just open his vault already. Hey, guys, I got the last part for this toy from a present box. It looks like the winter's howl. It better do more damage than that piece of shit, though. I'm opening the vault. Let's see what Santa has locked away. All right, here we are. What kind of stuff does Santa have locked away? Well, I see a pack-a-punch machine. And, oh my goodness, the naughty and nice lists. Yo, we should see which list our names are on. Absolutely not. If you did that, I'd have to kill you. Geez, okay, we get it. Don't worry, guys, with all the good we've done this year, I'm sure we're on the nice list. We better be, or I'm gonna give Santa an uppercut and knock his stupid beard off. Will you just stop talking, Donald? Saying things like that will definitely get you on the naughty list. Anyways, look there, on the table. I'm guessing this is the magical snow globe? Aye. It looks like just an ordinary snow globe to me. That's the point. But in reality, its power is immense. It can trap souls inside, but only those of people with wickedness in their hearts. Well, Donald, you better stay away from this thing. Joe, you're the purest guy here. How about you hold on to it? Screw you, Abunga. Gee, that's a big responsibility, but you're my bro, so I trust you trust in me. Yippee, I collected a magical snow globe. Good for you, Joe. So, Larry, what's next? How can we draw the toy maker out? Well, first, you will need to get some better weapons. Perhaps take advantage of this pack-a-punch machine. The toy maker is sure to throw even tougher obstacles in your way, and your current guns just won't cut it. You'll be like Santa trying to deliver presents without Rudolph guiding him. Completely fucked. Ooh, I want to meet Rudolph. Where are the reindeer at anyways? A few of the reindeer escaped around the time the zombie outbreak happened, including old Red Nose. But they couldn't have gone too far. We keep collars on them to prevent them from flying unless they're attached to the sleigh. But that's a problem for later. For now, we deal with the toy maker. Well, you heard him. Come on, guys, let's go. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm pretty much all geared up for the battle ahead. The Ray Gun Mark II and Blundergat will make short work of the zombie elves. Haha, <laughs> get it? Short work? Because they're elves? Okay, Joe, that was just horrible. We should probably get out of this cramped ass vault before we become zombie lunch. Well, maybe I'll take just a quick peek while nobody's looking. Wait, what? My name is on the naughty list. Oh, hell no. I better switch them. I'm sure nobody will notice. Attention! Someone has tampered with my naughty and nice list. Emergency lockdown systems engage. Ho, ho, ho! You're going to die, fucker! Oh, now you've done it. I told you not to fuck with the lists. Donald, your name was on the naughty list, wasn't it? Of course not. I saw your guys' names on the naughty list. I was just trying to help out. What a load of malarkey. Now we're trapped in here. Yeah, I feel like an inmate at Guantanamo Bay right now. Larry, how do we disable the force fields? That's the thing. You can't. Only Santa can do that. Great. Thanks a lot, Donald. They just keep coming. Who knew Santa had so many elves? Just keep mowing them down till none remain. I'm so sorry, little guys. I hope Santa can restore you to life when we find him. If we can find him, which is going to be pretty fucking difficult when we're locked in the workshop. Wait, what the... The force fields, they've been disabled. Santa, are you here? I'm afraid not, my little friend. It is I who has released you. Please, come to the lobby. I'd like to talk. The toy maker. Guess this is it, guys. Let's go save Christmas. Oi, toy maker. Show yourself. We're ready to kick your ass. Hello again, my presidential pals. Toy maker. Just who are you, and what do you want from us? And why are you so hell-bent on ruining Christmas? I've done nothing of the sort. In fact, I'd say I've made Christmas ten times better. By turning Santa's workshop into a nightmare for the elves to work in? Yeah, you've taken all the magic out of this place. And you said earlier this was gonna be the last Christmas. What are you planning? Well, when I said last Christmas, I was only partially telling the truth. Christmas as you know it will end. But I have my own plans. 
Just what are you planning, you rotten fiend? You see, Christmas is more than just a holiday. It's a lucrative business model. Santa spent all these years making presents for free when he could have been profiting off them. You may not know this, little elf, but I was here long before you. Around the time of the first Christmas, I was Santa's closest friend and was responsible for building all of the toys. I couldn't believe it, though. When that fat bastard told me that the billions of toys I had created would just be given out for free, imagine the money we could have made together. So that's it then, it's all about money to you. Normally I'd commend you for being a wise businessman, but Christmas is about sharing joy with others, not profits. It's about righting an injustice. I tried to convince Santa that what he was doing was foolish, and what did he do? He locked me up in that damn snow globe. Luckily, the old man underestimated my power. I broke free about 30 years ago and began planning my revenge. As they say, idle hands are the devil's workshop. You probably deserved it, man. I mean, look at what you've done to this place. So many dead elves because of you. You're a monster. That's just rich, coming from you. How many bodies have you four left in your wakes? How many civilians dead in far-off lands that you wouldn't dare take responsibility for, simply because they're not Americans? You think being president gives you immunity for your crimes? Pretty much, yeah. Shut up, Donald. Listen here, we had to make tough choices, and we're not exactly proud of every decision we made, but they were often made with the greater good in mind. Is that so? You may be able to use that excuse for your time as president, but let us take a closer look at what this greater good has gotten you. Hey, turn those lights back on. What the, where the hell have you taken us? Gaze upon the stage and bear witness to the consequences of your actions. You think you're innocent, right? Well, let's put that claim to the test. Remember poor, poor Yamato? Presidential Zomboys. Why didn't you save me? I, I thought we were friends. I see now that my life meant nothing to you, and I died for nothing. That's... that's not true. Yamato was going to die on that island whether we were there or not. But we were able to help him bring honor to his name. He died a hero, and he knew that. He helped us save George's life and was proud to be an honorary zomboy. Well, that's all right, then. And what about your other selves? Particularly the Joe, who was formerly known as Dark Brandon. He is suffering for all eternity in the Dark Aether because you four left the summoning key on the table. I knew I should have destroyed you fools when I had the chance. Curse you, presidential zomboys, for working with Dr. Monty and condemning me to an endless hell at the hands of court effects. Dark Brandon sacrificed himself of his own free will to atone for his past. We were able to provide him with the friendship that he longed for during his final days. He made the deal with court effects knowing one day he'd have to pay that price. Well, that's all right then. Well, I'm sure you haven't forgotten the good doctor of Brookhaven. Another good man dead because of you four's journey. And not only that, you destroyed his mind with the truth before he took his life. Why couldn't you all just let me live in blissful ignorance? I never wanted to be dragged into your madness. Dr. Cohen was a part of Dr. Monty and was created right after we beat the Shadow Man. He deserved to know the truth. While it is sad he died, he found meaning in his life at the end when we stopped Dr. Hackman. Well, that's all right then. Enough of the games, toy maker. Now clearly these boys have been through a lot. No point in making them suffer by digging up painful memories. Take us out of this charade and face us like a man. <laughs> As you wish, stupid elf. You ready to finish this, you freak? I am. I have a couple new toys I'd like you to play with. Once they hit the market, kids will be dying to own one. No more toys. Give up your powers and fix this mess or we end you. No can do, I'm afraid. I am a very busy man. I will take great pleasure in watching your demises, though. Farewell, presidential zomboys. Your journey ends here. Shit, what's going on? Look, over there, the giant nutcrackers are moving. Those must be what the toy maker was referring to. Well, we'll just have to break them apart. Like how Donald probably did with his toys when he didn't get his way as a kid. Oh, please, Barack. 
I didn't get toys. I got checks for $1 million every Christmas. Well, that explains a lot. But guys, am I the only one thinking our guns aren't even putting a dent in these guys? Let me try something. Chill out, nuthead. Ignoring that awful pun, I think that gun is working. Good shit, George. You keep turning them into popsicles and we'll destroy them. What are you doing to my lovely creations? Sending them to the metaphorical wood chipper, you creep. And when we're done with these two, we're gonna come crack your nuts. You tell them, Joe. You clearly don't know enough about us if you think two giant nutcrackers can stop us. We've defeated demons, aliens, giant spiders, and so much more. Bruh, they keep trying to drop giant chestnuts on us. Too bad this wussy toy maker's own nuts haven't dropped yet. Silence. You will not make a mockery of me, you utter buffoon. Sorry to give you guys the cold shoulder. That was just horrible. Stop joking around George and shoot the damn things. Yo, one of the nutcrackers has been destroyed. Kind of like what me and George did to the Middle East. Come on, guys, focus. We just need to take down this last one. That's big talk coming from you, Joe. Considering you lose focus every five seconds, but you are right. I'm gonna show this big wooden fuck the power of the dual wheeled rangers. Like we're in an OGMW2 game. He's frozen. Give him all you've got, fellas. Eat my ray gun, Mark II, you motherfucker. We did it, Toymaker, come on out. Your toy soldiers have been defeated. This can't be happening. I put everything into those toys. Just to be crushed by you fools. I don't understand. Why does nobody share my vision for this world? I was going to turn this workshop into an economic powerhouse like I had done back in the States. Hold on, what do you mean, like you did in the States? So it was you the whole time. I knew it. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about, Donald? Do you know something we don't? The toy maker put up a good act, but he was sloppy in concealing his identity. The clues were all there. I'm still not following. Me either. Huh, you're more perceptive than I thought, you overgrown pumpkin. Your mistake was underestimating me. It's a trap the Democrats fall in far too often, which makes sense, considering you are one. Hold on, just what are you talking about, Donald? Spill the beans already. I'll let him do it. The jig is up. Take off that stupid disguise. Guess there's no point in it anymore. My plans are ruined thanks to you. Jeff Bezos? I can't believe it, but why? And more importantly, how? I wasn't lying earlier. At one point, I was the toy maker here at Santa's factory, and he did trap me in that damn snow globe. I managed to escape, however, and after that, I played the waiting game. I built up my company at Amazon, which would help me get my revenge. You see, despite his existence, as people grow older, they tend to lose faith in Santa Claus. And who do they turn to on Christmas to deliver them their holiday cheer? I must admit, Amazon Prime is pretty handy. Exactly. With the people's faith in me on Christmas instead of Santa, I inherited his powers. 20 years building up my company led to this moment. I confronted the red bastard, and he knew he couldn't stop me, so I sent him packing only so he could live long enough to see his centuries of work undone. Why couldn't you just be happy with what you had? You're one of the richest men alive, for goodness sake. This is supposed to be the season of giving, not taking. Nobody ever cared about what was taken from me. Centuries I was locked in that snow globe. And to see the workshop I used to run be taken over by you stupid, ugly elves made me sick. Look in a mirror before you call someone ugly. Your soul is tainted by corporate greed. And maybe a few thousand more years inside the snow globe can melt the ice surrounding your cold, dead heart. That's my boy. You just roasted the fuck out of him, Larry. You're insane if you think I'm going back inside that thing. The people still love me. Love Amazon. They may find your little service helpful, but I'm going to convince Santa to go public about everything. His existence, your real identity, and the crimes you've committed. Now, President Biden, shine the snow globe's light on Jeff's wicked soul. You got it, Larry? No, please, keep that thing away from me. I am Jeff fucking Bezos. Let me the hell out of here. You can't do this to me. Sorry, little guy. Don't worry, maybe with good behavior, you'll get out one day. We did it. The workshop is saved. Aye, that it is. You all did a huge service for me. And all of the elves here. Unfortunately, there is still work to be done. That's right, Santa is still missing. How are we going to find him, Larry? 
Nearby, there is a small remote village that Santa has been known to frequent. It's where many of the elves live and is also home to the reindeer stables. There's a good chance, at the very least, the reindeer are there. And if we're lucky, Santa as well. Could you all go check it out for me? Well, I don't think we have much of a choice. We can't go this year without Santa. Thank you, Presidential Zomboys. I'm not sure if I'll see you four again. So truly, thank you for everything. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss having you around on my shoulder. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Oh, and I'm going to send Santa's sleigh down to the village, just in case you find him and have to make a quick retreat. Time is of the essence, after all. All right, well, uh, how do we get to this village? With some good old elf magic, of course. Hold still, and I'll send you there in a jiffy. Ah, uh, teleportation will never fail to make me sick. Stop being a pussy, Obama. You should be used to it by now. Well, this must be the place. We're inside some sort of cabin, though. Hello, can you boys hear me? Larry, is that you? Aye. You're smack dab in the middle of the town. Unfortunately, I sent zombies in your immediate area. Well, that's nothing new. Got any good news for us, Lair? As a matter of fact, I do. A couple surviving elves have made their way back to the workshop. They said Santa's reindeer were spotted in the area, and that they've noticed their milk and cookies go missing from their homes. That sounds like the work of Mr. Claus to me. That's great news. Well, we better get a move on and find our missing Santa. Thank you, and Godspeed, my friends. Yo, what the hell happened to our overpowered weapons? Since they were created with the magic of the toy maker, once he was sealed away and his powers were stripped from him, they simply ceased to be. Oh, man. I mean, at least these pistols were just lying around, but I sure do miss my blundergat. I suppose Element 115 has infected the area as well. I really hope Santa can fix this when we find him. I'm sure he can. I mean, he's fucking Santa Claus. Yo, boys, I found an ax on the wall. Well, we're kind of getting surrounded here, so maybe use that ax to bust down the wood that's blocking the way out. Good thinking, Barry. There we go. Joe, the lumberjack has freed you all. Yeah, OK, thanks, lumberjack ass. Wow, look at this place. Can you imagine living in the North Pole where it snows all the time? Yeah, I didn't realize they had trailer parks in the North Pole, though. Surely the people who live in this dump voted for Trump. Fuck you, Obama. Not my fault I connect to the average Joe instead of coastal elites like you and Sleepy Joe. Stop debating, you two. Focus on the zombies trying to eat our brains. Remember, guys, keep an eye out for reindeer and any signs of Santa. Head deeper into the town. I'm sure you'll have better luck there. All right, Lair, thanks for the heads up. Shit, there's a fallen tree in the way. This looks like a job for Lumberjack Joe. Just call me George Washington the way I chopped that tree. Oh, shit, it's a reindeer. Get back here. You'll have to lure the reindeer back to the stables. Uh-huh, and how do we do that? He looks pretty content right here. Maybe grab a handful of reindeer chow at the feeders by the stables. Ooh, another present. Yay, double points. Uh, doesn't this place look a bit familiar? What the hell? It's the diner from the best zombies map of all time. How is this even possible? Uh, I don't know, but there are scary elves after us, and these ones are Larry-sized. Yeah, plus they're terrorist elves trying to blow themselves up on us. Don't let them get close. I'm going to show these elves what a Texan goodbye looks like. Whew, seems like that's the last of them for now. What a nice and cozy little diner. I wouldn't mind having Christmas dinner here if the place wasn't overrun by zombies. Found another one of Santa's reindeer. Ah, I'm being chased by a little nutcracker. Must have been an early version of the bigger ones the Bezos made that somehow ended up here. Well, I don't like them one bit. Well, I grabbed some reindeer food from the feeder. Let's see if Blitzen or Donner or whichever fucking one this is will follow. What the, a wolf? Oh shit, there's more. They're trying to eat Santa's reindeer. Let's keep these furry fucks off of him. Speaking of furries, I wish I could spend Christmas with my family. I know Hunter wanted a new fursuit. Joe, we do not want to hear about your crackhead son's furry fetish. He makes a good point, though. I do wonder how our families are doing right now. I'd do anything to see my wife again.
Thanks again for stopping by, Michelle. Girl, no need to thank me. It's been a tough year for all of us. I know. It just hits harder around the Christmas time. Donald did always love this time of year. And it's not easy raising Baron all by myself. You're telling me. Our girls may be grown up, but they still need their dad. I just don't understand where they could have gone. It's been eight months and not even a single sign of where they could be. I really miss Barack. Stay strong. We have to keep hoping and praying that they'll turn up. Huh. It's funny. Donald and I were talking about getting a divorce before they disappeared. But now, I just want him back with me. I'd do anything to see him again. I guess it's true what they say. You don't know what you have till it's gone. That is true. I must thank you for helping me so much since then, Michelle. I know we didn't get along well before, but the support you and the other First Ladies have shown me has been so helpful. I mean, I remember when I sold Trump Tower, you three were all here to help me move into this place. It was the least we could do. Kind of fucked up how they're making you pay off the remainder of Donald's legal fees, though. Yeah, but I think once I get a good offer on Mar-a-Lago, I'll be set. To be honest, I prefer the modest life. I never cared for all the glitz and the glamour and the gold toilets. Just got a text from Jill. She says she and Laura will be here in a bit. That is great. How about we start cooking a nice Christmas Eve meal then? I like the sound of that, girlfriend. Let's get to it then. Well, we got one reindeer back in its stable. Come on, Rudolph, it's your turn. Rudolph, I am such a huge fan. I won't let anything happen to you. I remember me and my pop and my brothers watching your Christmas special as a kid. That abominable snowman scared me so much, but I loved how brave you, Hermie, and Cornelius Yukon were. Joe, how the fuck do you remember details from over 50 years ago, but you can't even remember what you had for breakfast this morning? The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. The only enigma here is how you got elected president at all, Joe. Anyways, got old Red Nose to his stable. Great. There are only two reindeer left unaccounted for now. That's good. Still no sign of Santa, though. Look out, zombies. George W. Bush is coming through. Shit, I'm stuck. George, you look ridiculous. What are you doing on that thing? Listen, I haven't been behind the wheel in a hot minute, considering Secret Service drives me everywhere. That sure looks like fun. Can I have a turn? You're not there to have fun. You're there to save Christmas. And time is ticking before Santa is scheduled to make his flight. Yeah, yeah, we know. We found another one of your lost reindeer, by the way. God damn, where are all these wolves coming from? Come on, Dancer, you're almost there. OK, just one more. And we know he was up by the trailer park. Oh, no. More of those scary little elves are here. I think we could add some of these explosive little imps to the US arsenal. Can you imagine these little guys running towards a Middle Eastern hospital and blowing it the fuck up? You know what, Barack, I actually don't want to imagine that. Thank you very much. I would love to come back here when there isn't a zombie outbreak. I mean, it's a true winter wonderland. Yeah, it really does remind me of playing in the snow as a kid. There's just a certain whimsy to Christmas that never gets old. Wow. You really love Christmas, don't you, Donnie? I was sure that you were one of those Ebenezer Scrooge types who would let Tiny Tim die if it meant making a buck. Oh, Bunga, you fool, don't you remember? In the epic rap battles of history series, I literally rapped against Scrooge about how greedy he was. I mean, hell, they put me in that series three times. You know who else was in that series three times? Adolf Hitler and Darth Vader. Sounds like you had some good company, all right. Ooh, I just got a wonder weapon from the box, I think. Yeah, it's just a shitty Wonder Waffle ripoff. I got rid of that shit for the Thunder Gun. Oh shit, the reindeer just fucking died. Guess he won't be joining in any reindeer games. <laughs> Poor Donna, I'm so sorry. Christmas is ruined. Wait, he's alive, it's a Christmas miracle. No kidding. The reindeer can't really die, they're magic. But if they take too much damage, they'll essentially turn back time for themselves. So you can start the escort over again. I see. Well, let's not fuck it up this time, boys. I just want to know why this reindeer is moving slower than the vote counting in Arizona. 
Like, how does Santa hit every house in one night if this reindeer won't even move to save his ass from getting eaten by wolves? Santa really needs to hire Olive, the other reindeer. I mean, sure, she's a dog, but she made it to the North Pole in a single day. Talk about serious dedication. Man, talk about a throwback, Donald. I completely forgot about that Christmas classic. Why are you two grown-ass men talking about a children's cartoon movie with such delight? George, you need to stop being so judgmental before you end up on the naughty list. Oh, look, it's one of those shoot 'em up galleries. Do we really have time for this? Don't listen to him, Joe. Go for the grand prize. What did I win? Oh, whoa, this seems powerful. Looks like it's called the Forge Freeze. Wasn't this on Zombies in Spaceland or something? Oh, my God. What, well, Donnie, are you jealous? Don't do it, Donald. You swine, you vulgar little maggot, you worthless bag of filth. You couldn't pour water out of a boot with instructions printed on the heel. You are a canker, an open wound. I would rather kiss a lawyer than to be seen with you. You're a putrescent mass, a walking vomit. You are a spineless little worm, deserving nothing but the profoundest contempt. You are a jerk, a cad, and a weasel. I take that back. You are a festering pustule on a weasel's rump. Your life is a monument of stupidity. You are a stench, a revulsion, an overflowing latrine of big suck on a sour lemon. I will never get over the embarrassment of belonging to the same species as you. You are a monster, an ogre, a malformity. I barf at the very thought of you. You have all the appeal of a paper cut. Lepers avoid you. You are vile, less than nothing. Go eat shit and die. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say all that? Sleepy the Forge Freeze fucking sucks. Yeah, but was all that other stuff necessary? Are you really that surprised you're on the naughty list, Donald? It's okay, Joe. You're not the first you to cry at that line. Anyways, we have packed guns now, so we'll at least stand a fighting chance against the zombies and anything else that comes our way. Yeah, we still need to find Santa, though. Any clue where he might be, Larry? Actually, while you were busy roasting each other and whatnot, I interrogated Jeff Bezos. He told me he knew where Santa was the whole time. Yeah, hold that thought, Larry. I think I hear someone talking to me. Why, if it isn't one of the presidential zomboys, I never thought I'd see you again. Aren't you that robot who helped my friends out at the hospital? Indeed, but alas, my arms and legs have again been taken from me. Back to being a limbless freak. Ted, buddy, never thought we'd see you again. How the hell did you wind up here? I have no clue. There was a huge flash of light, and suddenly I was here. I think maybe the little girl had something to do with it. Maybe she feared me. Well, it doesn't look like you're much to fear anymore. Please, take me with you. No can do, Ted. We have to save Christmas. Urgent stuff. Good seeing you, though. Get back here, you black son of a bitch. Kind of fucked up leaving him here after he helped us out, but I guess he is a robot, so he doesn't have feelings. Anyways, Lara, what were you saying about Santa? There's a frozen lake up ahead with a hole in it. According to the toy maker, Santa has been taking refuge in there. Unfortunately, I'm all tapped out of magic power. So you will be on your own now. And I won't be able to communicate with you. Good luck. And please, save Santa. Damn. Larry's advice has been pretty solid so far, but at least we know where Santa is. You guys ready to go meet the big guy? Well, I have a packed PPS-8, so if shit goes sideways, I'd say I'll be ready. Looks like there are some bobsleds up ahead to take us down into this hole. Kind of sus, but I guess we have no choice. This will be so fun. I love sledding. Here goes nothing. Uh, hello? You here, Santa? This place sure is creepy. Who goes there? Who said that? It's been so long. Guys, look. <coughs> you have come for me, haven't you? Santa, is that you? Something sounds off about him. Are you okay? I've never felt better, but I am hungry. Ah! Oh no, Santa has been zombified. Well, what are we gonna do? You are going to be my next meal. And then I will devour all the naughty children. Get ready for a fight, guys. I don't think he's gonna go down easy. Santa, you don't have to do this. Come back to the workshop. We can help you. 
I must devour you, I'm afraid. Ho, ho, ho. He's sending some explosive candy cane balls after us. And he's got some sort of force field up. How are we supposed to stop him? I just worry about surviving for now. I do not want to get eaten like a plate of cookies and milk. Yeah, I mean, not like we can kill him. We're here to save Santa. Watch out, more of his undead elves are here. Bring their bodies to me, my minions. <coughs> Did you all hear that? Santa sounds like he has a bad cough. Maybe he has a new extreme zombie-like COVID variant. Joe, what are you yapping about now? Well, I never leave home with less than three booster shots. Maybe if we can get close enough to Santa, we can stick him with a vaccine and cure him. You know, that's so batshit insane, it just might work. Look for an opening then, boys. Shit, where'd he go? So hungry. Santa's trying to eat Joe's ass. Shoot the hell out of him. <laughs> He's knocked down. Time for your shot, Santa. How you feeling? I will hang your intestines like stockings over my fireplace. Ho, ho, ho! I think you just pissed him off more, Joe. Great, and now he's turned out the lights, too. We have to try again. Maybe he just needs a more powerful dose. Listen, I know I fought the left's war on Christmas, but this is getting ridiculous. Keep fighting, my brothers. We have to live to see another Christmas with our families and to save Christmas for every family in the world. Except Middle Eastern ones, of course. I'm too focused on killing these jolly skeletons to even tell you how fucked up that was, Barack. Santa, even though I should want you dead for always bringing me coal as a kid, the world needs you. I need you to roll over and die so I may consume your corpse. I don't think you're getting through to him, Donald. Oh, and Donnie, you were wrong about one thing. This forge freeze is fucking awesome. Fake news, Joe. I'm never wrong. Enough with the petty squabbles. Here comes Santa. Let the father of the vaccine show you how it's done, Joe. Did it work, Mr. Father of the Vaccine? How the hell should I know? I don't think it worked, Donald. And he's coming closer. <laughs> ah, someone shot Santa. I mean, they probably saved our life. Hey, whoever's there, show yourself. Sorry you four got wrapped up in all this drama like a Christmas present under the tree. Hey, boy, step into the light so we can get a better look at you. So you four are the presidential zomboys I've heard so much about. Who the fuck are you? Well, who do I look like, the damn Easter Bunny? Guys, I don't know why or how, but I think this is Santa Claus. I think an explanation is definitely in order here. I mean, we saw posters hanging up at the workshop of white, fat, bearded Santa. You sure did, Barack. You see, the whole concept of white Santa has been a psyop on my part. The world just simply wasn't ready back when I started this whole Christmas gig for a black Santa. Hell, our people were still in chains, brother. Oh, hell no. Christmas has gone woke. Santa is supposed to be a fat old white guy like me. Did you not just hear a word out of his mouth, Donald? Besides, diversity is a good thing. Not like anyone ever sees what the real Santa looks like anyways. He shows up when you're asleep. And that's why you're on the nice list, Mr. President. But for real, can you imagine how people would react if they knew a black guy was gonna sneak into their house at night to leave gifts? My ass would get shot. So who the hell was that guy you just murked then? Oh, that was just a mall Santa I hire for this time of the year. See, I stay away from the workshop until Christmas, and I'll send this guy to basically boss the elves around. Then when it's time to fly, we'll switch places. They may not seem like it, but those elves haven't always been racially conscious. Though now, I suppose I have no choice but to tell them the truth. As soon as I heard that the toy maker had taken over the factory and this chump was bitten by a zombie, I knew I'd have to step in. My mind is officially blown, but black or white, it's good to know the real Santa's alive. Sucks for this fake, though. Don't worry, dude's old as fuck anyways. He's been my stand-in for the last couple centuries. He had a good life. Poor Mrs. Claus is gonna be heartbroken, though. Especially since I'll have to evict her ass. Geez, that's kind of harsh. So is there a black Mrs. Claus as well? I ain't the type to settle down. I just have a harem of ho-ho-hos. Oh, I see what you did there. Anyways, Christmas is saved now, right? Faux shizzle. Thank you all, presidential zomboys. Even you, Donald. You've earned yourself a spot on the nice list. Is there anything special you want for Christmas? Uh, yeah. Uh, we want to go home to our lives, our families. Yeah? I was afraid you were gonna say that. I'm sorry, but that's just not possible. Why the hell not? Do you know how much we've suffered? Yeah, I know, dog. 
you four have traveled the multiverse, stopped some pretty powerful villains, and slain countless zombies. And that's precisely why you can't go home yet. Your destiny is to complete the quest you are on. We never asked for any of this. Dr. Monty used us from the start. Yeah, that Dr. Monty is a certified bitch. To be honest, in a 1v1, I could take him. But unfortunately, as the Keeper of Christmas, I'm not capable of violence. Okay, well, Santa, what are we supposed to do now? Where do we go from here? In order to defeat Monty and fix the multiverse, you're gonna need a few things. They're called Sentinel Artifacts. You know what I'm talking about, right? Please tell me you're joking, Santa. Don't tell me chaos is canon to real life. Unless, of course, you have them stashed away in your bag. Afraid not. I'll be able to point you in the right direction, but for now, we celebrate Christmas. You all deserve a break, even if it's a short one. Especially for helping out in my time of need. How would you all like to join me on my sleigh ride tonight? Ooh, please, can we guys? This will be a dream come true. Well, it'll definitely take my mind off the fact that we'll probably have to go on the Titanic soon. Fuck it, we're game Santa. Okay, great. We can just head back to the workshop and get my sleigh then. Actually, Larry the Elf already brought it to the village. It's right up top. Little Larry did that? I'm impressed. I've watched him over the years from a distance. He never seemed all that important. Trust us, Santa, we wouldn't have made it here without his guidance. He deserves a promotion or something. He's a great guy. I'll definitely look into that then. Well, let's not waste any more time. There are millions of houses to visit after all. Yo, we get to ride the reindeers? This'll be awesome. Just hold on tight. I don't want to have to go looking for your bodies down below. This is awesome. This is just incredible. I mean, we're actually flying on Santa's reindeer. Yeah, not exactly how I expected my night to end up, but I'm not complaining. I love you guys. Okay, don't make it weird, Joe. Ah, you know you love him too, Donald. Yeah, but I'm not gonna just say it while we're thousands of feet in the air flying on some magic reindeer. It looks like it's gonna be a white Christmas tonight. You haven't had one of those in a good while. Let me out of here. Huh? The snow globe? How'd this get in my pocket? Maybe Larry put it there with his magic. The question is why, though? I don't know, but uh, are you all feeling a bit hot right now? Hey, hold on tight. We're flying right over Hawaii right now. Ah, uh, home sweet home. He said Hawaii, not Kenya, Barack. Fuck you, Donald. Hey, look down there. A volcano? Hey, guys, I have a great idea. Wait, what are you doing? See ya, chump. Ah! Curse you, presidential zomboy. Hey, no littering. Our bad, Santa. Hey, we're in Detroit now. Crazy how Santa can make his deliveries in the blink of an eye. Shit, thanks for the heads up, Donald. Even I won't fuck around in Detroit without some protection. Can't blame him. Yeah, I wouldn't step foot in that Democrat-run hellhole either. Donald, can we not talk about politics tonight? Yeah, okay, fine. So, have you all thought of anything you really want for Christmas? We already told you, Santa, the only thing we want is to be with our families. Nothing you've got in your bag of toys could satisfy us, I'm afraid. Yeah, I would do anything just to be with Jill and let her know I'm alive and well. Hmm. You know, I'm apolitical, but I really like you guys. I think I can do something for you to make your Christmas a really good one. We have to make one final stop. Okay, what do you have in mind, Santa? It has been a hard year for all of us here in the United States since not only President Biden disappeared, but also his three predecessors. This Christmas Day is a time for all of us as Americans, regardless of a party, to come together and look on the bright side of things. As your president, I promise to... I don't want to listen to that witch anymore, especially on Christmas. She hasn't done a damn thing to try and find our husbands. It's okay, Jill. Don't let Kamala put a damper on our Christmas spirit. We're all here together as friends, enjoying the holiday. Yeah, I guess so. I must say, I love your orange dress. That's such an interesting color for Christmas. Yeah, it's a bit silly. But Joe would always get his holidays mixed up. He'd usually wear a Halloween sweater on Christmas, so I'm wearing orange as a way to remind myself of him. I think that's absolutely adorable. Thank you again, Michelle, for helping with the cooking. Don't mention it, Melania. 
I'm just thankful for having you and the other girls as company tonight. Me too. I'm not sure I would have managed on Christmas Eve alone. I mean, Baron's a great kid, but I need my man too. I feel you there, sister. Melania, Michelle, come here. Sounds like Jill wants our attention. Better go see what she wants. Melania, were you expecting company? Someone's knocking on your door. No, I wasn't. It's probably some stupid Christmas carolers or something. Or worse, the paparazzi. Want me to tell them to fuck off? No, it's okay. I'll handle it. Hey, we're trying to enjoy a nice Christmas Eve here. So if you could just... <gasps> May we come inside? What's going on out there? Oh my goodness. Honey, it's really you. Please come in right away. Oh, Joe, I missed you so much. I missed you too, Jill, more than you could ever know. Donald, my love, is it really you? Yes, dear, it's really me. I'm right here. I never want to let you go. Me either. Laura, oh, Laura, I missed you so fucking much. I missed you too, George. Not a day has gone by that I haven't prayed for you to come home. Don't worry, old W is finally home. Oh, Michelle, I can't believe it's really you. I know. It's a Christmas miracle. You won't believe what I've been through to get home to you. Where have you four been all this time? Tell us everything. How much time do you have? It's a long story. You might not believe us. Well, I'm not expecting a simple answer for how you four fell off the face of the earth for most of the year. Good, because it's been anything but straightforward. Honestly, ladies, it's been one hell of a ride for us. Yeah, but thanks to Santa Claus, we get to come home for the holidays. Santa Claus? Joey, did you remember to take your medicine today? Yeah, I knew this would be a pain in the ass to explain. Probably should have started from the beginning and not the end. I think we should wait till the morning to go over everything. Tonight, we celebrate as friends. I am A-OK -okay with that? Yeah, we can wait to inform the media tomorrow as well. I want some privacy tonight. Damn, Donald's gonna get some action for the first time in probably 15 years. Oh, shut up, George. I wish we knew you all would be here. We don't have any presents to unwrap. Wait a sec, look, under the tree. Where did those come from? I did not buy any presents. Me either. Guess old St. Nick gave us more than what we asked for. Ooh, I want to open mine first. Have at it, Joe. Oh boy, a brand new pack of Depends. Thank you, Santa. Oh, there's one for you, Donald. Come open it. Yeah, yeah, out of the way, diaper boy. You better not have cheaped out on me, Santa. No way, a Donald Trump action figure signed by the man himself. Santa, you knew exactly what I wanted. Not in mint condition, but I'm gonna unbox it anyway. Barry, there's one for you too. Come open it. Geez, you two are so predictable. Oh, wow, I got a big present. No way, a case of real life grenades. This is awesome. Brock, I don't know if having those is a good idea. Don't worry, babe. I'm pretty much a firearms and explosives expert now. I'll be very safe with them and only use them on deserving civilians. Okay, George, there's one last little present for you. Oh boy, wonder what I got. Ooh, it looks like a video game or something. Maybe it's the new Call of Duty game. What the? The Young Sheldon season one through four box set? Is this because I'm from Texas? Oh wait, there's a letter attached too. Dear George, I hope this letter has reached you quickly. Word is traveling fast around the North Pole about what happened. It's been a lot to take in. The Santa we've been listening to for centuries has been fake. Talk about a mind fuck, but seriously, I can't thank you and your friends enough. And I must say, it was an honor getting to ride along on your shoulder, my friend. Oh, and good news. As soon as Santa returned from delivering presents, he offered me a job at the workshop. I was overwhelmed with pride. I would be the first super small elf in a managerial position. However, I declined. See, as I told you all before, my dream is to be a dentist. So, Santa has granted me a scholarship and I'll be attending university in the spring. So if you ever find yourself needing dental work in the North Pole, you know who to call. Your friend, Larry the Elf. 
<laughs> you go, little guy. Become the best dentist in the entire Arctic region. Well, boys, I think this has been the best Christmas I've ever had. Damn right. You know what? I'll say it. I love you guys. Love you, too. Remember, next year we'll have to return to our journey, so let's enjoy this peace while we have it. For sure. May God bless you all, my friends, and God bless America. Well, it's the new year. Our time home is just about up for the time being. It went by so quick. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that Santa let us come home for the holidays, but still, a little more time would have been nice. Yeah, but look on the bright side, Joe. It's 2024. By the end of the year, I'll be elected president again. That's not a bright side for me. Enough with your petty squabbling, you two. Laura's right. You four still owe us an explanation. Your Santa story won't cut it, Joe. We need to alert the press that you four are alive and well so you can resume your presidential duties. I'm ready to be back in the White House. She's right. Donald, you have lost your fucking mind if you think you guys are going to disappear again for God knows how long. It's not a story, honey. Santa really did drop us off here. And he was big and buff and black. Joe, you are focusing on the wrong details here. Ladies, I'll explain this the best I can, but you have to believe us no matter how crazy it sounds. I hate to say it, but I trust your word more than Joey's, Barack. Fine, we'll listen. And this better not be one of your crazy stories like how you totally met Walter White, Barack. But I did meet, you know what, Never mind. not important. Anyways, this whole story started about eight months ago, give or take. Remember when Bill Clinton disappeared? Well, he trapped us in a hellish version of Alcatraz prison and we had to destroy him to escape. Or so we thought, turns out, he and Hillary both had it out for us. And I stepped into the dark mechanism and sacrificed my life, only to be replaced by another Joe. That's right, kind of forgot about Bill. He went missing before you guys did. His Secret Service agent found an electric chair in his home that had been used, but no sign of Bill. Then Hillary disappeared shortly after. Are you saying there's a connection? Yes, honey, that was the start of all this. Bill was a corrupt worshiper of beings known as the Apothecons and used himself as a vessel to transport us to a dimension where he planned to use Joe's blood to open a gateway to hell. We beat him, but Joe was lost in the process. An alternate universe version of him replaced our Joe and turned out was pretty evil himself at the time. Remember when I told you we were on a camping trip for about a week? Well, we actually had been sent inside of these films and were being forced to fight zombies. And ultimately, Joe here saved us from certain doom. An evil Joe? He was acting strange at that time, refusing to take off his aviators. And that one time he brought a little girl to the White House, but she seemed very frightened. Samantha Maxis. Yeah, she's given us more trouble than we bargained for. Then, of course, later we disappeared again, only for a much longer period of time. We were zipping across all time and space, first defeating Hillary as she sought revenge for her husband, who turns out was still alive. Donald went all evil ruler of the ether mode for a bit, but he was saved. And then we went on another journey to save the entire multiverse. We had to kill other versions of ourselves and work alongside ones too but we were being tricked, see? Eventually, we found our way to the North Pole, where, yes, we met fucking Santa Claus. I don't even know how to process what I am hearing. Are you cheating on us? I'd much rather hear that than this fairy tale. They're telling the truth, Mrs. Trump. Who said that? Santa Claus. What's up, presidential zomboys? I take it you all enjoyed your holiday break? Donald, who the hell is this man? And what is he doing in my house? And what is that behind him? A portal? Like we told you, honey, we had some help from the man himself. Say hi, Santa. Sup, ladies. This is a prank, right? You seriously expect us to believe this man of African descent is Santa? Well, damn, bitch. Can a black man not be Santa Claus? Besides, if I remember correctly, Jill, when you were 10 years old, you asked for a brand new Barbie doll for Christmas but your mother was too poor to afford it. Y'all were both surprised when you found one under the tree. Who do you think did that? 
Wait, how do you know about that? Unless you really are Santa. Okay, my mind is officially blown. But Santa, what do you want with our men? Your husbands are vital to making sure all of reality doesn't fall apart. There are evil forces at work that aim to bring about the ultimate calamity. I am here to put them back on the path to saving the universe. I am so confused. By evil forces, do you mean Dr. Monty? I wonder if he's even figured out we escaped that nightmare dimension he created. Well, if he hasn't, he surely will soon. But there are more pressing matters at hand. Remember how I told you four to gather the Sentinel artifacts? Well, you aren't the only ones looking for them. There are those who seek to cause chaos in the world, and you must stop them from gathering them. Well, guess we must once again answer the call of duty. I see what you did there, George. Yeah, very punny. Anyways, ladies, guess this is goodbye for now. We have a universe to set right. This is insanity, George. You are 77 years old, for God's sake. Do you really expect me to let you go and risk your life like this? Now, hold on, Laura. We may not like it, but our men seem pretty capable if everything they've told us thus far is true. Thanks, babe. Trust us. We've been through more hell than you all can imagine. And every time we've come out on top, we're the only ones who can do this. Hmm. Fine, but please, Georgie, just be careful. Okay, we're all in agreement. Now let's get this show on the road. Ladies, if you want to know more about what we're doing on a daily basis, play some zombies on our Steam accounts or something. All right, gentlemen, head through the portal. It'll take you where you need to go. Adios, ladies. Was nice seeing you. All right, love you, ladies. We'll be back as soon as we can. You better be. Stay safe, boys. Whoa, looking dapper as hell, boys. Now, hold on. Why is Joe dressed like the captain of a ship? Because, Donald, I'm the captain now. I assume you four know where we are, right? The RMS Titanic. I gave you all some disguises to blend in. The Sentinel artifact is somewhere on board, so you four will have to find it. Those who wish to use it for nefarious purposes are also here, so you'll have to pull off a bit of a heist. Are you sure making everyone think Sleepy Joe here is the captain is a good idea? And why the hell do I have to be a waiter? Barack, it's the year 1911. The only way our kind would be on this luxury cruise would be as a worker. Just roll with it. Now, I've got some earpieces for you four to wear so you can keep in touch with each other, and some weapons. These are immensely powerful. Donald, you get the Hammer of Valhalla. Joe, the Viper and Dragon. Barak, I've got the Scepter of Ra for you. And last but not least, the Chakrams of Vengeance for W. Call upon them in times of need, and they'll appear. There's a bit of a cool down between uses, though, so only use them when you really need them. Wow, who would have thought fucking Santa Claus would have been instrumental to us saving the world? Thanks a lot, man. All right, Mr. Black Christmas, any ideas as to where we should start looking? The captain of the ship, and I mean the real one, not you, Joe, is part of the evil organization I was telling you all about. Chances are, the Sentinel artifact is in his quarters. His wife probably has the key, so I'd recommend stealing it from her. Split up, use communication, and pull this off before y'all hit that iceberg. Now this will be the last time I get to speak to you four, I really must get back to the workshop. Good luck, Zomboys. Santa out. Well, you heard the man. Guess we should split up and get to looking for this key. I'm sure this will go swimmingly. Joe, please don't fuck this up by being creepy. We're undercover, got it? Who, me? Yes, you. Now let's not waste any time. I don't want to be here when that iceberg hits. Now this is a ship. Reminds me of the days before I was president, living lavishly as a billionaire. This is Black Mamba. Come in, Orange Tiger. Yeah, Barack, Orange Tiger here or whatever. What's up? Orange Tiger, you got to stick to the code names we chose. And I didn't hear either of you say over before ending your sentences. How am I supposed to know when you're done talking? Over. All right, sleepy fuck. This is an A-B conversation. How about you see your way out of it? Over. Damn it, guys. Stop with the petty squabbles. We have a job to do. Black Mamba, you may continue. Uh, over. Why, thank you, Tower Toppler. Orange tiger I asked around sounds like the captain's wife is a redhead and is wearing a hat with some roses on it. I also overheard that she hangs out in the lobby a lot, so keep an eye out. Over. All right, Donnie, we'll have to see if your Riz game is still on point. I see the target. I'll let you know when I've secured the key. 
man, I really hope I don't fall overboard. I know Donald taught me how to swim and all, but I don't think I can handle the ocean and its infinite depths. Guess that's enough fresh air, though. Better look around for some clues. Ouchie. My bad, Jack. I didn't see you there. These old eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> Out of my way. Some people are so rude. What happened to respecting your elders? Sleepy Fox, this is Orange Tiger. Over. Damn you. My code name is Sleepy Fox. Over. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, I got the key and I'm headed for the captain's quarters. Meet me here, everyone. Are you telling me you actually convinced his wife to give you the key? Over. I hit her with some of my classic locker room talk. Turns out women from the early 1900s don't mind being treated like shit. Donald, you are despicable. But whatever, a good job, I guess. Uh, we're on our way. Over. Still can't believe you managed to get us in, Donald. This whole heist thing has gone off without a hitch. What can I say? I'm a master of the art of the deal. Well, this place isn't too big. Let's get to looking for the Sentinel artifact before the captain returns. Let's see what we have here. Who knows, some of this stuff might be valuable. I'm sure relics from the Titanic would be worth a fortune back home. Wait a sec, what the? This is a picture of me. How is this possible? Let me take a look, you're probably just tripping. Whoa, what the hell? It really is you, Donald. Why and how would that be in the captain's quarters of the Titanic, considering you weren't even born yet? I don't know, but it's freaking me out. Well, let's just stay calm. We still need to look around and find the Sentinel artifact before the... Iceberg. You just had to say something, didn't you, Barack? George, Joe, please tell us you found something. The only thing I found was this fancy doohickey. I think it's some sort of old-fashioned frying pan or something. Joe, you nincompoop, that's the Sentinel artifact. Come on, guys, let's get up to the deck and find a lifeboat before they're all taken. Run for your lives. Shouldn't we let the women and children on the lifeboats first? Fuck them, kids. We're the presidents of the United States. I can't believe I'm agreeing with you, Barack. It's every man for himself on here. Look, up ahead. All right, here we are. Not sure where we're going to go from here, but anywhere beats sitting on this sinking death trap. Wait a sec. Where the hell is Joe? Uh, guys, something's going on with this magical frying pan thing. It's reacting. Whoa, what happened? Wait, the Sentinel artifact, it's gone. If I'm remembering my Black Ops 4 Chaos lore correctly, I think the Sentinel artifact has started a trial that we must overcome. On the bright side, it seems the ship has stopped sinking while the trial is ongoing. Well, George, considering the rest of the passengers have turned into flesh eaters, I think you're on to something. Come on, guys, let's do what we always do and show these undead fucks why they call us the presidential zomboys. Holy ship! We're actually gonna fight zombies on the Titanic. This is just like Voyage of... Don't even say the name of that rancid map, Joe. It's bad enough we have to live through this nightmare. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, we're on the freaking Titanic. No other living person from our time can say that. Yeah, but that's only if we live to make it home. I mean, we have zombies to deal with, a sinking ship, and the trial of the Sentinel artifact. The odds aren't exactly stacked in our favors. Don't be such a negative Nancy Barack. We've survived worse. Joe, if I remember correctly, Voyage is one of your favorite maps. Are you gonna be able to guide us through this trial? Well, as long as I don't fall overboard, first thing we need to do is find the Sentinel artifact it should be waiting for us to accept its challenge. Well, let's not waste any time. We promised our wives we'd be home as soon as possible. That was still baller of Santa to let us go home for Christmas. Uh, seems like a lot had happened while we were gone. Global tensions are at an all-time high, the economy's in the shitter, and Kamala Harris is president. We need to get you your old job back ASAP, Joe. Not like he'll keep it for long. Come November, your boy is getting re-elected president. What really surprised me was that Kamala Harris chose Mike Pence to be her VP. Yeah, I heard about that. What a traitorous rhino. But given how the alternate version of Kamala felt about Mike in Shangri-La, 
I guess it's not that surprising. God damn, this ship is a fucking maze. Why did Jason Blundell think a one-to-one -one recreation of the Titanic would translate to a good zombies map? I guess he thought lightning would strike twice like how they recreated most of Alcatraz Island with Mob of the Dead. Clearly, bigger does not always mean better. Not to make you guys feel old, but Mob of the Dead turns 11 years old this year. And oh shit, found the mystery box. It's looking rather horrifying. The ballistic knives? Fuck off box. Well, I'm not faring much better with my box of luck, Barry. I got the escargot and the reaver crossbow. What was that you said in Santa's workshop about Democrats stay winning, Joe? Guess the shoe's on the other foot this time. Well, if you don't stop talking your shit, Georgie, the proverbial shoe is gonna get thrown at you. Guys, I think I found a part for the Kraken upgrade thingy. Keep an eye out for other useful parts. Not that the Kraken as a wonder weapon is particularly useful. I know you're not shit-talking the Kraken, Donald. I mean, it has four cool elemental upgrades. Sure, if by four cool elemental upgrades you meant four uninspired and forgettable ripoffs of the staffs, then you'd be right, Sleepy Joe. I swear I've heard this argument before. Either way, we need to make our way to the poop deck and find the Sentinel artifact. <laughs> you said poop deck. Geez, George, you find that funny? Are you 10 years old? No. If I was 10 years old in today's age, I'd think Skibidi Toilet, Kai Sinet, Aiden Ross, The Amazing Digital Circus, and whatever other stupid fucking brain rot memes are funny. It's pronounced Skibbity Toilet, George, and it's the funniest series on the internet. I laugh so much watching it. Skibbity dub dub dub, yes, yes. Joe, you stop talking right fucking now. We found the Sentinel artifact. We can't be distracted by your cringe. Hard to believe this little thing corrupted the entire ship, twisting its passengers into these abominations. Well, we know a thing or two about powerful artifacts. Now let's begin the trial proper. Now we have access to some teleporters. Should make getting across this giant ass boat easier. First thing on our to-do list should be finding the Pack-a-Punch. Well, here's one of those Pat pedestals. If I remember correctly, we activate three of them. Then the machine will appear at the fourth one. Well, I don't think it's really fair to call the Chaos Pack-a-Punch a machine. It's more like a portal, kind of like how it's unfair to call Joe the president since his handlers do everything behind the scenes. Talk all the shit you want, George. I'm gonna be the real hero today, guiding us through this Easter egg. Uh, look out for a shield part in this area, by the way, guys. Shit, I forgot about these annoying ass catalyst zombies. Why did they think these things were a good idea to include on every fucking chaos map? At least I found one of the shield pieces. That'll make them slightly less annoying to deal with. I wish there was something to make you less annoying to deal with Donald. <laughs> And oh, whose fucking wolf is this running around? Someone must have got blood wolf bite. You bet your sweet bippy I did, Barack. Yeah, makes sense. Joe is the one with a furry son after all. And I love him very much. Yeah, good for you, Joe. Now it's time to get our feet wet, boys. Obama, don't drown. I just know you meant that in a racist way, Donald. Damn. I know Donald taught me how to swim at Zetsubu, but it's been a while. But what if I've forgotten and I end up drowning? Sure was great of Santa to give us these clothes. They must have been made from the same magic thread that the outfits Larry gave us were, because I don't feel cold, or even wet for that matter. Whoa, I got the Kraken. I'm gonna tear those freak bags a new one with this. Here's the valve. Time to drain the water in this area. I'm the best at draining things, believe me. I mean, I drained the swamp in DC after all. All right, well, we don't have to worry about drowning anymore, at least not in this room. And Joe, I see you got the Kraken we should all try and get it from the box. Speaking of Kraken, wasn't your ex-lawyer Sidney Powell supposed to release the Kraken in regards to proof that the 2020 election was stolen? What happened to that, Donald? Well, George, weren't you supposed to keep America safe and then the Twin Towers came down? What happened to that? All right, that's enough, you two. I activated the PAP location in this area. There's just one more we need to activate, either the one at the bottom of the grand staircase or the cargo hold. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. I tell you, all this running around this massive ship is sure gonna give me a workout. Since we started this whole quest, I've probably lost over 40 pounds. Probably a good thing for you, Donald, considering you never work out and only eat Big Macs back home. Fake news. While I do partake in McDonald's every now and then, I am easily the healthiest and most physically fit president of all time, perhaps even more so than Lincoln. Oh, brother, give me a break. Well, the box is here, so might as well hit for the Kraken. Here we go. 
Maybe this is the crack in my lawyer was talking about. I could bring this thing back to D.C. and cause some real chaos. I think the nation has had quite enough of your chaos after January 6th, Donald. Anyways, keep an eye out for more shield parts, too, boys. Pedestal activated, everyone to the cargo hold. Ah! It's one of those scary shovel zombies. Stop crying, Joe. You see how easily it went down? Just shoot it with your Kraken. They'll die pretty quickly. The Stoker is more scared of you than you are of it. Somehow, Barry, I doubt that. But hey, on the bright side, I found another shield part. Good job, Donald. Also just got a fire sale, so maybe George and Barry should hit for the Kraken. Good idea, Joe. Holy fucking shit, got it first hit. Damn, good job, George. Hopefully I get just as lucky. Nope, just got a shitty pistol. Joe, what the hell are you doing over there? Come here, Donald. I want to try something. Joe, what the hell do you want? Well, Donald, we're at the front of the Titanic together. You know what we have to do. No way, Joe, no way. I am not touching you. Come on, man. We'll be the only people in history to actually do this on the real Titanic. Stop wasting my time, Joe. Do it yourself. Fine, I will. <clears throat> I'm the king of the world. Leo did it much better just saying, Joe, now come on, you goofballs. We need to unlock Pack-a-Punch. All right, we're going to have to drain the water once more in this area. All right, where is this valve hiding? Here's the pack of punch. This will surely come in handy. Found the pesky little valve. All right, thank goodness. That should be the last of our water leakage problems. Yeah, but now we have a blight father to deal with. Shoot the hell out of it with the Kraken boys. The hammer of Valhalla made short work of him. I'd highly recommend trying out your specialist weapons, boys. These are overpowered as fuck. Our next order of business should be upgrading our Krakens. There should be a part in the area. For those of us with the Kraken, kill a catalyst zombie with it, and it should drop an elemental core that corresponds with whatever type of catalyst you killed. Seems simple enough. To be honest, I don't even know which Kraken is supposed to be the strongest. I barely played this map, so I'm grabbing the first one I see. Remember to pack your weapons as well, guys. We need all the firepower we can get. Found that part you were talking about, Joe. I think there's one piece remaining. Did you just say one piece? I love One Piece. I had so much to catch up on when we were home. Damn it, Joe, we don't give a fuck about One Piece. Fuck your stupid straw hat motherfuckers. Who wants to watch a cartoon that has over 1,000 episodes? Watch a real man's show, like Walker, Texas Ranger. Or Better Call Saul. Those shows pale in comparison. I mean, honestly, I'd rather be on the Thousand Sunny with, with the straw hat crew than the Titanic. That is a much more iconic ship. Joe, you make me want to die of cringe, you damn dirty weeb. I mean, I like watching the occasional anime, but One Piece is not one of them. I want something I can actually finish in my lifetime. I'd die of old age before I could catch up on One Piece. You guys are really missing out. But whatever. I guess we can go ahead and start the clock step. Oh, yeah. I vaguely remember this step. What do we have to do again? So there are four symbols across the ship that we have to find next to some clocks. We take note of the symbols and the time on the clocks, then we use these doohickeys around the ship that also have the same symbols and mess with them till the hands read the same as the clocks. Well, that sounds easy. And by easy, I of course mean overly complicated for no reason. I'm surprised you explained that without getting yourself confused, Joe. I mean, this is supposed to be the first step for God's sake. Stop bitching, Donald, it's not that confusing. I understood Joe's explanation perfectly. Thanks, Obama. See, here's a triangle with a horizontal line through it, and over here's the clock. Looks like the time says 10:10, so I'll just jot that down in my diary for later. Who would have thought Joe would be leading us through an Easter egg as complex as this one? I think the last time that happened was when Dark Brandon guided us through Beast from Beyond. I see what you mean. This dial thingy has the same triangle etched onto it. So this lever must correspond with the hour or minute hand. That's right, and here's the next one, an upside down triangle with a horizontal line. Looks like the clock reads 110. Good thing Joe's doing this step. I don't think Donald knows how to read time on a regular clock. You better shut it, Obunga, before I clean your clock. What was that, Donnie? You're gonna clean Obama's cock? Jesus, no, Sleepy George. Don't ever say something like that again. The mere thought makes me wanna unalive myself. Yeah, for real. Joe, have you found the next symbol yet? Yeah, I did. The time is 1045, and the symbol's an upside-down triangle. All right, cool. Now we just need to find one more. 
This reminds me of when we were trying to find Osama bin Laden, hiding in his cave. We had some good times, me and him, but he had to pay the ultimate price. Not because of the innocent civilians he killed. Hell, I did that all the time, but because he cheated on me. Barack, I don't want to imagine you and that freak having any sort of relationship. Let's just find this triangle. Oh, well, speak of the devil, there it is. It's just a regular upright triangle. Looks like the clock reads 1150. At least it doesn't say 911. But honestly, why are all of these clocks different times anyways? You're asking too many questions, Georgie. Try not to think about it. Now to input the times, uh, this one goes to 10 since it's the right side up triangle with the line through it. I get it. These must be the minute hands. So this one is 45. Hey, and I'm the 45th president. How funny. All right, that's the last of them. Now we got to find the dials that correspond with the hour hands. Here's a couple of them. I think the other two are up by the poop deck. Looking at the minute hands, we can deduce where the hour hands go based on what Joe wrote down. What was Jason Blundell's infatuation with clock-based Easter egg steps in this game? This map had one, Dead of the Night had one, even Alpha Omega had one. I don't know, maybe he had a clock fetish, but I think these ones are set correct. Now let's head up top, boys. Don't fuck this up, Joe. I don't want to have to do this all over again. Like you did any of the work, George. All right, I think that did it. Great job, Joe. I guess our next objective should be to upgrade our Krakens. Anyone found that last piece for the workbench yet? Yeah, I found it. Everyone get yourselves an elemental core from the catalysts. Obama, focus on getting the Kraken from the box. That's the plan. Doesn't this next step have something to do with catalyst zombies and electrical outlets? Yes, there are four plugs spewing elemental energy from them. We need to kill the correct catalyst next to them. Man, I wish my plug was here right now. I could use a little something to take off the edge. Obama, you fucking junkie. Can't you go five minutes without getting high? Nope, but I did just get the Kraken from the box. Just got to upgrade it now. Hey, here's one of those outlets. Looks like fire is coming out of it. So we just got to kill a fire catalyst next to it, right? Yep, but let's upgrade our weapons first. Woohoo, I got the ice Kraken. You, I got the stinky acid Kraken. This reminds me of broccoli. I hate broccoli. Cry about it, Georgie, because I got the lightning Kraken. This is clearly the best one since I'm using it. Well, I got the fire one, fitting for me, considering I rain hellfire down upon Middle Eastern hospitals. Yo, I also got the Helium Salvo, which is the real wonder weapon of the map. It's a shame I don't have PhD slider. Got to focus on not blowing myself up now. Yeah, that'd be nice if we can all get the Helion as well. Easily one of the most overpowered weapons in zombies history. Here's another one of those outlets. This one seems to have acid coming out of it. Might as well start with this one since we're all here. All right, well, keep an eye out for an acid catalyst and make sure to kill it close enough to the outlet. There's one, lead it to the outlet and kill it. All right, we did it. Everyone stand on this circle and it should begin a challenge for us to do. Here goes nothing. Look, the Sentinel artifact. It's sending a bunch of acid zombies after us. I'm guessing we just got to survive everything it throws at us. There's some Blight Fathers too, but my scepter of raw is melting them like my drone strikes do to poor Iraqi children's flesh. Jesus, Barry. I think you have some issues that need sorting in regards to your bloodthirst for Middle Eastern civvies. I don't think you have room to talk, Joe, considering you drone struck a father getting water bottles for his families. But either way, we're done here. On to the next outlet. All right, here's the water outlet. Now we wait for a water catalyst to spawn. Here one comes. All right, on the circle, everyone. There's the sentinel artifact again. Get ready for another fight, boys. Shit, the water's rising. Hope you guys can hold your breaths. I think we're fine, Donald. The water is going easy on us and giving us some room to breathe. Ah, underwater, Blightfather. There we go, we managed to survive. It's challenge. Should just be two more now. Guys, I found the electrical outlet. Joe, I double dog dare you to stick a fork in it. Fuck no, I'm not falling for that one again, Donald. I was in the hospital for a week the last time you told me to do that. I mean, it was pretty funny, but enough of that. Let's teleport. You know the drill, just survive until the Sentinel Artifact is done challenging us. I wonder how the Sentinel Artifacts will help us defeat Dr. Monty. There must be more to them than meets the eye. 
I mean, he's got the summoning key, which is the most powerful artifact in this or any other dimension. I don't know, but hopefully when the time is right, the Cronorium will provide us with the answers we seek. Let's just hope Dr. Monty doesn't catch on to our plan. Hopefully he still thinks we're locked away inside that asylum. All right, I'm at the fire outlet that George found earlier. Let's get this done so we can move on to the next step. Yeah, that'll probably be my biggest contribution to this confusing as fuck Easter egg. I got a fire catalyst on me. I'll bring him your way. All right, teleport time. Oh dear, Neptune, there are a fuck ton of stoker zombies coming for our booties. Joe, why the fuck did you have to word it like that? I mean, you better get used to the idea, Donald, because Big Bubba will be doing the same thing to you when you get locked up. Fake news. I am the most innocent president ever, being targeted by a political witch hunt. Now I tire of dicking around in these tight spaces surrounded by the undead. What do we need to do next, Joe? George, this will be your time to shine. We need your acid cracking in the engine room. There are a bunch of steaming pipes that need to be shot with your weapon. Now, think you can do that? Just point and shoot at some pipes? Seems simple enough for me, and being from Texas, I am a simple man. Yeah, I agree. You are pretty simple. Fuck you, Barack. I haven't seen you do much during this trial. How about you step it up and do the planet step when we get to it? Oh, hell no. You couldn't pay me to do that shit. All right, you two, stop arguing. Though we will have to figure out that step soon. The engine room is flooding with water now. The pack-a-punch should teleport in here soon. We will need to upgrade the Sentinel artifact. All right, now we play the waiting game. Here's the pack-a-punch. Now to just stick the Sentinel artifact in it. Good shit, Joe. Better head up top so we can discuss what's next. All right, guys, you all ready to begin the dreaded planet step? I mean, does anyone here even know all of the planets in the solar system? No clue, but I think first there are nine symbols uh, we got to find around the map first uh, that correspond to each planet. Man, all this running around this massive ship is wearing me out. Fuck Voyage of Despair. I know, Barry, but it has to be done. Let's find these stupid symbols. One eternity later. All right, finally got the last symbol. Now what? We got to head back to the cargo hold and find out the order we need to shoot the planets in. Well, I'm not sure if I trust anybody else to do this, so I guess I'll use my phone to record the order of the planets. Good thing I charged it before we left. Sucks we don't have data in the 1900s, though. A Mr. Raffle Waffles guide would have actually helped on a shitty map like this. Just please don't fuck this up, Donald. We only have one of each planet. All right, well, I think I got all of that in sweet high definition, iPhone camera quality. George made a good point just now. With there being only one of each planet, what are the implications of us shooting them out of the sky? In fact, how can our bullets reach planets that are so far away and knock them down directly to us? Where is the logic here? I don't know, but it makes more sense than someone voting for Sleepy Creepy Joe. Hey, I resent that. If the voters saw all the hard work I've done for the entire multiverse, that I'd win in a landslide. I mean, I definitely did more than you. Remember when I sacrificed myself to take crooked Hillary out of the MPD? I truly have a heart of gold. Okay, you two, enough with the petty squabbles. You've both done a lot for the world. Maybe you should run on the same ticket. Well, I don't think Donald would be content being my second in command because there's no way in hell I'm gonna be VP again. Amen to that, Joe. The Donald doesn't play second banana to anyone. Oops. Poor choice of words, Barry. Hope that didn't make you hungry. And just what the hell is that supposed to mean, Trump? Oh, nothing, pal. All right, well, I just shot the sun out of the sky. I believe we all need to meet here at the front of the ship and grab it. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. All right, now everyone run. We have to make it to the other side of the ship and quick. Well, let's take a moment and break the ice. That was totally an Avenged Sevenfold reference, wasn't it? You know it, bro. Now let's get to running our feet and not our mouths. We're almost there. All right, now knock the ice off that flag. OK, we did it. Now what? Like before, we step onto the circle. Whoa, we're underwater. But wait, I can breathe? And I can hear you, Barack. This must be the Sentinel artifacts doing... Say, look at that tree in the distance. 
There's a lot of power emanating from this thing. I can feel it. It's similar to when I was in control of the ether. And there's a spot to place the Sentinel artifact. And those runes, they look like they're Norse. Well, here goes nothing. Whoa, what's it doing? I have no clue. But unless it's making us a portal out of here, then I don't really want to find out. I don't know, it looks almost beautiful. We're probably the only humans on Earth to witness something like this. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty lost on what it's doing. Yeah, I haven't played Voyage of Despair enough to bother remembering either. Whoa! Okay, well, we're back on the ship. Are we done yet? Uh, guys, is it just me or is the iceberg rising out of the fucking water? Yeah, that's definitely no ordinary iceberg. Guys, get ready for a fight. What the? Oh shit, it's a giant sentient eyeball. It's the Eye of Odin. This just might be our greatest battle yet, boys. Odin? Like the dude Sam Neill played in the MCU? How did his eye get so big and alive? Uh, Donald, you know Odin is like an actual Norse god, and not just something the MCU made up, right? Yeah, right. Let me guess, you're gonna tell me Thor was a Norse god too, right? I mean, I get people worshiping Chris Hemsworth's glorious abs, but don't be ridiculous, Barry. Shut up, you two. Joe, how do we defeat this thing? You're the Voyage of Despair expert. For now, we just gotta survive its onslaught. Eventually, it's gonna teleport us all around the ship and there'll be critical moments where his weak spot is exposed. That sounds like some Legend of Zelda-ass boss battle design. I mean, a giant eyeball, not very original. Somehow, I doubt it's gonna be as easy as one of those, Donald. Hey, where'd it go? The engine room, don't tell me that thing is on the ship. I'm afraid so, George. This is a cramped location, so put those specialist weapons to good use. Will do, Joe. I'll show these guys not to mess with a guy from the north side. The north side of what, Barry? Honolulu? I can never get your stories straight. Are you from Hawaii, Chicago, or the more likely option, Kenya? Donald, only you would be able to bring up your debunked racist birther nonsense at a time like this. Barack knows I'm kidding. Gotta keep things lighthearted to distract from the fact that we're fighting against a giant fucking magical evil eyeball. Whatever, Donnie. So when are we gonna be able to start dealing damage to this thing? The next phase, that's when it'll start opening its eye fully to use its laser beam attack. That's when it's vulnerable. It's gone again? Guess that means we're about to teleport. Uh, that's always my least favorite part. Be mindful on where you step, boys. The eye will watch the hallways and shoot a massive laser. I see what you mean, so we just peek out and shoot its big, ugly eye hole then. We'll see how it likes a taste of helium salvo rockets. Damn it, you two, get out of my way. You're blocking my shots. Our bad didn't mean to be like Hakeem Olajuwon and block you, Barack. You better not have made that basketball reference just because I'm black, Georgie. All right, we're done with this phase. On to the next one. All right, well, we're much more exposed than the last area we were in, so make sure to dodge this dude's attacks like I did that shoe that reporter threw at me. Man, that eye gives me the heebie-jeebies, the way it's just watching us. All right, he's vulnerable. Shoot the hell out of him. Odin here is going to need some eye drops by the time we're done with him. No kidding, it's starting to break apart. Gonna cry, you big, stupid, ugly eye? George has no chill. He's gone from bullying people he deems nerdy to bullying this eldritch horror. We did it. On to the last phase to claim the first Sentinel artifact and prove ourselves worthy to complete its trial. Back to where we began, huh? And boy, does this thing not look happy. Come on, guys. Let's show this thing why you don't fuck with the presidential zomboys. Oh, shit. Watch out. Ah, uh, I'm f frozen. Come on, Donnie. You don't make for a good popsicle, even if you'd be orange flavored. We need to be careful. It's got a devastating attack that will probably kill us if we allow it to charge up. Oh, now you tell us? Uh, I think it's doing that now. Shoot it! We broke its focus. Now let's destroy this thing once and for all. Fuck you, giant eyeball. You were never a match for the presidential zomboys. We did it. It's really dead.
Hey, look, the ship, it's gone back to normal. And the fully charged Sentinel artifact is ours. Something seems different. Like the air, there's something about it. Uh, I just got a text message, which means we're back in our time. You have proven thyselves worthy. Who the hell said that? Do not fear, Presidents. I am here to aid you on your quest. But you must find the other artifacts first. Who are you, and how do you know who we are? I cannot answer that yet. Just know I can protect you from the one you call Monty. If you help me, I am being held captive. You must get on one of the lifeboats before you meet a watery grave. Shit, the boat, it's sinking again. She's right, we gotta get on a lifeboat. Great, well, now we're lost in the middle of the ocean. Where do we go from here? Good question. And of course, I've lost signal. It is a good thing I had a waterproof phone case, though, or else we would have been fucked on that planet step. What the fuck was that? What was what, George? I swear I saw something swimming below us. Th that's not so funny, George. Some of us might actually believe you. George, you must be suffering from seasickness. There is nothing out here. No sharks, giant squids, or whales. Well, the only whale here is you, Donald, but yeah. George, I think you're imagining things. Oh, yeah? Then what is that? Ah! Ah! I'm, I'm alive, thank God. Nearly drowned there. This is why I never wanted to go swimming. I've never been more scared in my life. Again, how the fuck were you a lifeguard, Joe? That's not important right now. We seem to be on some sort of vessel, but how did we get here? I remember being attacked by some sort of sea monster and then nearly blacking out before being pulled in. That's a good question, Barack. Someone or something must have saved us. Who's piloting this sub anyways? Crikey, I must be dreaming. You four, you're the presidents of the United States, the ones who went missing last year. Uh-huh, and you are? Well, mate, my name's Sam, but uh, everyone knows me as Scuba Sam. Bit of a legend around these parts. The real question is, what are you blokes doing in the ocean? I mean, from what I've heard, nobody's seen you in months. It's a really long story, uh, Scuba Sam. I don't suppose you noticed the freaking Titanic sinking, did you? The Titanic? Mate, you sound right mad. Didn't that ship sink like a hundred years ago? It's true. There's forces at work that can only be described as supernatural, especially when it comes to us. Now, thank you for saving us from whatever the hell is out there, but can you bring us back to land now? No can do, mate. You see, my old man and I, we came out here to do some deep sea diving and we found this crazy facility underwater. He went down below to check it out while I manned the sub, but he hasn't responded to any of my distress calls in the past hour or so. I'd love to help you, but there's no way I'm leaving my father down there. Let me guess, you want our help? Would you, mate? I'd really appreciate it. I obviously can't leave the sub unmanned for that long, and with four of you looking, it'd be a lot more efficient. Fuck no! Didn't you fools learn anything from the Ocean Gate incident? Never get on a submarine with your dad in the middle of the ocean. I mean, I'll give you props. You did manage to get closer to the Titanic than those guys did, even if it was unintentional, but this has disaster written all over it. I mean, what choice do we have, Donald? You think we can just swim back to land? We don't even know where we are. Donald does have a point, though. What about that scary sea monster out there? I don't want to get eaten. I didn't get a good look at the bugger, but I reckon you'll be safer inside the facility than in this tin can. Me, personally, I don't care about the risks. I'm not leaving without my dad. 
But you four will have much better odds in there if this purported sea monster is as vicious as you claim. Don't worry, I'll be in close proximity to the facility. I get where you're coming from, Sam. My dad meant a lot to me, too. We'll do it. Got any more diving suits for us? Sure do. Here you go, Mr. President. Donald, I don't have any in XL, so it might be a tight fit. <laughs> Fuck you, just give me the damn thing. Damn, Donald, he was right. Uh, that suit really brings out your Trumpy Dumpy. Joe! Uh, don't ever say that about me ever again. I know I have a wonderful ass, but I don't need to hear you say it. Wow, thanks for that lovely mental image, Donald. I'm just wondering why the fuck I got stuck with an orange diving suit. I didn't even know these came in other colors. This is just like moon all over again. I look like fucking Vector from Despicable Me. Enough, you three. Sam, what can you tell us about your dad that'll make it easier for us to find him? A name, description, anything that might help. Oh, sure, mate. His name's Dan, but uh, everyone in the diving community calls him Diver Dan. You're, you're, you're kidding, right? Scuba Sam and Diver Dan, how cheesy can you get? Be nice, Donald. Now, Scuba Sam, I have just one very important question for you. You got any ice cream in here? I'm hungry, preferably chocolate, chocolate chip. No, nah, mate, um, but I have a half-eaten Vegemite sandwich I don't mind sharing. Uh, no, thanks. I think I lost my appetite. Well, now that you're all tizzied up, are you ready to head inside? I can drop you off where I dropped my dad off. Hopefully he didn't wander too far. This place seems right massive. Yeah, I guess we're ready. I promise we'll do everything to bring your dad back. Thanks, Obama, and all of you for that matter. I, I really appreciate you doing this for me. All right, well, masks on, everyone. I'll bring the sub to the entrance. All right, boys, time to really get our feet wet. We have no idea what we're heading into, so make sure to watch each other's backs. This place could be dangerous. Well, we know a thing or two about danger by this point. We'll be fine. Now, how do we get out of here, Sam? Use the tubes in the corners. They'll send you down under. You heard the man. Let's get going. The sooner we find Diver Dan, the sooner we can get out of here. Here goes nothing. Please, Mother Mary, don't let me drown. E Phew, I'm alive. That was scary. Look at this place. It's a whole ass underwater facility. And those excavators, whoever built this place, must have used it for some sort of mining operation. Someone would have to have a lot of money to build and run a place like this. I wonder what happened for it to become abandoned, though. Uh, anyone else noticing the chalk outlines on the wall and the quick revive machine? Don't tell me. <laughs> Great, just what we need, more of these undead fucks. You just had to say something, didn't you, Barry? Right, because me saying that totally spawned in all these zombies out of nowhere. What in the bloody hell is going on down there? I'm seeing lots of movement. I thought this place was abandoned. You might find this hard to believe, Sam, but the place is crawling with zombies. This isn't the first time we've dealt with them. Zombies? This is bad. My father's old. No way he can fend them off. Please, Mr. President, find him quick. We'll do our best, Sam, we promise. Come on, guys, let's look around more. Seems we have a lot of ground to cover. I don't know if it's because we're God knows how many leagues under the sea right now, but this place really gives me the creeps. Like the absence of natural light and being in these murky depths is pretty terrifying. Donald, you may be right, but can we keep the nihilism to a minimum? You're gonna make Joe piss himself. Too late. Damn it, Joe, disgusting. Oh, I don't like being out here one bit. The ocean is too scary for me. Holy shit, a fucking shark. Die, you great white bastard. Damn, Donnie, what did that shark ever do to you? It was just minding its own business. I fucking hate sharks with every fiber of my being. I'd rather die by electrocution than a shark attack. That's why I watch Shark Week every year. Gotta make sure I know how to keep myself safe from those evil creatures. Now that you mention it, I think I remember reading something about you forcing Stormy Daniels to watch it with you after you paid her to suck your mushroom-looking dick. I don't know why you're so afraid of them, considering you never go swimming in the ocean. Uh-huh, and now look at us, literally on the ocean floor, surrounded by sharks. It pays to stay informed, George. Fetch me their souls. That doesn't sound good. Oh shit, the jumping jackasses from Die Rise are here. Time to bludgeon them to death with this trusty wrench I found. Yo, one of them dropped a key. Wonder if this will be important. I suspect you may be right, Obama. This place probably holds more secrets than we think. Just don't forget, guys, the mission is to find my dad. Trust me, if I could find Osama bin Laden hiding in some cave in the middle of the fucking desert, 
we can find your dad in a place like this. Well, I guess that is a little comforting. Good news, everyone. The power is on. Good job, Donald. You've probably turned on the power during our adventures more than you've turned on your wife in the past 20 years. Joe just roasted your ass harder than the Comedy Central roast of Donald Trump. You better watch your tone, Joe. I have a really sharp knife with your name on it. All right, lovebirds, that's enough. We should probably check out the next area. Seems there's no sign of Diver Dan in this part of the facility. Well, this room seems interesting. Wonder what kind of things went on down here. It doesn't seem like your normal mining operation. Right, Joe, because you're the forefront expert in mining operations. Ah, uh, shut it, George. Anyways, I see a big red button, so I'm going to press it. What the hell? What the hell is this? A man in a tube? Joe, why would you even push a big red button in a place like this? You could have blown the place up for all we know. My bad. Still, is this dude even alive? Why is he just floating there in the water? Ah, at last. Have you come to liberate me from this prison? Whoa. Did he just speak to us? What the fuck is going on here? Wait a second. This cannot be. Donald, my old friend. Is that you? Old friend? The fuck is he talking about, Donald? You know this guy. That voice, but it can't be. It's impossible. Yet here I am, Donald, your old pal. Bet you thought I was dead, didn't you? Jeffrey, how the fuck are you alive? And more importantly, how and why are you in this underwater facility? I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? Nuh-uh, we'll be asking the questions here, you creep. Now spill the beans, because you're supposed to be buried six feet under after your little incident in prison. Very well. I knew my supposed unaliving would raise questions. Truth is, Bill and I orchestrated a plot to make it look like I died in my jail cell. My influence over people reaches farther than you could ever know. The guards who were watching my cell, the ones who conducted the autopsy, even the media, they all did my bidding to make it look like I was gone. I knew I couldn't return to my island, sadly. Lots of great memories there. So I began looking for a new place to begin my operations again. One of my clients, Prince Andrew, sold me this old underwater excavation site. Apparently it was built back in the 70s by the British government, but an incident caused every one of the workers here to perish at once. It was the perfect spot. Nobody would be able to get to me. And there was a poetic beauty in the fact that I'd be bringing miners to the mining facility. You are one sick fuck. Give us one good reason not to waste you right here and now. Because you can't. The moment I die, the entire facility is set to be destroyed, wiping out any trace of what has gone on here. I take my client's privacy very seriously. Plus, Donald wouldn't want that, would you, old friend? We had too many good times together. The hell we did. We may have been at a party or two together, but the second I found out about the sick things you were doing behind the scenes, I cut off all contact with you. Yeah, you always were a stick in the mud, never wanting to ride on the Lolita Express with me. Okay, well, another question. Why are you stuck in a cum jar? The stasis tube is what's keeping me alive. I suffered a bit of a health scare a while back, so one of my clients, a real brilliant guy, built this for me. Problem is, I need to be let out, which is where you four come in. Why the hell would we do a thing like that? We're here to find a missing diver. Maybe you've seen him? Ah, uh, yes, the diver. I've seen him, all right. Not sure why you're looking for him, but I can help you find him. If you promise to help me, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You better keep your end of the deal, Jeff, if you know what's good for you. What do we need to do first? You must find the key to my office. In there, you'll find what you need. I can't believe it. Can this adventure get any crazier? Jeffrey fucking Epstein in an underwater facility surrounded by zombies after just having survived the Titanic sinking? What did I do to deserve this fate? Maybe this is your punishment for the countless crimes you've committed, Donald. Only problem with that theory is that I'm here suffering with you. I wonder if the key I found earlier is the one Jeff mentioned. I sure hope so. The last thing I want to do to sit around looking for a key in a huge place like this. Whoa, is that the mystery box? Looks like it got a bit of a glow up. Hopefully there's something more useful in there than this wrench. As fun as it is to beat their brains in. Looks like it's mostly Black Ops 1-style weapons. 
Just got myself the Commando, which I'm sure is Jeffrey's favorite gun, considering it becomes the Predator when you upgrade it. Yippee! I got the Zap Zap guns from Moon. Joe, you remember how to use those, right? Please don't accidentally fry Donald to a crisp. No promises. Damn you, Joe. Watch where you're shooting that thing. All right, guys, let's get serious. No time for petty squabbles. Hey, guys, it's Sam just checking in on things. Any luck finding my dad? Oh, hey, Scuba Sam. As a matter of fact, we found a lead. Turns out, by some stroke of luck, an associate of Donald's was also down here, and he said he's seen your dad. He's going to help us find him. That's great news. We'll just keep me posted, yeah? Let's find Epstein's office so we can get whatever's inside. You know, going deep sea diving was actually on my bucket list, so I guess if there's a silver line into today, it's crossing that item off. Good for you, Joe. That reminds me, I don't think we've talked about it, but what are your guys' New Year's resolutions? My only goal for this year is to end this madness and be able to retire permanently to Martha's Vineyard with Michael, I mean Michelle. Well, I think we can all agree with that, Barry. Being able to resume my presidential duties is priority number one for me, but I definitely want to add more chocolate chocolate chip to my diet. Uh, hey, dumbass, aren't you supposed to try and eat healthier as a New Year's resolution? I have never heard anyone say they'd want to eat more junk. Well, Donald, unlike you, I am not morbidly obese, so I can afford to pack on some extra calories. Yo, guys, while you all were bickering, I found some sort of laboratory area. Warning, excavator pie will cause decompression of biodome. Uh-oh, well, that doesn't sound good. This place really is like a real-life version of the moon zombies map. Surely there's a hacker nearby to stop it? I found the hacker, Barry. I think I remember seeing the control panels for those excavators back at the entrance. I'll try and stop it before it comes and fucks up the place. George, are you sure your hillbilly ass can figure that out? Sounds complicated for someone of your background. I'll prove you wrong, Donald. Here goes nothing. Excavator pie. Control restored. Bazinga. I knew I could do it. Uh, Georgie, did you just say bazinga? Like Sheldon Cooper's catchphrase? Oh, well, uh, I, I started watching Young Sheldon after I got the DVD box set for Christmas. It's actually a pretty good show. I feel like it's making me smarter, too. Whoa, nerdy George in our universe? Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, and after you were so mean to your counterpart in Gorod for liking d and I mean, I'm not nearly as nerdy as that guy. I'm just more tolerant of such things. I miss those guys. I mean, other Donald was pretty cool, even if he did insult my beautiful hair. I'm just sad that other me, Dark Brandon, and I never got to share an ice cream together. Guys, not trying to brag, but I got the Ray Gun Mark II. No way, me too, Donald. Guess we're both part of the Ray Gun boys. Yo, found a part, looks important. Well, I just stumbled upon some sort of strange altar. This clearly wasn't man-made, at least not recently. There must be more to this place than meets the eye. I found a weird little piece of something on the ground as well, Donald. Looks out of place, and maybe they go together. I think I saw a workbench around here somewhere. Maybe you can try building something there. Let me see those parts you found. Looks like some sort of trident. I'll try it out. Holy shit, it shoots out water tornadoes. If only it shot out sharknadoes. Now that would be fucking awesome. Fun fact, I almost played the President of the United States in Sharknado 3 before I decided to run for the real thing. You have such a fascinating history with the presidency and sharks, Donald. Like, those two things should not be as connected as they are, but somehow with you, they are. Guys, check it out. I just unlocked this room with the key from earlier. This must be Epstein's office. Keep an eye out for anything that might seem important. Okay, well, this is weird. There's a human skull in his desk. Well, the only thing I see is this creepy painting, which is on brand for Jeffrey. Remember when they raided his home, they found a painting of Bill Clinton wearing a dress? Yeah, Jeffrey is a total weirdo. But still, maybe we should go ask him about the skull. All right, you freaky bastard. We're back. Care to explain the skull in your office? So you found it. Good. I assure you, I have not killed anyone. There were plenty to go around when I got here. I'm sure you have seen the altar in the biodome, yes? It demands an offering. You see, according to the notes left from the workers in the 70s, this place is home to an old god. The Leviathan. It chooses a host, 
corrupts their minds and wants to break free from its ocean prison. I believe this is what has happened to your missing diver. I know it sounds ridiculous. I didn't believe it either until I started noticing all the strange things happening when those two divers arrived on their submarine. Lucky for me, you four will stop it before it puts an end to my livelihood. And why on God's green earth do you think we'll do that? Because you have no other choice. I hold all of the cards. Don't worry, I'm a man of my word. It's a win-win for everybody if you just do as you're told. Now, I suggest you head to the altar, place down the skull, complete the ritual, and confront your missing diver. I hate that we really have to listen to this guy, but we don't have a choice. Come on, guys, let's go. All right, well, let's go to the altar. I know the way, so just follow me. That reminds me of this funny meme I saw of a little Sonic the Hedgehog dude, and he says, do you know the way? Joe, that meme is like six years old. I'd almost rather you talk about Skibbity Toilet again than start saying that annoying shit. Joe has always been a little behind the times. I mean, dude probably walks around the White House wearing a nightcap and gown, carrying a little candle when he wakes up to piss at night. Damn it, I do not. When I have to pee at night, I just do it in the bed, then Jill cleans me up. Jesus, Joe, TMI. Let's just put the skull on the altar. There we go. Look, the skull, it's collecting souls of the zombies. Of course it is. No matter where we go, there's always at least one thing that's powered by zombie souls. How do zombies even have souls? I mean, they're dead, right? That's a damn good question, Joe. One will never get the answer to, I'm afraid. Uh, guys, there's a portal. I'm guessing Diver Dan is in there. There's a horde of zombies coming, so we'll just have to find out. Everyone in. Okay, well, now we're in a room creepier than Joe's basement. Fuck you, Donald. Look, in each corner, there are weird glowing orbs of energy. I wonder what those are about. Whoa, they seem to react to the ray gun. Let me try shooting the rest. Obama, you big black genius, you did it. Now, I'm not sure what it is, but you definitely did something. This strange energy, I feel it calling to me. Oh, shit, what the? Ah! Oh, my back. Where the fuck are we now? Welcome, presidential zomboys. Who, who the hell said that? Look, over there. You must be here for the diver. Uh, isn't that you? I am merely using this body as a vessel. My true form would be too much for your mortal eyes to handle. For centuries I have ruled over the seven seas. Until you humans began building monuments to your hubris. The land above wasn't enough to satisfy your greed. And so I will take this body and conquer the surface world. Yeah, there's just one teeny tiny problem with that. We're gonna stop you. This is your one chance to put Diver Dan back to normal. The ocean is big enough for us all to coexist peacefully, Mr. Leviathan. You dare make demands of me, mortals. You will suffer greatly for your insolence. I will gut you with my harpoon gun, as your kind have to the inhabitants of the ocean. Shit, get ready, boys. I think we're about to have a fight on our hands. to enter Davy Jones' locker. Oh shit, look out, guys. Make sure we don't kill him. Sam's dad is still in there somewhere. And if this guy wasn't bad enough, the zombies have made their way here too. What on earth is going on down there? I can't find you guys on my sonar. Well, the good news is we found your dad. Bad news, he's been possessed by fucking Cthulhu or something. Don't worry, Sam, we're gonna save him. You're not lying to me? Please do everything you can to save him. We will, as long as he doesn't kill us first. Let's see you survive this attack. Shit, he's charging up something big, guys. Hide behind these pillars. Hopefully they hold stronger than the Twin Towers did. Even at a time like this, you guys can't give me a break? Well, I guess it's confirmed. 
evil godly energy from a possessed diver does not melt stone pillars. There he is again. Let him have it. This is for scaring me so badly back in 2005 on the SpongeBob movie, you Cyclops fuck. I'm sure he's petrified that you're shooting him with the fucking Mauser, Joe. Don't you have any stronger firepower? We'll see how they like a taste of Poseidon's wrath. Oh, dear Neptune, he's charging up again. Everyone hide. I will make you mortals drown in your own blood. Well, that's a disturbing thought, but come on, your attacks are too predictable. We've taken down bigger than you before. This dude is definitely built different, because he survived tons of Ray Gun Mark II shots. Don't get too close. He's strapped with grenades that he keeps dropping. Not gonna lie, though, that's giving me some great ideas for back home with the box of nades I got for Christmas. Barry, every day you surprise me more and more with the fucked up things you want to do to innocent people with explosives. More okay. jumping jacks coming at us. These things must be like super Mexicans or something, because they could clear my border wall with a single leap. Damn it, Donald. Leave it to you to spout the most racist shit out of nowhere. Who in their right mind even thinks of something like that? Especially at a time like this. We all know Donald's head works in fucked up ways. Now come on, let's put an end to the Leviathan's hold on Dan. You're lucky we're friends, Obunga. Otherwise, I'd type up a Twitter thread roasting you, now that I'm unbanned. Hell, I might just do it anyways for shits and giggles. God damn you four argue a lot, and I have to listen to it over the comms. Just hurry up and put a stop to whatever's controlling my father. Sam's right. Everyone focus fire on him. Take this, you big palooka. <laughs> Did that do it? Uh, Dan, you okay? I will not be letting go of this vessel that easily. You may have stopped me for now, but this isn't over. He disappeared. Maybe we should report back to Sam. There's that blue light again. I wonder what it is. Whoa, I feel stronger. Guys, you gotta touch that light. You're right, George. This is just like the Thunderfist from Origins. I can launch these zombies a mile away. Hey, Mr. President, did you all stop that evil creature that was controlling my dad? Well, we defeated it all right, for now anyways. I think we should regroup and talk things over. All right, I'll swing my sub by the power station. Meet me there. Good, that teleporter got us out of that hell hole. Scuba Sam's waiting for us. Let's go break the news to him about what happened. All right, Sammy, unfortunately, we couldn't break the Leviathan's hold over your father. We're kind of at a loss on what to do at this point. Damn it, there's gotta be something we can do. I refuse to give up on him. What about Donald's friend that you all ran into down there? Maybe he can help? Please don't call him my friend. Well, that's about the only thing I can think of. Maybe Jeff can help us, much as I want to kill the guy. All right, well, that's settled. Oh, and Sam, I hadn't noticed before, but that machine behind you, the Pack-a-Punch, how did you get one on your submarine? Oh, so you know what this thing is? We recovered it from the ocean one day with one of those big magnets. This machine is bigger than the spiders we have in Australia, so we just put it in here until we could find out what it's worth. Looks like it's got something to do with guns, which of course aren't as prevalent in our country as they are yours. But if you guys can get some sort of use out of it, by all means, go right ahead. Thanks, Sam. Honestly, you've been lugging around one of the most powerful creations in all existence. We know how to use it, though. All right, well, let's pap just in case and then go return to Jeffrey. All right, boys. I feel like we'll need all the firepower we can get if we're actually gonna take down the Leviathan. Damn right. We'll see how it likes it when I give it a few Boomhilda shots to the face. Bro, this Pap Camel goes so fucking hard. All right, well, I think we're sufficiently armed for the battle ahead, at least for now. Let's skedaddle. I hate this part. At least I didn't inherit my dad's weak stomach. I'll never forget watching him throw up on the Prime Minister of Japan. Yeah, that was pretty fucking embarrassing for the U.S. on the world stage, not gonna lie. Donald, I don't think you have any right to call someone else an embarrassment to our nation when you look like a walking pumpkin. Bullshit, if anyone should be compared to a vegetable here, it should be President Alzheimer's. Now wait a cotton picking second, what did I do? First off, Joe, don't mention picking cotton near Barack, you're gonna give him PTSD. Secondly, you probably have to ask yourself, what did I do every day because you forget? Donald, I just got a sniper rifle, and I won't hesitate to make an attempt on your life like Lee Harvey Oswald tried to do to JFK. Tried? Oh, wait, I forgot. History was changed. J 
JFK was never shot by Oswald. He died at Morgue City. The others don't know that. Oh, uh, guys, I got some crazy looking harpoon gun. It looks to be the same one Diver Dan was using during our fight. Nice. Just don't accidentally shoot one of us with it. That'd be Guantanamo Bay levels of painful. Now let's go ask Jeffrey if he can help us. All right, Epstein, you evil fuck, we're back. So you are. I take it you found your diver, yes? Yeah, we found him. You were spot on about him being possessed by the Leviathan. Guess you're not as useless as we thought. Problem is, the Leviathan won't let go of his body. He plans on conquering all of the surface world unless we put a stop to him. Do you have anything down here we can use to defeat him? I may be able to help, but don't forget our deal. You owe me. I want out of here. I thought you were recovering from some health problems. Don't you have to stay in that tube for a while? Oh, I don't just mean out of this tube. I mean out of this plane of existence. Okay, and what does that mean? Uh, we're used to different realities and shit, but that's gonna need some more explaining. Very well. It is probably more complicated than you simpletons could fathom, but here's the short version. The same scientist I mentioned earlier who built this tube for me. He had a theory. It involved black holes being amplified by objects of immense power. Objects that I have in my possession in this facility. So you want us to find them, and they're gonna somehow transport you to another plane of existence or some shit, right? It's a bit more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. The scientist is still down here somewhere. He can help you find the objects. Now, not that I really give a shit about what happens to you, but isn't that a big risk to take based on some Matt Pat level theory? Like I said, this guy's brilliant. I know it'll work. He's been loyal to me for a long time, ever since the island days. That fucking island, Little St. James. Such an innocent name for a hellish place. Honestly, it's probably worse than when we were on the island of despair, where we met Yamato. All right, Jeffrey, so this associate of yours, where is he? That's a good question. I haven't heard from him in a while. I'm thinking maybe something happened to him. Just keep an eye and ear out. I'm sure you'll run into him. Well, that's not a lot to go off of, but okay, I guess we'll get to looking. All right, guys, keep your eyes peeled for Jeffrey's scientist buddy. I was naive thinking fighting zombies underwater would be fun. This has just been a wild goose chase. If it's anything like this, I hope Treyarch never makes an Atlantis map. Well, this is real life. It's not supposed to be fun. We're fighting for our lives. Besides, we already got a goaded underwater zombies map, exo zombies descent. Fucking gross, exo zombies sucks. Besides, you literally only go underwater during one step of that map's Easter egg. For the rest, you're inside a building that just happens to be underwater. Damn, George is spitting. Joe probably thinks Descent is a top 10 map like fucking Noah J456. What the? I hear a strange banging sound. Is someone there? I could really use some assistance. Where are you? I'm stuck behind this door. Please help me out. Everyone over here, I think I found the guy Jeffrey was talking about. This is President Obama speaking. Who's in there? Barack Obama? We've met before. What are you doing here? Listen, I've met lots of people. You'll have to be more specific. And free me, I'll gladly reveal myself. I'm actually quite famous. No doubt someone on Epstein's list. No wonder he doesn't want to reveal himself. Just listen for a sec. There's a massive steam leak happening, and it's getting quite hard to see. There are a bunch of valves around the facility. I need you to turn them. Problem is, you're going to need a spare wheel to turn them and lower the pressure. If we don't take care of this, the consequences for the facility could be catastrophic for all of us. Where are we supposed to find a spare valve wheel? Did you say you need a wheel? I think I have just what you need. Come back to the submarine and I'll give it to you. Hell yeah, Scuba Sam coming in clutch. Yo, was this portal here before? A portal, huh? Let's see where it goes. What the? This looks a lot like Samantha's bedroom. Do you think Jeffrey made that portal to teleport himself into little kids' bedrooms? Monsters, Inc. style? I don't know, but that shark mask looks interesting. Maybe it'll help us blend in with those horrid creatures. Wow, we all look so cute with these shark masks on. Don't call me cute ever again, Joe. Let's just head to Sam's submarine. All right, got the wheel. Thanks, Sam. Ah, oh, don't mention it, mate. Good luck out there. All right, now keep an eye out for some leaky valves. Found a pipe. Looks like it's missing a valve. I'll tighten it. Uh, how many of these did Sam give you, Barry? Oh, he's got plenty. My dad and I would always pick up those things with our big old fishing magnet. And I swear, 
People throw anything in the oceans these days, but we do our part to keep the Great Barrier Reef clean. It's always nice to see young people actually care about the environment. Yeah, not gonna lie, back when I was a teenager, my friends and I would throw beer cans into the local river. Well, you don't do it anymore, right, Georgie? Well, I stopped drinking Bud Light after they went woke. I don't think you know what woke is, George, but hey, if it keeps you from putting that piss water into your stomach, I guess it's a win. Well, Laura agrees with you there, Joe. Anyways, found another valve. I found one too. It would be nice if we could just go one day without having to deal with hordes of the undead. I wonder what causes them to be attracted to us no matter where we go. They're probably after Trump's dump truck. Joe, stop talking about my ass like that. Okay, but on a serious note, like Monty said, it's probably got something to do with our connection to the ether. We haven't heard from Monty in a while, thankfully. And that new voice we heard after beating the eye of Odin, she said she could protect us from him. Yeah, I trust a disembodied voice about as much as I'd trust letting Bill Cosby pour me a drink, which is to say not at fucking all. Your hesitancy is definitely shared among the rest of us, Donnie. It's hard to trust people after all we've been through. I definitely don't trust Epstein. Well, on the bright side, the pressure has been appropriately recalibrated. Hopefully this scientist dude can reach us now. Let's go check it out. Open up, bitch. We solved your steam problem. Thank you, I'm coming out. Do not be alarmed when you see me. Come on out, it's safe for now. Very well, I'm opening the door. Greetings, Mr. Presidents. This sure wasn't the cavalry I was expecting. Oh my God, it's Bill Nye. Joe, you buffoon, that's Stephen Hawking. We literally met him at the White House. Oh yeah, I remember now. I loved you in Dead Poets Society. Joe, that was Ethan Hawke, not Stephen Hawking. Uh, is no one going to point out the fact that this motherfucker is walking and talking like a normal human being? Yes, well, you see, all of that was merely an act to build my fame. Sure, I was a genius, but that can only get you so far. Playing the role of a disabled intellect assured my stardom. Nobody was going to tell me I was wrong because they'd fear being cancelled. But you were an inspiration to millions. I can't believe you'd do such a thing. And I still am. So long as nobody finds out the truth, we all have skeletons in our closets, my deception isn't even the worst of mine. Yeah, like being buddy-buddy with Jeffrey fucking Epstein. I didn't know you liked him young, you creep. Judge me all you want, but since you saved me, I owe you. Well, according to Jeffrey, we're looking for supposed objects of power for some theory of yours involving black holes. So you four are going to put my theory to the test? Very well. I can guide you to one of the objects, follow me, and make sure I don't get eaten by those flesh munchers. All right, Stephen, let's get a move on. Time is of the essence. Right, follow me. I think it's this way. You think? I swear you're getting to sound like Joe now. No, I mean, it is definitely this way. For your sake, I hope you're right. Yes, well, just keep the zombies off of me. Seeing you walk around and talk like a normal person is pretty cursed, not gonna lie. I said keep them away from me. I can't defend myself. Get up, you pussy. These zombies aren't even that bad. They aren't the biting type, usually anyways. If you can't take a couple bitch slaps from them, then you deserve to be in that chair. Okay, that's kind of fucked up, Donald. But then again, he was on Epstein's island. I never knew Albert Einstein had an island. Were you all doing math equations together? Einstein? He died nearly 70 years ago. Are you slow in the head? Actually, don't answer that. All right, are we almost there? You don't seem to be moving with a sense of purpose. I'm just trying to remember. I thought you were some sort of genius. You've literally just walked us in a big fucking circle. We're back at the fucking labs where we started. I just remembered where it is. Follow me. Here we go, right behind this door up ahead. About damn time, I swear my bunions were starting to get bunions. Goodbye, my friends. Here is your reward. There are plenty, and they can amplify the power of your harpoon gun, Donald. No way, is that Walter White's blue crystal meth? Of course, that's where your mind goes, Obamna. Well, let's grab some of these. I think I saw a workbench in the lab for this harpoon gun. If I can make it more powerful, I damn sure will. Okay, well, that's one of the objects. What about the other two? It's just a hunch, but I'm thinking maybe there's some clues in Jeffrey's office. I mean, if these things are as important as he's claiming, surely he'd have at least one close to him. Wow, Joe, that is actually the smartest thing I've heard you say all day. Well, I just fitted this crystal to the front of the harpoon gun. Not sure what this does, but we're gonna find out soon enough. 
For now, let's go check Epstein's office. This painting still gives me the creeps. Why are the eyes glowing like that? Yeah, even by Epstein standards, this is sus as hell. Oh shit, I knocked it down. Is that the Vril device? How did Jeffrey get his hands on this? After all, we fused it with the focusing stone on Moon. I think we better go ask him some more questions. Yo, Jeff, how in the hell did you manage to get your hands on this artifact? Ah, yes, the Vril device. I came into possession of it from a very interesting third party a few months back. I never knew what it did until one day I began hearing voices and seeing visions. I thought I was crazy at first, but these otherworldly entities told me they came from a place called the Ether. And since then, I have been obsessed with making my way there to experience pleasures not of this earthly realm. Like George said earlier, we don't really give a fuck what happens to you. But I'm telling you from experience, the Ether is not all it's cracked up to be. And I was in control of it. It would make someone like you more twisted and fucked up than you already are. Donald, you... you've been there? Bullshit, I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me. Just tell us where this last item is so we can free you and stop the Leviathan. The last item is a piece of highly concentrated uranium. Safe for human hands, though, don't worry. You'll have to go outside to the processing chamber and turn it on. To refine the uranium, the vessel is fed with souls. I'm sure the zombies will work just fine. Wow, so a soul box, who would have guessed? All right, let's go find this uranium then. I think I saw some sort of big refinery by the speed cola machine outside. That has to be what Jeffrey was talking about. Did I hear him say something about uranium? That can't be safe. Mate, I think you're getting played like a didgeridoo. We don't really have any alternate choices. We'll be careful, Sam, don't worry. Anyways, this must be the thingy Jeff was talking about. Time to start collecting souls like we're the fucking Grim Reaper then. Turn that shit on. Damn, why did that line actually go kind of hard? I really hope this uranium doesn't make me grow a new arm or something like some Fallout type shit. Who knows, maybe it'll make you grow a new brain, Sleepy Joe. Yep, saw that one coming. Anyways, the tank is full, now what? Oh dear, the uranium refinery overloaded the electrical grid. The power is out. You must turn on the backup generators, or my tank will run out of oxygen, and I'll die. Well, as much as I'd love to let Jeffrey here pass away, if we don't save him, we're all doomed. But I'm scared of the dark, especially with zombies crawling around the place. Where's my nightlight? Joe, I am really trying my best to hold back from roasting the fuck out of you right now. Enough petty squabbles, you two. I found one of the backup generators. What the shit? We're locked in. This is giving me flashbacks to the China virus. The lockdown is temporary as the generator turns on. Stay vigilant, my friend. For the last time, we are not friends you creepier than Joe, fuck. What's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what Donald meant. Did you miss me? What the? Oh, fuck, it's Diver Dan. You will not stop what is coming. I will drag entire continents down into the infinite depths of the ocean. Over our dead bodies. I will be reborn again. Safe to say that's not the last we've seen of Corrupted Diver Dan. The lockdown's been lifted. Come on, guys. It's hard to listen to my father being possessed by that thing. We have to save him. We've got this, Sam. Don't worry. Here's the next generator. Get ready for another lockdown. This sure is a lot of work for some uranium. I'd better be able to take some of this supercharged stuff back home. I could probably get the Pentagon to make a weapon of mass destruction capable of wiping Iran off the map. God damn, Obama, are you going through puberty again? Your voice just cracked like three fucking times. Shut up, Donald. The lockdown's over. Let's get out of here. Man, this must be how Joe feels all the time. Just walking around totally in the dark. Will you shut up, man? Just turn the damn generator on before I mollywhop you. Now that's something I'd like to see. You two should do a boxing match for the presidency like those loser YouTubers do, only without the rigged results. Well, Joe has a history of rigging things against me, so I doubt he'd agree to it. Plus, his skeleton-looking ass wouldn't want to catch these hands. I was in the WWE for crying out loud. Give me a break, Donnie. That shit was faker than your hair. You've turned on all three of the backup generators. Now just flip the breaker in the monitor room. It's the big room with a bunch of TV screens. You can't miss it. You heard the guy. Let's find this switch. Flip that switch. Power restored to facility. Oh, finally, I can see you guys again. It was dark as hell down there. Don't worry, Sam. We're close to being done with this fetch quest. 
so we should be able to... The hell was that? Shit, something just hit the sub. It's going down. Ah! Sam? Sam, speak to us. What the fuck just happened? Something very bad just happened. Come on, we gotta try and find his submarine. We can't let him die. This is just fucking great. That sub was also our ticket out of here. I just hope Sam survived. He's been so helpful, he doesn't deserve to die down here. Guys, I think I found something. Come over to my location right now. That sub, it's definitely Sam's. I'm gonna go inside and see if he's alive. Damn it. There was no sign of him in there at all. There was blood along the interiors, though. He could have been thrown out the back when it exploded. Was this an accident or something else? Now what? We promised we'd save his dad, but we couldn't even keep him safe. Damn it, why does this keep happening to us? I know it sucks, but moping isn't going to help anyone. We need to find a way out of here more than anything. It's probably a stretch, but maybe Jeff can help us. All right, Jeffrey, we got you these three items you were looking for, but unfortunately something went wrong with our submarine and we're kind of stranded here. Well, Barack, that is unfortunate news, but you know what they say? No loose ends. Or are you saying you're responsible for what happened to Scuba Sam? You sick fuck, we should just kill you right here and now. Let's not get too hasty, Mr. President. Remember, if I die, this whole place goes down with me. Face it, I've won and you've lost. Damn it, he's got a point. Why would you do this though? Sam was an innocent bystander just trying to save his dad. Truth is, I'm just a man who doesn't care if the world burns. I'll be in Agartha soon enough. Now, place the items over there, or else I'll take my own life for real, killing you four in the process. Fuck, he's really got us backed up in a corner here. What do we do, guys? I don't think we have a choice. We've got to give him what he wants. All right, you sick motherfucker, you've got your items. Very good. Now, you must create a black hole. I believe there is an object capable of doing such a thing in the magic box. A Gersh device? Donnie, didn't you get those earlier? Sure did. Goodbye, Jeffrey, you sick fuck. If this actually works, I hope the ether is hell for you. Yes! I see it. The gateway is open, finally! So long, Mr. President. If I were you, I'd head to the submarine room. Maybe you can escape before this place is destroyed. <laughs> destroyed? What is he talking about? Emergency warning. Instability of facility infrastructure at critical levels. All personnel is advised to evacuate immediately. This is not a drill. Oh shit, he two-timed us. We gotta get out of here before we sink with the rest of this place. Come on, guys. I think I remember seeing a submarine up ahead in one of the rooms. That's our best chance out of here. All right, get ready to jump inside, boys. Hopefully this thing isn't too hard to pilot. Take the wheel. This can't be too different from my Air Force days. Hey, look, a boat. Maybe someone on board can help us. Somehow I doubt we'd get that lucky. Still, it's worth checking out. Let's hop on board. Well, this place looks just as desolate as the facility. Oh, no. You are not alone. Uh, guys, look over there. The time for games is over. Now I will show you my full power. There will be no stopping the full force of the Leviathan. Detecting Leviathan class. Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? What the fuck is that? We're all gonna die! And if the giant sea creature wasn't enough, there are hordes of zombies, too. Joe, can't you hit this thing with a Biden blast? I, I can't. I can only use it during specific moments. I mean, this seems like a pretty fucking good time to be able to use it, Joe. This is like the biggest creature we've ever faced by a landslide. There is nothing you mortals can do to stop us. Oh, fuck! He's got a laser beam attack. Take cover. 
It's got to have some weakness. I refuse to be fish food. Let's just pray our packed weapons will be enough to take it down. Maybe we should focus on the tentacles. Good idea. The last thing I want is to be grabbed by this thing. I've seen too much hentai to know what that would lead to. I'm too focused on surviving to even acknowledge what you just said, Donald. If we actually make it out of here, I am never stepping foot near the ocean ever again. God damn, I can only imagine what having one of those tentacles slammed down on you would feel like. Watch where you step, boys. Guys, I think it's charging up something big. Take cover immediately. You will now feel the full force of the Leviathan's wrath. Holy shit. We can't let this thing win. It'd decimate entire cities if it wanted to. Wait a sec, where is it going? We must regain our energy. You can play with the diver for now. There he is, Diver Dan. We know you're still in there. Your son died trying to save you. You have to break free. Your words are useless. This body belongs to me now. He's not going to listen to reason. We have to defeat him. We're so sorry, Dan, but it's our survival or yours. No! We got him. Now we just got to take out the big bastard behind all of this. Well, Tharshi fucking blows. Get ready to give it every bullet we've got. Between this and Voyage of Despair, I'm completely done with water and boats after today. I mean, Barry, given your people's history with drownings, I figured you wouldn't have been a fan to begin with. Joe, remind me to punch Donald after we kill this thing. Aye, aye, Captain. Keep shooting it. Is it dead? Did we actually do it? I, I think so. Let's fucking go, boys. Michelle is never going to believe this. Great, we killed the massive fucking sea monster. Now what? We still don't have a way out of here. That's a very good question. Being stranded at sea is not how I want to die. <coughs> Did you all hear that? Look, over there. Where in the bloody hell am I? Why am I on a boat with presidents of the United States? That is a long story. You must be Diver Dan, aren't you? That's right, mate. Last thing I remember is coming out here with my son, young guy, mid-twenties, blonde shaggy hair and a beard. Have you seen him? I'm so sorry, Dan. But Sam, he, he didn't make it. Mate, tell me you're joking right now, my boy. He can't be. For what it's worth, Mr. Dan, he saved us. And ultimately, in aiding us and stopping the creature that took control of you, he saved potentially millions of lives. That sounds like my Sam always willing to lend a helping hand. Trust us, your son is a hero in every sense of the word. But we really did try and save him the way he saved us. Why are you all talking about me like I kicked the bucket? Hold on a sec, that voice. Son, you're alive. You're damn right I am. It's gonna take more than an explosion to take me down. I'm Scuba Sam after all, but I'm just glad you are okay, Dad. Thanks to my new mates here. Are you okay though, son? We should probably get you to a hospital. Yeah, kind of had to fight off a bloody shark. I sent that Noah swimming home to mummy, though. You're officially my new hero, Sam. Fuck sharks. Great, we got a happy ending. Now what, guys? We still need to find the other sentinel artifacts. Well, I got no clue what a sentinel artifact is, but we should really take that sub and head back to the mainland. You have done well, my heroes. The old god of the sea prevented me from assisting you. But now you may continue your journey. It's that mysterious voice again. Tell us who you are and what we have to do. All questions will be answered in due time, Barak. Now step into the portal. But be warned, the path ahead is filled with danger. My light will guide you along the way. Uh, who are you talking to? Sorry, gentlemen, but we gotta go. We'll never forget the legendary Scuba Sam and Diver Dan. We appreciate your help today. Right, but where are you gents gonna go? We're in the middle of the ocean. Holy smokes, Dad. Look, a magic portal just opened up. We got to go. The fate of the universe rests in our hands. If you could keep meeting us on the down low, we'd appreciate it, by the way. So long, guys. Well, this has officially been the weirdest day of my life. No fucking kidding. <laughs> Say, Dad, how about we head home and fire up some shrimp on the barbie? That sounds like a splendid idea.
You are almost there. Uh-huh. And just where are we going exactly? You just brought us to some random-ass cave. Yeah, lady, some answers would be really nice. All in due time, Barak. For now, you must trust me. For your very souls are at stake. Well, we've heard that line before. Seems like we're always risking our bodies and souls for some grand purpose outside our realm of understanding. The unseen forces at work that seek to undermine your efforts are far worse than you could possibly imagine. Well, we know just how bad Dr. Monty can be, but I'm sure he's not the only one who wants to put a stop to us. After all, there's still the mystery of this picture of my handsome face we found on the Titanic. Someone knows about us, and I doubt they're friendly. Yeah, knowing our luck, that's probably true. Hey, guys, look up ahead. Yo, sexy lady voice. Why bring us to this cave just to make us go through another portal? This is not like the others you have encountered. This place holds much significance. The veil between worlds is at its weakest here. However, your physical selves are not capable of entry. Okay, and just what exactly does that mean? Where does that portal lead? And how are we expected to go through it? It is answers you want, correct? Through the portal, your minds will be transported back through the ages. The knowledge you so desperately seek can be found there. Why can't you just give us the answers? You seem like you know a lot about us, but we don't know Jack about you. Time to start talking if you expect us to just do as you say. Unfortunately, I cannot answer the question as to who I am just yet. Just know I seek to save this universe and all of them. Our goals are indeed aligned. Now to enter the portal, you must steal your minds. This place has special properties that with the right mental fortitude, you may exit the physical realm to head back in time. Do you have an explanation that's not vague as fuck? You must figure out the path ahead yourselves. Prove to me that you are capable of this great responsibility the universe has bestowed upon you. Well, gee, thanks a lot. How the hell are we supposed to go through this portal without using our physical bodies? Maybe we're supposed to off ourselves and turn into ghosts or something, like afterlife mode and mob of the dead? That's a horrible idea, Joe. I'm not too keen on dying just to have it not work. Hmm, maybe that could work. What, dying? No, not that. You see, I have something in my possession that might be able to help. It's said to give you the feeling of leaving your body. Well, that sounds just like what we need. Where have you been hiding such a thing, Barack? Something this good sounds really powerful. You're damn right. This is probably more powerful than the summoning key. It's a little something called dimethyltryptamine. Dimethyl what now? That sounds scary. Oh, hell no. Obama, you fucking junkie. That's one of your drugs, isn't it? I mean, it is all natural. Joe Rogan gave me some of this DMT, and honestly, I've been a bit too scared to try it myself, but from what he's told me, it really is an out-of-body experience. I don't care. I'm straight-edge Barry. You know that. I've never even touched a drop of alcohol my whole life or even a cigarette. And now you're asking me to try DMT? That could be laced with God knows what! I hate to admit it, but Donald is right, Barack. That shit sounds dangerous. Oh, come on. Lots of people try it. I really think this will work, guys. Shit. Let me just read the cronorium. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally says right here. The presidential zomboys experience an amazing DMT trip and continue their journey. Oh, yeah? Let me see that book, then. Well, the book changes, depending on the reader. Probably says something different for you. Just believe me, Donald, I'm totally right. Well, I trust you, Barry, even if I'm a little scared. The only thing I'm scared of is Joe frying what little brain cells he has left. So if that happens, you're responsible, Barry. Shit, we're really doing this, aren't we? <sighs> Light that shit up, I guess.
feels so good. This is weird as hell. I'm seeing so many strange colors and shit. This is fucking awesome. I don't know if I'll ever go back to weed after this. I'm gonna have to thank Joe Rogan next time I see him. Hold on, why are we like see-through? As a politician, I am not used to being this transparent. <laughs> Joe, why are you screaming like you saw a ghost? Look, on the ground. That's, that's me. Shit, the rest of our bodies are here too. Obama, I told you this fucking DMT was laced, probably with fentanyl that came across Biden's open border. Now we're dead. You're not dead, you nimrods. Larry, good to see you, old friend. But what the hell are you doing here? Well, I could ask you the same thing. Why the fuck are you four smoking that nasty stuff in some cave? Have you finally lost it? Wait a second, how did you know we were doing DMT? Hold on a second. Larry, is that really you? What do you mean, Barack? It sure looks like him to me. Well, I've always heard that people who trip on DMT are visited by these uh, machine elves or some shit. I don't know why, but everyone always seems to hallucinate elves when on DMT. Is that true, Larry? Are you just a figment of our drug-fueled imaginations? You got me, Barack. Yep, I'm just part of your DMT trip. Whether that's a good or bad thing, you can decide. But until you sober up, I'll be here to stay. Who knows? Maybe I can be of some assistance. In any case, you are now in such a higher state of existence that your souls have left your bodies, meaning the way ahead is now clear. Well, even if you aren't real, I did miss you, little guy. I'm just shocked Obama's plan worked. Of course it worked. Now, I, I think we should step through the portal. Not sure where it'll take us, but there's only one way to find out. All right, well, here goes nothing. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt. This had better be important. Well, yes, sir. You see, the prophecy has come to light. You speak the truth? They have finally arrived, just as it has been foretold by our Lord and Savior. It appears so, sir. They have been captured and are awaiting your orders. Shall we dispose of them now? <laughs> you know, even before I founded the Nine, you were always my favorite. Surely even you can comprehend the magnitude of this moment. I think we should put our new guests to the test. They should suffer after all, especially the imposter among them. Are you suggesting what I think you are, sir? Indeed. If they have truly come for my sentinel artifact, then what better way to dispose of them than by forcing them to partake in its trial? It'll provide the members of our movement some much-needed entertainment as well. Who knows? Maybe it'll even get a reaction from your stone-cold face. Unlikely, sir. I live to see our goals fulfilled, nothing else. In any case, I'll have the guards prepare the contenders. Very well. Leave my sight then, Clarence. I have my own preparations to take care of. At long last, my destiny will be fulfilled. I cannot wait to alert our Lord about this. We just had to teleport right in the middle of enemy territory, didn't we? I'm not surprised, but those goons that threw us in here, they sure were dressed funny, weren't they? Joe, I think we have bigger things to worry about than what kind of clothes they were wearing. Besides, I have a good idea about where we are. When those guards walked us over here, I got a pretty good look at the outside. It seems like a gladiatorial arena. You see where I'm getting at here? I don't. Oh, of course. This must be nine. That would explain our change in attire as well. I must admit, we do look pretty badass. Even you, Larry. What is that supposed to mean? I tell you, if I weren't a hallucination, I'd smack you upside the head, Barack. So is this all a hallucination as well? I mean... We entered this place with our spiritual selves, but now we're all solid again. Well done on breaking through, Presidential Zomboys. The artifact you seek is close by, but unfortunately, it is well guarded. The ones who control this place are your true enemies. Be warned, Presidents. Should you fall here, your bodies back in the cave will also perish.
Well, thanks for the heads up. That means no goofing off, guys. I assume we'll have to follow the steps of the nine Easter egg, but uh, uh, who actually remembers how to do that shit? Not me. Literally, the only step I remember from that is actually having to pick up actual fecal matter. And I promise I will not be doing that. Hold on, you guys hear that? Sounds like a crowd of people out there. What is this, a football game or something? Yeah, definitely not. It's more than likely an arena for us to fight zombies in for the entertainment of the masses. Hmm, but I guess on the bright side, there's no Taylor Swift here. Okay, Kanye, I swear, you Republicans need to leave that girl alone. Don't start with the petty squabbles, you two. The gate is rising. Well, boys, go give these freaks who kidnapped us a performance they'll never forget. Time to go give the crowd what they want, I guess. Are they cheering for us because they want us to survive? or die. The contenders have entered the arena. Can they appease the gods, or will they suffer the same fate as those who came before them? Uh, I'm gonna bet on the latter, Joe. Well, I shouldn't be too surprised we're here. I mean, Nine is one of the best zombies maps, but it also has some of the most terrifying enemies. I thought this map was called XI. No, Joe, you dummy, it's pronounced Nine. Oi, what do you mean, zombies map? All right, you don't know everything we've been through. I promise it's not worth explaining it all to a hallucination. Shit, watch out, guys. They're turning up the heat out here. At least we have this armor to protect us a bit. I'm kind of jealous of Georgie, though. Seems like he got the bulkiest of the bunch. Yeah, also the heaviest. This shit is no fun to run around in, and it's hot as hell in this desert. I mean, I'd rather be you than me right now. I got stuck with this lame-ass chainmail. I guess you could say you're the very first black knight, Barack. I know you meant that as a racial dig, Donald, but honestly, that's a pretty badass title. First black president and first black knight. I'll take it. Anyways, I think we should get to exploring the rest of this place. We won't make any progress just sitting around joking. What is this place anyways? And what did that guy mean by appeasing the gods? Well, we're not 100% sure what the purpose of this place is, but each building in the arena is dedicated to gods of different mythologies. The sentinel artifact that we seek has begun its trial, and we must prove ourselves to the gods to beat it. That sounds simple enough. I know I did this Easter egg on the zombies map version back in the day. Now it's just a matter of remembering what to do. Well, I know your memory is pretty dog shit, Joe. Thankfully, I remember we have to activate these gongs first. A contender calls the champion of Danu. Oh no, there's a scary gladiator zombie. I think I'm gonna wet myself. Hold on, Joe, we can't have you walking around in soiled armor. Too late. But hey, on the bright side, we killed him. The champion of Danu is slain. Did I just see you pick up that gladiator zombie's head? Disgusting. You know, I love you, Larry, but for a hallucination, you sure do yap a lot. Besides, this head is needed to open the pack-a-punch. Remember in Santa's workshop, the machine he had in his vault that upgraded our weapons? Donald, I'm a hallucination. My memories are all artificial, so if you want me to remember something, then I will. But speaking of needing head, think you can smoke a little more of that DMT to conjure up a lady elf for me? Gross, Lair. Hallucination or not, I'm not sure if I want you on my shoulder anymore. Guys, I found a part. Looks like it's for the brazen bull shield. Look at you, Joe, making yourself useful. Next on the agenda should be summoning the champion of Raw. All right, I'll ring the gong then. A contender calls the champions of Raw. Shit, there's two of them now. Joe, don't forget we literally took out a giant sea monster not too long ago. We can take out these gladiator fucks. The champions of Raw are slain. Ah, thank you for proving my point, Mr. Whoever the fuck is in charge. Well done, guys. Now on to the next. We'll have to head down below to make our way to the other towers. It's going to be close quarters down here, so be on guard. Man, this room kind of looks like my bedroom in Trump Tower. Think I could get away with stealing some gold coins? Who do you think you are, Sonic the Hedgehog? Besides, why do you need them if you're supposedly a billionaire anyways? Goddamn Joe, you fucking dementia patient. Sonic collects rings, not coins. That's something everybody knows. Now, I don't blame you for not knowing that, Joe. Sonic sucks. 
Maybe this is a hot take among gamers, but Sonic is a franchise that should have died a long time ago. And if any other series had a string of bad games in a row like it did, they'd be forgotten about. Well, not saying I agree with you 100%, George, but I wouldn't mind getting rid of the cringe half of the Sonic community like Joe's son, the furry. What the actual fuck am I even listening to right now? I'm with you there, buddy. This conversation is making me lose brain cells faster than people who listen to Kamala Harris speak. Now that I can agree with you on Barack. Did you all see that clip of her yapping about a coconut tree or something? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> Now, Donald, that's not fair. You've said some pretty dumb things yourself. And let's not forget George and his famous Bushisms. Hey, now don't drag me into this. I didn't do anything. Okay, like usual, I guess I gotta come in and keep the peace. Let's head up to the Odin Temple so we can defeat its champions. Keep an eye out for shield pieces, too. Well, not sure what you know about keeping peace, Barack, when I'm the one who didn't start any new wars as president, but okay. Look, the champion of Odin, kill him while he's Fortnite emoting up there. The champion of Odin is slain! Speaking of Fortnite, I sure wish I was back home playing that instead of being here. Elves aren't used to this dry heat, you see. Bro, you're literally not even real. Hey guys, I found this little purple coin. Is this some sort of unsolved Easter egg? Joe, you Nimrod, this isn't a video game. This is real life. There are no Easter eggs. I completely forgot we had these specialist weapons. Don't know why we didn't use these when we were up against the Leviathan. A contender calls the champions of Zeus! Ah! Nice kitty, you don't want to eat me. I don't taste good. The champions of Zeus are slain! Phew. I definitely didn't want to end up as Tiger Chow. I bet that's not the last we'll see of them, though, so keep an eye and ear out. So what's next, gentlemen? We've got to bring these heads to the ritual room and place them on pikes, Guy Fox style. Oh, guys, I think I found another shield part. Good job, Joe. I found the last part earlier. Everyone, come grab a shield. Break their bones! Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. I think I hear more of those ravenous, undead big cats lurking around. Better kill those scary fuckers before they take a bite out of you. Don't tell me you're scared, Larry. You're damn right I am. I've heard horror stories where Santa went to deliver presents to kids in India, only to find the entire family devoured by a tiger. You haven't heard anything because you're just a figment of our imaginations. Oh, is that right, George? Well, imagine this, then. Ow! Did you just bite my neck? Hey, yo. I didn't know Larry was freaky like that. Look, the pack of punch is available now. This will give us a huge advantage. Sir, this is not good. They have defeated the champions of the gods. I am aware, but we knew they would be more skilled than the previous contenders. It is of little concern at the moment. The gods will bless us this day, as they have for centuries. There is no chance that these fools could earn their favor. Right. Well, I'm not exactly a believer in these gods myself, but I must admit, Things have been going according to plan lately. Of course, there were roadblocks along the way. And now those very roadblocks are here before us, destined to meet their ends. Still, isn't it a little weird seeing him down there? Not to me. After all, we all know about the existence of the multiverse. In the infinite Earths that exist, only ours is important. We should treat him no differently than anyone else who attempts to oppose us. Perhaps we should treat him worse, considering the setbacks he caused us with McConnell. McConnell was no huge loss. That old crow wasn't yielding sufficient results up there on the moon. We should keep our focus on global domination first and foremost. I suppose that makes sense. Once we conclude our business here, will we return to the 21st century? Patience, my friend. I know how much you must miss your wife and children. But remember, we are working towards making their lives and the rest of America's free of conflict. Yes, sir. Now let us get back to enjoying the show. Well, we defeated the champions of the different gods. Now what? 
Well, I know for a fact we have to get the wonder weapon out of the box at some point for the sake of our survival and for completing our quest. I think we're supposed to earn the favor of each of the gods. Well, how do you propose we do that? I know I can't be of much help, but I'll do whatever I can to make sure you boys live through this day. Nonsense, Larry. Real or not, just getting to hear you motivating us is a big help. Why, thank you, Mr. President. I must say, you chaps helped me too, motivating the real me to finally pursue my dream of becoming a dentist. Well, when you finally become a licensed dentist, Joe can be your first patient. I'm sure his old ass needs a new set of dentures. Okay, well, you can be his second patient then, and George is third, considering you both are right behind me in age. I miss the days when our president wasn't an old ass man, AKA when I was in office. Well, Barack, old buddy, old pal, this old ass man is about to carry us through this trial. First step is to get a gladiator zombie to throw his ax and cut off a piece of wood from this pyre. Not sure what's so important about this wood in particular, but it's what we have to do. Now hold on. Why can't you just pick an ax up off the ground and cut a piece off yourselves? Wouldn't that make the most logical sense? Larry's got a point there. I don't see why we can't just apply real life logic to these Easter eggs. Well, too late for that. A gladiator has already arrived. We just gotta get him to aim his ax throw at the burning pyre. Hey, this looks like the piece of wood you guys were talking about. Man, I haven't had a nice hard piece of wood like this in my hand since my lifeguard days with corn pop. What a disgusting visual. Why did you have to say that out loud, Joe? Oh, just tell us what we have to do next, Donald. Well, honestly, that's about all I really remember, getting that wood and then picking up the poop as well. Joe, you're the chaos expert. You know what to do? Oh, so now you all want Uncle Joe's advice, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, I do remember most of this quest. The first couple steps are pretty much item collection. We need the wood, which we got already, a skull, and of course, the pile of dung. A skull, huh? Well, there ought to be plenty of those in a place like this. I mean, the walls of that pack-a-punch room were literally lined with thousands of them. Well, funny you mention that room, Larry, because that's where the skull we need can be found. But, of course, this isn't just any old skull. It'll have a, a blue symbol carved into it. It'll be kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. Well, that sounds like it'll be a lot of fun just digging around through the remains of people. Probably Biden voters, since only dead people voted for him. Guys, just a heads up, those pesky catalyst zombies have started to appear. Oh, hey, everyone, I got the wonder weapon. I sure am glad this creepy thing is chained down, though. I wouldn't feel safe with this critter just being able to move freely. That's great news, Joe. I'm sure it'll come in handy. By the way, I've got a head start on looking for this skull, but I have a feeling this is gonna take ages to find. The death of Orion is pretty mid from what I remember. It is needed for one of the steps for our quest, though. So I guess it's good that Joe got it. I'd rather have my Zweihander personally. Yo, I found the special skull. Good going, Barry. So what's next, Joe? Well, for one, we've got to melt the piece of wood we got here and also take the skull to this grinder and create some bone meal. Just be careful you don't walk into any of the traps around here, Joe, or else your skeleton-looking ass will get turned to bone meal, too. I found the skull grinder. Um, how do I use this thing? Hmm, I was under the impression you were used to using Grinder Barack, given your secret lust for men. How the hell do you know about that? Uh, I mean, how dare you? I'm sorry you have to listen to this, Lair. I am learning more about you boys today than I'm comfortable with. Well, on the bright side, I grinded the skull. All it needed was a little electricity from the death of Orion. It's the same way Jill turns me on in the bedroom. A little shock can spice up a relationship, you know? Okay. I think I'm just gonna plug my ears for a bit until you guys stop with the out-of-pocket comments, which I really hope are just jokes. I don't blame you, man, but I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Anyways, I suppose next is to collect a pile of shit for some reason? Yeah, I vote Joe for that position. After all, he knows how to do this Easter egg. We wouldn't want to screw it up. I concur, plus I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so I definitely will not be touching that. Come on, man. Uh, fine, but you guys owe me big time. Now we gotta wait for that wood to burn to ash, and we bring the three items to this bowl in the Zeus Tower to turn it into fertilizer. This all sounds very complicated. If only Santa were here, he could just give you a bag of fertilizer from Home Depot or something. Well, things are never that simple for us, Larry. We are constantly being forced to do the most insane and random things imaginable to forward our mission. Still, I got the ash for us. 
Now to head to the Zeus Tower. Okay, the shit is in the bowl. Now what? We just wait for it to turn to fertilizer? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Real exciting stuff, I know. Well, don't get too bored, guys, because a fucking blight father is here. Let's see how it likes the taste of my scorpion gun. Look, it's just stuck floating in the air all helpless like. Not so scary now, are you, big guy? Good shit taking that thing down, Joe. Anyways, looks like the fertilizer is ready, so go ahead and grab a handful. Some of this Easter egg is starting to come back to me now. I think we gotta bring that to the lower Danu temple and offer it to her. All right, Danu, if you're listening, we brought you your fertilizer. I don't know what you want with this, but I hope it makes you happy. Whoa, who the hell turned out all the color? I'm not sure, but I don't like it. We have to destroy those pustules on the walls. They're corrupting this place. This is how we win Danu's favor. I don't know what's a bigger blight, that disgusting thing on the tree, or the Democratic Party. Definitely the MAGA movement, but hey, looks like we destroyed it. I'm sure that's not the only one. Let's head up a level. Barack was right. There's the next one. That thing is glowing brighter than Rudolph's weird tumor nose. Joe, keep us safe from the zombies with your wonder weapon while we destroy this thing. Don't worry, bro. I got your all's backs. All right, we got that one. Next floor is the top of the tree. It's got to be the last one. Here it is. In the name of Danu, let's purify her temple. Look how beautiful the night sky is. How is this even possible? Less yapping and more shooting. Yeah, what Larry said. Keep shooting. We've almost got it. Danu has been appeased. Hell yeah, let's fucking go, boys. One down, three to go. Hey, guys, maybe it's just me tripping. But I swear this obelisk wasn't here before. Yeah, I don't think so either. It looks like it came straight out of that one shitty extinction map, Awakening. Ooh. Don't even bring up that piss-poor excuse for a co-op mode ever again. So, what do we do next? I assume the next god whose favor we have to win is Ross. But considering I'm the rawest motherfucker here, this shouldn't be too hard. To earn the blessing of the sun god, you must first find the symbols. The bull will lead you to the path of enlightenment. The bull, huh? Well, back in my day, when I worked at a male strip club, I was known for being a bull, if you know what I mean. She must be talking about me. Uh, I'm pretty sure she meant the bull-shaped shields you guys have been carrying around on your backs. Oh. Right, well, uh, moving on from that then, I'm pretty sure we have to find four bull symbols around the arena and shoot them with our shields. Well, I'll happily help you guys look for them once I get this big, ugly blight daddy off me. Hey, I think I found one. I found one, too. Oh, fuck. It was booby-trapped. One of those gladiators was just waiting for me to let him out. Die, you motherfucker. I'm not scared anymore. I can defeat anything that comes my way. I'm proud of you, Joe. I know I pick on you a lot, but you've become very brave since the start of our journey. Well, I've got to be brave if I'm going to take you on in the election in November. You're a great friend, but an even greater opponent. Who's to say you two will even be on the ballots? I mean, you weren't home that long, and I doubt you two filed to appear on the ballots in the primaries. Trust me, Barry. My supporters are diehards. I'll win the primary even if they have to write my name in. Not sure if enough people love you enough to do the same, though, Joe. If I'm up against Kamala, though, it'll be an automatic W. I sure am glad I'm not a politician. That's got to get tiring, especially at your ages. Don't you all ever think about just living the rest of your short lives in peace? Well, even if they did, Larry, clearly the universe has other plans for us besides peace. True enough. You all are doing the world a huge solid, though, risking your necks for the entire multiverse every day. Sad part is, few people will ever know of your sacrifices. Yeah, it's a real shame, too, because I could cut some killer campaign ads if I could prove to the American people that I have literally been fighting on their behalves every day. Well, that's enough chit-chat. I found the last symbol. I think we should all return to the obelisk now. Ra has awakened. His eye falls upon the faithful. Look, the Ra perk statue is shooting a beam at the obelisk, and there's some sort of symbol. I vaguely remember this step. I think each symbol represents a special zombie type, and we have to kill one of each corresponding zombie type in the order that the symbols appear in. This is gonna be hard considering we can't read them. I see you guys need some help. Don't worry, your old pal Larry is well versed in alchemical symbols. Really? 
Oh, hell yeah, that's why you're the GOAT. What are we waiting for, then? Let's start this shit. Solve the riddle and receive the Sun God's judgment. Looks like electric. Um, brawler. That one's poison. And finally, gladiator. Awesome. Thanks, Larry. Electric, brawler, poison, gladiator. Remember, we have to kill them in that order. Here's the electric catalyst. All right, he's dead. Brawler's dead. Poison is up next. We got the poison one. All right, taking out the gladiator. Wrong has been appeased. We did it. Only two gods left. Thanks a lot for your help on that, Larry. For a drug-induced illusion, you're pretty helpful. Don't mention it. I'm always here to help my friends out. Damn it. They've completed another one of the gods' trials. I was a fool to underestimate them. I'm starting to worry now. What if they actually managed to complete the Sentinel Artifact's trial? We can't allow that to happen. If all else fails, we still have fury and wrath at our disposal. Ah, yes, our Lord's prized pets. But if the presidential Zomboys were to defeat them... Not another word, Clarence. I don't even want to imagine the judgment that would be cast down upon us. These fools, they cannot be allowed to succeed for both of our sakes. All right, from what I can recall, there are these four poles we got to shoot in the lower area of the map. We basically just got to shoot them till they raise up above ground. But first, we got to go touch the thingy in the center of the arena. Joe, just how the fuck do you remember crazy stuff like this, but you can't remember when you were vice president? Joe's mind is truly something to behold. If only that teleported us out of here. I tell you, these answers we're supposed to find here better be worth the trouble. Guys, I found one of the spinny poles. You know, she'd probably kill me if she heard me say it, but Laura used to know how to work a pole back in her prime. We actually met at a strip club. Wow. Now that is truly a love story for the ages. Real Romeo and Juliet type shit. Well, I suppose it's better than the more common redneck romance arc, which usually involves a love triangle between your sister and your cousin. But putting Georgie's love quest aside for a moment, I did find and shoot one of those doohickeys Joe mentioned. Can't believe you just disrespect Texas like that, Barry. No wonder Republicans win it every time. Well, I'm not too worried. I won both my elections without Texas just fine. I think this is the last poll, by the way. Joe, what do we need to do next? We need to all get dead wire on our guns. We'll need to chain electricity from the zombies to the poles, which are now up in the arena. Well, I'm set. I've got dead wire on my Zweihander already. Um, actually, Joe, it's called Kilowatt in Black Ops 4, not Deadwire. But yeah, I got it on my Hades. Just another pointless change that BO4 made for no reason. Did nobody ever tell Jason Blundell, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? That name sounds familiar. Ah, yes. He was the guy who worked at Treyarch. I just remember he was on the naughty list in 2018, which was surprising to me because every year prior, he had been on the nice one. So he must have really done something bad. Yeah, Black Ops 4 was so bad that I can believe that. Especially at launch with its blue screens and whatnot. Focus, guys. The first pole has been electrified. Just three more to go. Think I could use some of this electricity to give my phone a quick charge? Would love to take some pictures of this place while we're here. If you want to risk getting electrocuted, Donald, then be my guest. Not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind seeing what that would do to his toupee. God damn it, it is not a toupee. How many times do I have to tell everyone? All right, less bitching and more shooting. Donald, we're on the last one. All right, everyone, to the podium and grab one of the orbs. I am one of the best orb grabbers of all time, believe me. Everyone says so. In fact, I do it all the time. Well, these aren't like the usual balls you grab, Donald, so be ready for anything. They must not survive! Something's changed about the air. What's going on? Shit, they're releasing a metric fuck ton of gladiators, brawlers, and tigers on us. This is madness. Madness? This is Sparta. Sorry, I've always wanted to say that. It's one of my favorite memes. I'm not surprised. In your press conferences, you always claim that you talk to dead world leaders, so it makes sense you're into dead memes, too. Jeez, maybe try focusing on the hordes of enemies in front of you, instead of talking about memes. 
I swear, if Santa didn't give you those powerful weapons, you'd be screwed right now. He was pretty goaded for that. Zeus has been appeased! All right, all that's left is to appease Odin. Hope he's not holding a grudge since we kind of defeated his eye on the Titanic. Let's hope not. I think for this next part, I gotta go down below and shoot these symbols with my death of Orion at a certain angle until they start to glow. Shouldn't take me too long. All right, Joe, glad you remember that. I wonder if the ether has affected Joe's memory somehow. I suppose that's possible. I mean, there's no rational explanation for Joe's frankly clutch selective memory. Guess I'm just big brain mode sometimes. Yeah, but let's not get it twisted. You definitely have many moments of stupidity, like when you try running the country or simply walking up some stairs. A stairs schmares. I've done more running around in our adventures than Usain Bolt has his whole life. OK, I don't know about that one, Chief, but all this exercise probably has extended your lifespan by a good few years. Yeah, Joe. You're starting to get up in age with me. Well, at least as far as looks go anyways. And I'm 500 years old. You guys can make fun of me all you want, but you'll be happy to know I shot all the symbols. Now we gotta stand on a pressure plate by the shield and survive a lockdown sequence where these guys are gonna throw all manner of enemies at us. All right, let's do this. Endure! Here they come. They're sending a bunch of these 9-11 victim-looking zombies after us. Whoa, not cool, George. How could you say a thing like that? Seriously, who in their right mind jokes about a tragedy like that? You make me sick. I thought you were above such jokes, George. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up, man. What? You three literally make 9-11 jokes at my expense on a near daily basis. Don't act like you have morals all of a sudden. We haven't the slightest idea of what you're talking about, George. We'd never sink to such lows for comedic purposes. Fuck you guys, I hate you. Love you too, Georgie. I think that's the last of the zombies. Odin has been appeased. Sweet, we beat the trial. Let's head back up top to the center podium. Hey, losers, we beat your little game. Now, whoever's in charge, face us like a man. The gods have been appeased. Let us give the contenders their reward. All right, whoever's running this clown show, stop hiding and come face us. We beat your little trial. I must commend you on a splendid performance. You have made it farther than any of our previous contenders. Well, no shit. You don't know just who you're messing with. We know more than you think. Presidential Zomboys. Hold on, just how the hell do you know about us? There is no point explaining it, for soon you will be dead anyways. Prepare yourselves to face the fury of the Nine. Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. I'd get ready for a fight, gents. Holy fuck, they're sending dozens of those big guys. Don't be scared, Joe. Just keep holding that trigger finger down. Their gladiator armor is no match for our LMG bullets. Well, let's just hope we don't run out of them. Just where did they get all of these undead gladiators anyways? I'm willing to bet these are the previous contenders, the bad ones. Oh, they're bad, all right. Is this all you cultist motherfuckers got? Donald, why did you have to say that? Now they're going to come in with some even bigger bullshit like this is some action movie. Clearly the gladiators are but a minor inconvenience for warriors of your skill. Shall we crank things up a notch? What did I say? Donald, curse you and your big mouth. Oh, shit. Zombie elephant, move out of the way. That is fucking horrifying. Oh! Fuck, that hurt. Barry, you okay? Oh, I think I'll be fine. This isn't the first time I've taken down an elephant. I beat the Republican Party every single election I ran in. Good shit, guys. Its armor has been broken. I'm sure that just pissed it off more. Even though it's a zombie, I do feel bad about having to put down Dumbo here. Elephants are such wise creatures. They say they never forget, after all. That's sad when an elephant has a better memory than the US president. But hey, it doesn't matter, because we killed it. Why is the crowd booing us? Is this not what you wanted? Are you not entertained? Fury has fallen! No! 
now, behold the champion of the nine, Wrath! Wrath? Oh no, don't tell me. Another Dumbo! Just how many of these things do they have? Who knows? But keep an eye out for the riders on top. They're aiming their spears at you. Why couldn't we be fighting a zombified donkey or something? I feel like I'm betraying my party right now. Donald, if it makes you feel better, just imagine this is a personification of the GOP establishment or something. There goes its armor. It's vulnerable now. Let's give it everything we've got. Man, I feel like Teddy Roosevelt hunting some big game with this crossbow. Would love to mount this guy's head on my wall. Not that I agree with it, but I'm pretty sure my sons have actually hunted an elephant before. Guess I can tell them I've done the same now. And make that two for two, baby. We did it. All right, asshole in charge. We're tired of your games. No matter what you throw at us, we will emerge victorious. Now come face us. As you wish. So you're the chump who's been running the show, huh? And you four are the presidential zomboys I've heard so much about. I must admit, I did not expect you to survive the trial. But regretfully, your journey ends here. Hand over your sentinel artifact, and I promise to make your deaths quick. Not a chance, creep. Besides, we came here for answers, and we're not leaving without them. You seek answers, yet you do not even know the questions. What's going on here is far greater than any of you could comprehend. However, I imagine that our goals are not dissimilar from each other's. Man, why are you talking in riddles? Besides, there's no way we have anything in common with each other. That isn't true at all. Perhaps I shall dignify your deaths with a taste of the truth that you came here in search for. What's this truth you speak of? You're right, there's a lot we don't know but clearly you're familiar with us. So why not start by explaining how you know who we are? The how is quite simple, Obama. You four have met with our agents in the past and interfered with our plans. Your agents? Who the hell are you talking about? I don't recall meeting anyone who would work for a weirdo wearing a golden fetish mask. Let me jog your memory then. It all started after our leader met with a contact named Mr. Rapt. Though this was simply an alias. I believe you four know him better as the Shadow Man. Acting on the Shadow Man's good information, our leader sent his subordinate to acquire the ultimate power deep in a distant jungle in an uncharted location. Mr. Rapt, I do remember hearing that name mentioned to us a long time ago. He's talking about Mike. Mike, as in Mike Pence, the one we met at Shangri-La? I'm glad your memories haven't failed you quite yet, especially in your old age. You stopped him from securing the box of ballots we needed. And then, to make matters worse, you destroyed the moon, taking our lunar facility headed by McConnell with it. Years of work down the drain. You even destroyed the Shadow Man, a resourceful ally at times. We almost gave up after these setbacks, but our leader, with his ultimate wisdom, discovered the key to world domination. The Sentinel Artifacts. I'm lost. What is this bozo yapping on about? If everything you're saying is true, then that would mean your leader, the man behind all of this, is... Me. Wait, what? In this dimension, the one who's behind all of this is another version of me. That's just crazy, but... It makes sense with what we've been told. You finally know the truth. I'm sure it's a lot to take in, but I promise it's 100% true. With the power of a single sentinel artifact, Donald Trump was able to influence the masses, creating a movement bigger than even he envisioned in 2016. Anyone who opposes the MAGA movement is crushed out of existence. How could anyone willingly go along with such a plan? Are you sure you're not brainwashed yourself? This can't be true. I, I'm not an evil person. I'm not capable of something like that. Well, this version of you sure is different. There is no chance in hell the Donald Trump I know and love would ever be caught in the company of these two liberals and a rhino. 
Thankfully, none of them exist in our world. They were slain like all the rest. Hey, your stupid dimension is the outlier. We know for a fact in nearly every universe, the presidential zomboys exist in some capacity. Well, once this Earth is fully conquered, we will move on to the next. Making sure there are no presidential zomboys to oppose us. Using the Sentinel artifact, God Emperor Trump has already ascended to his throne. We have agents monitoring the past, present, and future to make sure his will goes unopposed. Well, I guess that explains why we're this far back in time. Trump must have used that power to make people think he was a god since the beginning of human civilization. Well, then just who the hell are you supposed to be? His biggest fan? You seem like you went along with this whole plan from the start. I suppose I can humor you with one more reveal. No way. No fucking way. This is a sick joke, right? Whoa, I did not see that coming. Surprised to see me? Dad? Don Jr., what the hell is the matter with you? I raised you better than this. You didn't raise me. My father, the real Donald Trump, taught me at a young age that power is everything. I can't believe what I'm hearing. And what about Eric, Ivanka, Baron? Have they all went along with this? Like I said, power is everything. If I'm going to be next in line to rule this world, I can't exactly be fighting my siblings for the spot on the throne. And so I did what needed to be done. But don't worry, it hurt me far more than it hurt them. That is seriously messed up. You, sir, have earned a spot on the naughty list for life. You sick son of a bitch, how could you do that to them? Baron was just a little kid, he had his whole life ahead of him. He didn't care about politics or power. What can I say, Dad? I learned from the best. Would you look at that? A text from the big man himself. Cell service is surprisingly strong in the ancient times. It's your lucky day, though. My father wants to meet you face to face. Well, tell him we're not interested. Besides, you think we're gonna let you live? You think I was talking about you? Gross. You can rot here for all I care, rhino trash. Besides, you can't hurt me if I'm not here. But we're sure as hell not letting you get away. Wait. Something's off about this guy. His speech is erratic. And look at his eyes. They're redder than Santa's outfit. This guy, he's high on something. He must have came here the same way you four did. I fucking knew Don Jr. was a cokehead. Ah, uh, don't hate. Given your complexion, I'm sure you've done more drugs than I ever could. But sadly, I'm almost sober. Good for me, though, because Donald, you're coming with me when I wake up. See you again real soon, Dad. He's, he's gone, and he said he was gonna take Donald with him. This is not good. You must sober quickly. Donald Trump Jr. is back in the cave, and he's trying to take Trump Sr. with him. How the fuck do we do that? That was some really strong DMT Joe Rogan gave me. I don't feel so good, guys. No, we're too late. He's got his hands on Trump Sr. God, no. Stop. Don't take me away from my friends. Fuck, hold on, Donald. Please, don't let me go. Donald, no! This just went to hell in a handbasket real quick. You boys need to wake up and pronto. This shit's only supposed to last like 15 minutes. This must have been laced. Donald's all alone in the real world and we're just sitting ducks. Hey, can you hear me? Hear me? Who the hell's there? Come on, wake up. We'll lose their trail if you keep sleeping. Someone's trying to talk to you three from the real world. Can you hear us? We're trying to wake up. Better not have died on me. Your friend still needs you, and so do I. Well, if you can hear me, I'm gonna give you something to treat your ailment. Sounds like someone's looking out for you guys. If you're going to sober up soon, then I guess this is it for old Larry. I wish I could see this through to the end, but I know you guys will save Donald. Thanks, Larry. Real or not, you were a big help today. I hope we can trust this mysterious stranger as much as we trust you, little guy. Only one way to find out. Good luck, and Godspeed, my friends. It worked. We're back in the cave. Yeah. But unfortunately, Donald really is gone. Donald. So that's his name, huh? Hey, are you the guy who woke us up from that nightmare? We have some questions for you. How do we know you're not working with that no good Donald Trump Jr.? Wait a second, this guy? Hmm? Joe, do you know this fella? Aren't you the guy I saw on the Titanic? Hmm. Huh. 
So you do remember me. I've been keeping tabs on you guys for a while. I need your help, and it sounds like you could use mine, too. Well, sir, that is very kind of you, but, uh, we don't know anything about you. Fine. Let me start from the beginning, then. You have been cordially invited to the country estate of former President Theodore Roosevelt for an election night celebration. This will be our last night as rivals in this race, and no matter the results, I'd like this to be an unforgettable evening for everyone involved. Hmm. I suppose it's the least I can do for the man who's going to hand me the presidency. Thanks to him, Taft doesn't stand a chance. I must say, Theodore does live in eccentric lifestyle. I've never seen a manor quite like this before. I wonder if Taft and that socialist who was running actually showed up. Guess there's only one way to find out, Woodrow. Ah, speak of the devil. That man is Eugene Debs, the socialist candidate for President of the United States. While I do admire some of his policy positions, to think the citizens of this country would actually vote for a socialist is absurd. Well, I'll be. If it isn't Mr. Woodrow Wilson in the flesh, I didn't expect you to be the type to show up to something like this. Mr. Debs, a uh, pleasure to meet you. It's looking like it'll be a pretty good night for you, what with Roosevelt splitting the Republican vote and whatnot. Maybe by the end of the evening, I'll be calling you Mr. President. President-elect, Eugene. Inauguration isn't until March, after all. But I will say, I am rather optimistic about tonight. Yeah, can't say the same about President Taft, though. He's in the dining hall complaining already. I'm sure he came here just to cause a scene in Roosevelt's house for screwing him over the way he did. What a surprise. He's where the food is. Well, I suppose I better go introduce myself to him proper. I'll be seeing you around. Indeed. See you, Woodrow. For the last time, people, I did not get stuck in my bathtub. I swear you people believe anything these days. Well, look who it is, Governor Wilson. I wish I could say it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, come now, Mr. President. Don't be like that. The one you should be sparing your vitriol for is Roosevelt. I suppose that's true. Apologies. I didn't mean to come off as rude. To be honest, I never wanted this job. I wanted to serve as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, but Teddy pressured me into this gig only to stab me in the back. Well, as your opponent, I can't say I'm dissatisfied with his actions. But personally speaking, it was a petty move on his part. But on to more casual matters, uh, how is the food? Top notch. Much like everything else in this place. They say Theodore bought this manor a few months ago. I'm not sure who built it, but clearly they had an eccentric personality only Teddy could match. Yes, the giant statue of Atlas holding the Earth caught my attention in the center room. By the by, have you seen our gracious host yet? Nope. But if you want, we can go look for him. To be honest, I have some choice words for the man I'd like to get off my chest. Well, no offense, but given the size of your chest, I'm sure you won't spare him from your true feelings. Ah, none taken. I consider myself to be a respectable stature. Anyways, let's go look for Theodore. Results from around the country are starting to come in. Much as we expected, it's looking like Governor Woodrow Wilson is on track to win the presidency. Though Roosevelt is faring better than Taft at this point. Damn it all! Why couldn't that turncoat Taft just drop out? Now the progressive movement's future is in serious jeopardy. We have heard reports that former President Roosevelt is hosting the other candidates and guests at his new lavish manor purchased earlier this year. I was so sure I was going to win. This is going to make things quite awkward. Well, on the bright side, this artifact I purchased from that foreign dealer was worth every penny. I've never seen anything quite like this in all my days. What did he call it again? A sentinel artifact? I do wonder what the purpose behind this is. I suppose it will look good on the shelf in my study, alongside my other relics and trophies. What the dickens? 
Something is going on with the artifact. It's... it's gone! Damn it! And I paid good money for that, too! What on earth? Where are those screams coming from? Did they call the election results over the radio and I missed it? No. Oh, something weird is going on here. I can feel it. I'd better go check on the guests. It could be an emergency. Oh, it's you two. What in Lucifer's ball sack is going on out here? We should be asking you the same question, Theodore. We came looking for you when all of a sudden everyone started dropping dead. Perhaps someone spiked the punch bowl. I believe matters are much more serious than that, William. Holy shit! <laughs> Thank God, people who aren't trying to take a bite out of me. Calm down, Eugene. What are you talking about? And was that a gunshot we just heard? I, I, I had no choice. The other guests, they went feral. They're eating each other. Eating each other? What nonsense are you spouting now? You just committed murder. I'm serious. Take a look around the guests. They should be dead, but even after having chunks bitten out of them, they get back up and join the slaughter. Mr. Roosevelt, this is your house. Tell us what the hell is going on here. I truly have no idea. Unless... Unless what? If you know something, spit it out! I recently purchased an ancient relic of unknown origin, and just moments ago when I was admiring it in my study, it seemed to have a strange reaction, and then vanished into thin air. Perhaps it is responsible for this chaos and confusion. So this is your fault, then! Well, whatever the case, we need to get out of here and get some help. That may be the first thing I've ever agreed with a socialist on. I hope you gentlemen are all carrying a firearm on your person. We may have to engage in combat with those who have been afflicted. But these are our friends, our families. You expect us to just put them down like a wounded mutt? If what Eugene here says is true, then it's us or them, old Woody boy. Shit, more of them are coming. You better make up your mind quick, Woodrow. Do you want to live to be president or die here? Huh. I suppose if it comes down to it, I will defend my life. That's the spirit, my good man. Now, gentlemen, lock and load. Okay, Eugene. Try not to think about who they were before. Any shred of humanity that they had in them is now gone. And soon, Eugene, your humanity will be gone as well, once I take control. It seems some unnatural force has separated us. We must reconvene at the earliest convenience. Though we began this night as opponents, it is imperative that to survive the horrors before us, we come together as allies. And that's easier said than done. To be honest, Teddy, after the stunt you've pulled running for a third term, I kinda hate your guts. This is just disgusting. I've never had to get my hands dirty like this before. But I sure am glad I had Edith stay home tonight. I wouldn't have been able to handle her becoming one of these... things. Whoa! Would you look at that? One of the creatures seemed to drop a giant glowing skull made out of gold upon its death. I hope this doesn't kill me. Insta-kill. Insta-kill? Who said that? And does it mean for us, or these monsters? Hey, the monster went down in a single stab. I think someone's looking out for us. You are only alive because of me, Eugene. Never forget that. I've opened up the next room. I wonder, though, who or what closed them in the first place. Should I ever even dare to return to this place if we survive, it will be a hell in itself to clean all of the blood from the floors. Is it just me, Eugene, or are the monsters getting stronger? You're right. And more of them are appearing, too. Just how many people did Theodore invite to this party? Too many, that's for damn sure. Say, what is that on the wall? Incredible. I was just handed a firearm out of thin air. And this is unlike any I have ever seen before. It appears to fire in bursts of three. This will surely prolong my survival. I know not where these magical firearms came from. But I assure you, they were not here before. 
Perhaps God is watching over us this night. Whoa, Theodore, is this the artifact you spoke of previously? This thing is emitting some sort of supernatural energy. Indeed, the Sentinel artifact. I acquired it from a most mysterious seller. Perhaps reclaiming it will end this nightmare. Well, what are we waiting for then? Here goes nothing. Hold on, what is it doing, Mr. Roosevelt? <laughs> Great. Now we have these zombies and broken glass to look out for. Oh. Uh, what on earth is a zombie? It's the name I've decided to give these creatures. During my many hunting expeditions around the world, I heard nonsensical tales about ritualistic voodoo magic to turn people into mindless slaves, which were called zombies. These zombies can continue to act, even after death. Well, that sounds about right on the money for what we're dealing with, because there is no way these people are still alive. And soon you will join them, Eugene, unless you can survive the Sentinel Artifact's trial. Who's there? In my head. And just what are you talking about? Your soul has been put on trial. Your only hope of surviving is to submit to me. No, I... I won't. Just leave me alone. Eugene, stop blabbering to yourself and come here. We found some sort of strange chest that is stocked to the brim with weapons, the likes of which I've never seen before. This is supposed to be a gun? It's bigger than me. Why, with firepower like this, we could lead a revolution the likes of which this country has never seen before. You better keep your mouth shut, you little socialist toothpick. They'll jail you for saying things like that. Or worse. Enough, William. As detestable as Deb's politics may be, we must not delve into petty squabbles at a time like this. So, just how should we proceed forward? We're miles away from any semblance of civilization. Perhaps we can steal someone's automobile? That's a great idea, Woodrow. Must I really repeat myself? The Sentinel Artifact will not let you go that easily. And neither will I. On second thought, maybe not. Mr. Debs, are you all right? Because right now you're acting like a timid squirrel when we need you to be a bull moose. Do you not hear that voice? Not the one shouting insta-kill or double points, but an inner voice that is very loud and very real. Debs, I knew you were crazy, but goddamn. Now is hardly the time for insults, Mr. President. Look at this. Some sort of repugnant evil mass is blocking the way to the forest. I wonder, is there something behind it the artifact is afraid of us finding? The crystals are the answer. You'd be wise to listen to me, Eugene. Hmm. Say, President Roosevelt, do you know anything about any crystals? Crystals, you say? Well, I have recovered some valuable minerals during my expeditions abroad. Many of them are quite valuable. Why do you ask? Call it a socialist's intuition. So where do you keep these crystals? Well, they're hidden. I don't just leave them sitting around so people like you can try and redistribute my wealth. Found one. Not a very good hiding place, Theodore. Did you really need to smash my vase? That was worth at least $30. Hold on. The essence of the zombies appear to be entering the crystal upon death. In other words, the crystal's hungry. I can relate to that. Let's feed it and see what happens. One of you must gaze into the crystal. It will reveal the way ahead. There are three in total. Gaze into the crystal, huh? Say, Woodrow, take a look and see if you see anything in that crystal. It's weird. I do find the crystal almost calling to me. Well, Woody, did you see anything important? If you're asking me if I saw a piece of meat for you to consume, Mr. President, then the answer is no. I did see a vision of some sort of statue, though. It resembled the Egyptian god, Ra. You saw that just by looking into a little green rock? Well, what can I say? Having a PhD comes in handy sometimes. Maybe you can use that big brain of yours to figure out this confusing lock on this gun case? Teddy, what is this supposed to be exactly? Oh, you speak of the fancy pistol hanging up on the wall. It actually came with the property, strangely enough. I haven't been able to get it open either. Well, speak of the devil. I just got what appears to be the very weapon from this mysterious box. No kidding? What can you tell us about the weapon? Well, I killed one of those freaks with it earlier. 
it seemed to fire some sort of acidic blast from the barrel. But anyways, we have bigger things to focus on, like getting out of here. Let's head outside. Well, this place is downright ominous. I don't really want to be out here in the dead of night with these creatures lurking about. Don't tell me you're scared, Mr. President. William Howard Taft fears nothing. However, I would be remiss to not take my size into account. I can't move as fast as you can, you Democrat milk drinker. I'm curious. Who in their right mind would build a graveyard right outside their house? <laughs> That's a question for the previous owner. Though I suppose it is rather fitting given the fact that the dead are walking among us. Frankly, I've seen enough death for one lifetime. I mean, hell, just a few days ago, my vice president passed away. Now I have to put down those whose faces I once recognize. People from my own campaign, friends, colleagues. I hate to say it, but this could very well be hell on earth. Perhaps God is punishing us for our hubris in life, for thinking we alone could change this world. Nothing you say is going to save you now. Your soul is already mine. You're just living on borrowed time. The question is, will you use that time wisely to save yourself and the others from certain death? I don't know who you are, but I won't give up. Not now, not ever. I have long been a champion for the suffering man in this country. I carry the dreams of millions with me. I don't believe our freedom lies this way. Perhaps we should head back inside and look for another way out. Guys, listen to me for a sec. This artifact that Mr. Roosevelt brought here, it won't let us leave. It's challenging us for some unexplainable reason. And unless we can prevail, this place will become our grave. Uh-huh. And did your imaginary buddy tell you that? What you're saying is more nuts than your nonsense about supporting unions. Why so quick to dismiss Mr. Debs, William? Given what we've witnessed so far tonight, I don't think what he's claiming is entirely unbelievable. Thanks, Woodrow. That means a lot. Very well. What do you propose we do then, Mr. Debs? Has this voice in your head provided any sort of useful information? The crystals. He said to me there were three in total and their visions will guide us. So for one, we should keep an eye out for that statue of Ra that Mr. Wilson saw. The only problem is I've never owned a statue of Ra. Where would we even find such a thing? Well, I assume you also didn't own this mysterious gun chest made out of distorted flesh, or these magic weapons on the wall either. Perhaps it simply appeared out of nowhere as well. That's actually a great point. We should keep our eyes peeled. I don't want to cause any alarm, but have you all noticed the zombies that seem to be infused with different elements such as water, fire, or electricity? They obviously aren't your standard walking sacks of meat. I keep your guards up going forward. Like we haven't had our guards up this whole time. Don't fret, my good man. It'll take more than a splash of water to take this Rough Rider down. I'm still walking around with a bullet in my chest, after all. Even I must admit, that was rather impressive of you, Mr. Roosevelt, giving that speech even after being shot. There's always been a sort of mythos about you and your tough demeanor, but you're rather soft-spoken in person. Well, it's as I always say. Speak softly, and carry a big stick. What's that? Did you say something about having a big dick? Stick, William. I said stick. Now let us depart for the greenhouse area. Perhaps we can find this raw statue there. Ah, fancy yourself a botanist, eh, Mr. President? Well, actually, the greenhouse here is unlike any I've ever seen before. It seems like it was used for more... advanced... creations. Oh, hey, I think I see the statue that Mr. Wilson mentioned. Hold on, something's not right. Uh, something about the air has changed. Look up there! A giant blood-sucking bat! Oh my god, it's a vampire! Vampires? As if the zombies weren't enough? The last thing I want to do is become an undead bloodsucker like them. Protect your necks, people! No matter what you do, Eugene, death awaits. Be it now or later. I do believe that's the last of the neck biters for now. Bully for us! Oh, what's this? Some sort of glowing thingy? It looks like a tuning fork to me. Perhaps this is what the crystal was trying to guide us to. Perhaps we find the other two crystals, and they'll lead us to more of these objects. They just might be our ticket out of this nightmare. I believe I kept one of these crystals in the wine cellar. 
There's another one of these strange statues. Let's see here. Whoa. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but I got a real kick out of it. Hmm. Hold on. Somehow, my magazine feels a bit heavier. I do say, I think these vapors imbued my gun with extra ammunition somehow. I think you're onto something, Woody. I inhaled that vapor and I feel like I could run a marathon now. Why, even with my incredible girth, I could probably outrun you three. So the forces at work clearly aren't only looking to destroy us, but provide us aid as well. Curious. By the way, I looked into the crystal and it showed me a vision of a clock. Now there are many clocks in this manner, so I say we get looking post-haste. A clock, huh? Interesting. A cruel reminder that your time left on this earth is limited. Do you feel it, Eugene? Each grain of sand in the hourglass slipping away. Just shut up, will you? Eugene is really confronting his demons right now. I wonder why the rest of us are not having a similar experience. Well, we all have our demons to face, whether we know it or not. It'll be up to the American people to judge us for our actions. I do believe history will vindicate me, though. I suppose so. I do wonder how history will look back upon a Wilson presidency. I do have big ideas for my eventual term in office. I hope those plans involve the equal treatment of African Americans in this country. Oh, uh, right. Sure. Anyways, here's a clock. Perhaps it is the one we've sought. Well, given the appearance of a giant ethereal circle on the floor, I'd say so. Let us stand our ground, gentlemen, and not falter like the Spanish army did when we took San Juan Hill. Looks like the undead don't intend on letting us succeed, though. Well, that's too bad, because that won't stop us from destroying them. And would you look at that? The circle has dissipated. Our hypothesis proved correct. We have been granted another of these mysterious tuning forks. Now only one remains. The last crystal resides in the master bedroom. There it is. Now to just charge the damn thing. Let's hope this really is the key to escaping this nightmare. You poor, naive fool. No matter how far you run, your soul will not rest even after death. Why is this happening to me? Why not the others? Maybe this really is all for nothing. The crystal showed me a vision of a noose. Now that is rather ominous. I don't imagine you have a noose somewhere in this mansion, do you, President Roosevelt? A noose, you say? Hmm. I... I think the forces at work here know more about us than we thought. Hmm? Does that noose mean something to you, Teddy? I've... never told anyone this. Tragically, in the year 1884, my wife and mother both passed away mere hours apart. I didn't know how to cope with the pain at first. I think you see where I'm getting at. Instead, however, I traveled west and rediscovered the beauty of life and its fragility. I vowed to never take a day for granted again in their honors. Holy smokes, Mr. President. I never knew you'd faced such hardships in life. I'm sure your wife and mother would be proud of the fact that you went on to lead our great nation, especially after the tragic passing of President McKinley. Indeed, even I must admit, you have led quite the distinguished life, all things considered. So, do we wager this noose is somewhere in the mansion, then? Actually, I do think I recall seeing it in the cellar, draped behind a chair. Ah, there it is. So, what do we do with this noose? Uh... Am I finally going mad, or is that a fucking ghost? A ghost? Really? So on top of zombies and vampires, there are now ghosts? You know what? I fully believe it now. This mansion is a gateway to hell. Yes, this truly is a house of horrors. However, I don't believe this is an evil spirit. It appears to be guiding us, perhaps to another tuning fork. Well, it's refreshing to see something that's not alive, and also not trying to eat us. Look, she's revealed something to us, in the wall! Ah, just what I thought, the last tuning fork. That makes three, then. Thank you, wayward spirit. May this guide you forth to freedom. And Theodore, even from beyond, I have always watched and loved you. May you survive this night, my love. I will be with you, forever. Impossible. That, that was the voice of my dearest Alice. She's been with me this whole time. I think it's safe to say nothing about tonight can be considered an unfortunate accident. 
The events that are transpiring are happening for a reason, and it's got something to do with us. I think you're right, Mr. President. Anyways, I think we should take this moment of reprieve we've gotten thanks to that kaboom thingy that wiped out the zombies to discuss what to do next. Breaking news. We can now declare that New Jersey Governor Woodrow Wilson has defeated incumbent President Taft in the presidential election. We had correspondence on the ground at former President Roosevelt's party tonight, but have not received any word from any of the candidates yet. Democrats across the country will celebrate as they are projected to retain their House majority and make gains in the Senate, claiming a trifecta for the first time in decades. Hey, congrats, Woodrow. Guess I was right. You're now the president-elect of the United States. I blame Roosevelt. Your selfishness is going to cause unprecedented damage to this country because of this Democrat Nancy. You shouldn't have betrayed the progressive movement. Then I wouldn't have had to run against your fat ass. Now you listen to me very carefully. I don't care how many animals you killed in Africa. I've always believed in settling things by the sword. So if you want to fight, then I'll give you one. Oh, believe you me, I've killed much more than animals in my time. Besides, what are you going to do? Sit on me? That is quite enough, you two. Have you fools lost sight of what's going on? Politics are the least of our worries. President-elect Wilson is right. We've got the tuning forks, now we just gotta figure out what to do with them. Has your brain buddy told you anything? Now you seek my help. I don't know what your motives are, but you've steered me in the right direction before. Do it again. It matters not how far you go, for I will always be in the shadows of your mind, waiting to catch you. Stop talking in riddles and help us. Very well. Take the objects you've gathered to the woods. A great power shall reveal itself there. The woods? That doesn't sound exactly safe. What is the voice telling you, Eugene? It says a great power can be found in the woods if we bring the tuning forks. Surely it's referring to the giant mass that was blocking the way. Well, what are we waiting for then? Let's go. Look, the tuning forks are indeed affecting the repulsive, black thing that stands in our way. I don't appreciate your emphasis of the word black, Mr. Wilson. Uh, did you all hear that? It sounded like the howling of a wolf. Holy fuck! That's a fucking werewolf! Hold those triggers down, gentlemen! At last, the ultimate hunt. We need to kill this thing, so that I may hang its head on my wall and use its fur to make a new coat. Keep your rotten paws off of me! And down he goes. You weren't so tough, were you, big guy? The wolf at the gate has been defeated, defeated. but more will follow. Well, that's just great. Should we expect skeletons, mummies, and witches while we're at it? You know, I've never told anyone this, but since there's a good chance we won't live to see sunrise, I'll get it off my chest. I've always imagined myself as a wolf, like wearing a suit made out of its fur, but not like a coat or anything, but like an anthropomorphic costume of a wolf. I even came up with a name for it, Fursona. Am I weird, or do you think there are others like me? I haven't the slightest idea what you're going on about, William. But if you wish to parade around as a wolf, then I should have the right to hunt you like one. Shut up, you two, and take a look at this. It's like a window to another world. What the? It took my weapon! Oh, never mind. I got it back. But it looks... different. Actually, it is different. It's shooting rounds that explode on impact. I have the same weapon as you, Woodrow. What an upgrade. This must be the great power that the voice in your head told you about, Eugene. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I appreciate the help, but it doesn't exactly get us any closer to appeasing the Sentinel artifact. Uh, plus, this fancy revolver I've got isn't even being accepted by the relic. Say, Teddy, you wouldn't happen to have any silver bullets lying around to deal with the werewolves, would you? That's actually not a bad idea. Perhaps we can melt down some of the silverware I have laying around and make some at the workbench. Well, there should be no shortage of silver in this lavish mansion. We'll also need ingredients to melt down the silver, like some charcoal, sulfur, etc. I mean, are we even sure silver actually wards off werewolves? That's just part of the stories, right? If they make them easier to kill, it'll be worth the effort. 
Well, here's a nice lump of charcoal we can use for the melting process. I surmise sulfur can be found in the greenhouse. Well, I guess we should head over there then. These zombies are getting faster somehow, so anything that'll give us a leg up in this fight will be greatly appreciated. So this is the greenhouse, hmm? Don't they usually have plants in them? This looks like the kind of place where Dr. Frankenstein's monster would be brought to life at. I really wish you didn't say that. Now he's liable to show up. Hmm, interesting. This workbench has a blueprint of that special weapon that Mr. Debs got from the box. Perhaps it was created here. Yes. The blueprint seems to mention modifications to the weapon. Perhaps it can be enhanced in some way. Worth keeping in the back of our minds for now. Well, I really don't see how you could make the gun any more powerful than it already is. I mean, it literally shoots acid. But anyways, have you guys found any sulfur just sitting around anywhere? As a matter of fact, I did. Now we just need to melt down some silverware and infuse it into the bullets. Are we sure this is even going to work? I'm starting to doubt our methodology here. Eugene, all this constant whining of yours is starting to remind me of my younger cousin. He's a good kid, and I'm sure he'll do great things one day, but he needs to grow a spine. I suggest you do the same during these trying times. My apologies. I guess I'm just not cut from the same cloth as you three. There's a reason I haven't been elected president. Don't sell yourself short, Eugene. We wouldn't have made it this far without your guidance. Also, I do believe I have just received the same wonderful weapon that you did from the magical chest. Well, that's good. We need all the firepower we can get. Oh, and Eugene, the reason you haven't been elected president is because you're a dirty socialist, not because of you as a person. Uh, thanks, I guess. You are a pitiful excuse of a man, Eugene. Yet I am interested in how much suffering you can endure. The weapon you wield can indeed be upgraded twice. In fact, to create the Chaos Theory, you must seek out the parts. The first can be found within the walls of the library. So what, like a secret room or something? Secret room, you say? Perhaps I shall start removing books from the bookcase. I've heard of stories in which that can open up a secret chamber. Oh, come now, Theodore. Don't be ridiculous. Found it. Never doubt the bull moose. You're kidding, right? It was that simple? What? Are you disappointed you didn't get to prove your superior intellect by solving some sort of puzzle? Don't complain when we're thrown a bone, Wilson. Yeah, I wouldn't complain. Anyways, uh, mysterious voice in my head. What's the next piece we need? Wait for the arrival of another lichen. Then slay it with silver bullets. Wait, you mean the silver bullets are actually going to come in handy? Taft. That was a brilliant idea on your end. Well, of course it was. I came up with it. Now everyone grab as much silverware as they can and let's make ourselves some werewolf repellent. I'll grab as many forks and spoons as I can carry. Well, this ought to do just fine. I think we've gathered a sufficient amount of silver to turn into some ammunition. President-elect Wilson, you may have the honors of melting down the silver. Oh yes, quite the huge honor. I believe I saw an ammunition crafting table in the library. Shall we bear the fruit of our labors now? Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. So now we just wait for one of those werewolves to come out so we can crush it like it's some sort of corporate monopoly, correct? I guess so. But speaking of trust busting, I hate how nobody has given me the credit I deserve. People call you the so-called great trust buster when I took down more monopolies than you. That's too bad, William. I suppose that's what happens when you have the personality of a wet blanket, trying to compete against an all-American stud like me. Well, fuck you too, Teddy. All right, guys, calm down. Now, we've definitely gotten an upper hand in the fight, but I still fear we're no closer to escaping. What do we need to do next? This house holds many secrets atop the mausoleum. You must strike it with silver. You mean our silver bullets? Okay, if you say so. Hey guys, shoot the top of the mausoleum. Well, I'm not sure what that's supposed to accomplish, but if you say so... Hold on, look! Atop the mausoleum, there's some sort of beam coming out of it. You mean Eugene wasn't full of shit? I guess we better go see what's going on back inside. I think we're actually starting to make some real progress, gentlemen. Look, it's hitting the statue of Atlas. Watch out, it's coming down! I guess Atlas finally shrugged. Let this be a lesson to us. We can't carry the world on our shoulders either. 
Well, what did that accomplish exactly? Besides further destroying my home? I haven't the slightest clue. The rituals have been revealed. There are three in total. Rituals? I'm not really in the mood to start doing some black magic. Then you must not want to escape this hell with your life. Though it matters not to me whether you die today, tomorrow, or in ten years. Your soul is already mine for the taking. I don't believe you. But even so, if I can't save my own life, I'll continue to fight for theirs. Now tell me what I need to do. Insolent fool! Your feeble hope disgusts me. But since you want to keep playing the role of the hero, Eugene, head to the greenhouse. The first stone can be found there. I don't know what you are exactly, or your motives, but I'll prove you wrong. Come on, guys, let's head back to the greenhouse. I don't know why you want us to go back there, but I did just brute force this weapon case open, so now I also have this special pistol. The voice in my head said something about three rituals we had to do. First one being there. And if we're lucky, a werewolf will show up so we can get the final material we need to upgrade this gun. Well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't call the appearance of a giant werewolf lucky. But if it allows you to upgrade that pistol further, then so be it. Perhaps I shall spin that weapon chest more to try and get it as well. Okay. Well, we're at the greenhouse now. What did you say we were looking for, Eugene? Some sort of stone? Is this what you were referring to? It sure looks out of place to me. Look, the stone is starting to glow. Time to say your prayers, Eugene, for you may not survive the coming onslaught. And just what is that supposed to mean? Holy shit, werewolves incoming, as in multiple. And it appears we've been locked in. Time to show these monsters that they'll never break a true Rough Rider. Ugh. This is why I've always been more of a cat person. Keep firing. With our silver bullets, they won't stand a chance. God, I envy you, Majestic Wolf. I'd do anything to have fur like you. Mr. President, please stop being a weirdo. One of the werewolves dropped something. Let's see if this goes together with the other part we found to upgrade this pistol. And voila. The chaos theory is now ours. Interesting. If you hold down the trigger, the weapon appears to charge up and is capable of subduing the undead's primal instincts. Bully! I just obtained the weapon myself. Perfect timing. Well, now that we're all armed to the teeth, what's next, socialist boy? All right, Dark Eugene. Tell me what we need to do. That's right. You finally realize that without my help, you are useless. Maybe so, but without me controlling this body, you can't do anything either. You're just a voice whose only power comes from whether or not I listen to what you say. Now, in the interest of saving these three presidents, I'm willing to work with you. And I am willing to guide you, so long as you understand that your soul is beyond redemption. If you're speaking in terms of heaven and hell, then I don't buy what you're saying. But that doesn't matter now, because I'm still alive and kicking, and you're not going to be my judge when I die. Finally showing a bit of backbone, are we? It won't change anything, though. But if you're so keen on saving the others, then head back to the mausoleum. The answer is in the lights. The answer is in the lights, huh? Wonder what that could mean. Uh, maybe it has something to do with these lanterns? Just brainstorm in here. Well, I don't quite see the logic in that. But this lantern does appear to be glowing fainter than the rest. Well, I just shot it. Now it's not lit up at all anymore. Your allies might not be as dumb as I thought. Woodrow, I think you're on to something. Look for more of those dimly lit lanterns, maybe? Wait, really? Well, okay then. Finally a puzzle that allows me to showcase my intellect. Look at that! A bat has emerged from the lantern! It's trying to escape! Shoot it down! Bullseye! And look, it dropped something. Surely this is important. Damned if we know what for, though. By the by, aren't we supposed to be looking for another ritual stone? What in the Sam Hill? 
Something is knocking from inside this tomb. Just another one of those disgusting vampires. Lay waste into him, boys. The bloodsucker has been thoroughly dispatched. And look, it dropped something as well. Who knew vampires were such hoarders? Just what is the importance of these materials, though? Head to the forest. Use the chaos theory to make the undead scour the lands for the final materia. Only then will the Annihilator be yours to wield. The Annihilator? Is that the final form of this pistol? Guys, there's some sort of material buried in the forest, and we can use our guns to turn the zombies into slaves for our cause. Well, slavery is illegal now, but I suppose zombies don't have human rights. No thanks to your party. We all know if Democrats got their way, African Americans would still be in chains. I've got a couple of brainwashed meat sacks here. They just need to find this material Deb spoke about. One of the brain bags is digging here. Did it find any buried treasure? Well, it found something all right. Looked pretty special. Way to go, Mr. President-elect. Let's head back to the greenhouse and build ourselves the ultimate weapon. Hopefully I don't screw this up. Whoa, take a look at this beauty. Why, with weapons like these, no nation would dare oppose the United States. I think I'm in love with this beautiful piece of American craftsmanship. Let's take the portal back to the mansion. All right, we're well armed. We just need to complete the other two rituals. Any hints, Mr. Demon Voice? You can only proceed by facing your own mortality. Facing our own mortalities? What kind of clue is that? Well, given my size, I've had those kind of talks with doctors. Maybe he means the graveyard. I mean, that's where you go when you die. I don't know. That almost makes too much sense. In a day where nothing has made any sense at all so far. But I suppose we can further examine the graveyard to see if we missed anything. Uh, guys, come here. You might want to see this. The picture on that headstone. Is that Woodrow? And the year, 1912. That's this year. What does that mean? The year is almost over. Am I... am I going to die soon? Am I destined to die today? Just what is the meaning of this? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Answer me. Hey, something's happening to Woody. What the... Hold on, Mr. President. We'll get you down from there. Oh, God. Please, help me. I'm not ready to die yet. Ah! Woodrow! What the fuck just happened to him? He's finding out what awaits him after death. The hard way. You! You killed him, didn't you? <laughs> no, please! I was a good person! Ah! This is what awaits you, Woodrow. We look forward to seeing you real soon. <laughs> Am I... am I alive? Jesus, what happened to you, man? You scared the daylights out of us. I... I don't want to talk about it. Ever. Look, here's the next ritual stone. Let's move on so we can get out of this nightmare. We won't press you any further, Mr. President-elect. Let's just prepare for another fight to the death with these monsters. Looks like a horde of vampires thirsty for our blood are here. That's a good thing we have these Annihilator pistols. I doubt we'd have made it this far without them. It is my hope that no presidents in the future ever have to deal with such horrors as we have this night. Speaking of horrors, the Wolf Gang has arrived. Nothing we can't handle. We've taken down these big bastards before. We've done it. And the Sentinel Artifact even had the decency to provide us with a max ammo. Only one ritual stands in the way between us and liberation from this hell. You know the drill. Tell me what's next. And no riddles or tricks. Just tell us where to go. Very well. Head back to the forest. The last ritual site is there. All right, guys. Back to the forest where the weapon upgrade thing is. Our final trial awaits. Ah, yes. Here is the final stone. Once again, we must prepare for an onslaught of our undead adversaries. Of course it has to be in this dark, disturbing forest. Don't lose hope, Mr. President. We're so close to freedom. We have people who are counting on us in this nation, all in our own ways. You're finally starting to show some courage, Eugene. Despite what I think of your political views, you are true to your convictions, and I respect that greatly. Aw, oh, thanks, you big teddy bear. Who knew all it took to mend the political divide in this nation was to survive a night of terrors beyond human comprehension? 
If they could see us, I'd hope future generations could learn from this. I'm sure nobody will ever believe us, should we choose to recount the events of this night. Though some things are best left forgotten, like Taft's fur fetish. It's not a fetish, Woodrow. It's about being true to myself. Simple as that. Still, I don't want to be thrown in a loony bin like what Grover Cleveland did to that girl he assaulted. Yeah, bet you all didn't know that. Dude was a creep. Uh, thanks for that little nugget of history, I guess. More importantly, though, look. The final ritual is complete. Does this mean the Sentinel artifact is satisfied? In the forest, you'll find your final destination. This is the end of the line, Eugene. The last you'll be hearing from me. Thank God. I was tired of your mind games, even if you did help at times. Remember, no matter what happens at the absolute end, don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. Don't look so glum, chum. This is the end of our quest. Look, this wall has the three stones on it. This must be our ticket out of here. Look, the stone is moving to reveal a secret path. This must be an escape route. What the hell? I thought we were home free. Now it looks like we're fighting the king of the werewolves. Something tells me he's not gonna go down as easily as the others. Look, these statues around the place, the ones that are facing that glowing square are lit up green as well. Maybe we need to shift these white ones to face the square, then lure him inside. That's one hell of a deduction to make so quickly. Even I wouldn't have thought of that. It's worth a shot. Beat standing around with our thumbs up our rear ends. Looks like he took the bait. Time to shoot the ever-loving shit out of it. Well, they don't call me the master baiter for nothing. Wait, why are you guys laughing? Oh, no reason. Anyways, looks like we did quite the number on that beast. Guess we just rinse and repeat. I do wonder, what is this place exactly, and why was it built? I suppose I'll never get the answer, though. Theodore, shoot first, ask questions later. This werewolf has taken quite the beating. Surely it's getting weaker. I'd say so. Seems like it's resorting to sending its undead lackeys to try and finish us off. Clearly this monster didn't see the bull moose in action tonight. It should know its efforts are in vain, for I am the ultimate zombie slayer. Not even these overgrown coyotes can stop me. Why, I could engage them with fisticuffs and still come out on top. That bravado of yours is going to be your downfall if you don't focus up, Teddy. There he is again. Give him everything you got, gentlemen. He's got to be almost dead. I can feel it. Let's put the statues into the proper place so we can destroy this monster once and for all. Now you're speaking my language, Woody boy. Let's do this! No holding back. Unload every shot of your annihilators on it. Take this, so that we may finally be freed from this torment. Holy shit, we did it, boys! It's dead! So, can we finally escape from this never-ending night? Time's up. We're back in the mansion. Is it finally over? Wait, guys, where are you? Ah, another one of these blasted migraines. No, this doesn't feel right. Damn it, I was too late. Who? Who's there? Show yourself. Who are you? Are you here to save me? Or are you the one responsible? And where are the others? I wish I could put your mind at ease, but I am not your savior, nor am I your enemy. As for your allies, well, I'm sorry. What do you mean? <laughs> are you saying they're... no. That can't be. We were all alive. We defeated the werewolf. Werewolf. I see. Tell me, what is your name? It's Eugene. Eugene Debs. Socialist candidate for President of the United States. Does presidential zomboys mean anything to you? Presidential... zomboys? What's that? I see. So you are not the one. I'm sorry, Eugene. If I had gotten here earlier, I might have been able to save you. What do you mean, save me? 
Just what the hell is going on here, and who are you? <sighs> That's not important. I'm just a drifter trying to set things right. But you deserve to know the truth, even if it does hurt. It all started with this. The Sentinel Artifact? What do you know about it? Looks like it's been satiated for now. It had quite the hold on you. It's ready to let go. Ugh. You mean, that was the cause of my migraines? Not migraines, delusions. You see, this is not the only Sentinel artifact. From what I understand, there are four in total. They are all similar, but also very different. This is the Sentinel artifact of madness. Madness? Just, why are you telling me all of this? Because you deserve to know. Everything you faced tonight, it's all been a result of the Sentinel Artifact's influence over your vulnerable mind. Surely you heard the voices. No, you're lying. Look around us. All of these corpses. We killed so many zombies. No, in your mind, their visages may have appeared undead. But acting under the Artifact's influence, you single-handedly slaughtered everyone here. No, that's impossible. You're lying! I'm not capable of something like that. Ordinarily, I'd agree with you. However, as I told you, you weren't in control of your actions. I know that's probably not going to ease your mind from the guilt you must be feeling. But it's the truth. My god, so much blood on my hands. I must be going now. I have what I came for. What about me? You can't just leave me here. I'm sorry. In this universe, history has now been set in stone. You can't change the past, but the future is not yet written. Take your life into your own hands. Don't let anyone know you were here and work to right the wrongs of this night. That is the only help I can give you. Very well. Though I was not totally in control of my actions tonight, I will take responsibility for them nonetheless. I just hope God has mercy on my soul. Farewell, Eugene. Best of luck to you. I've been looking for the so-called presidential zomboys. At last I've found you. Here, take this. Consider it proof that you can trust me. Is this a sentinel artifact? How'd you get your hands on this? And how'd you know we were looking for them? I'll answer all of your questions in due time. For now, shouldn't we focus on saving your friend? Do you know where Donald's at? Please tell us what you know. Very well. Your friend, Donald. He's been taken by a very powerful organization. That's putting it lightly. Yeah, this organization is being run by an alternate version of Donald, who has become a god and plans on wreaking havoc across the multiverse. Another Donald? Looks like I have my work cut out for me. Uh, listen, buddy. We appreciate you helping us out of that little trance we were stuck in, but we need a little more information before we can trust you fully. He's right. I don't think you're an enemy given the fact that you gave us a sentinel artifact. But it is a bit strange that you know more about us than we do about you. I understand where you're coming from. It appears introductions are in order. My name's Barack Obama, 44th President of the United States. But you can call me Barry for short if you'd like. And I'm George W. Bush. I'm Barack's presidential predecessor. And I'm Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., current President of the United States. Our missing friend Donald Trump is my predecessor. It's an honor to be in the presence of men of such monumental stature. Thanks. But what about you? Do you have a name? My name? Huh. Just call me Isaac. Isaac, huh? Well, nice to meet you. That's a cool name. It's like that dude from Dead Space. Dead... Space? I'm not familiar with that. My name was chosen from the Holy Book. Oh. I mean, that's cool too. I'm a practicing Catholic myself. I think we're getting a little sidetracked here. So, Isaac, who are you working for? What? Well, you must have gotten your information from somewhere. Are you an agent of the mysterious female voice that has been guiding us? No. I work alone. I'm here of my own volition. Believe it or not, our goals are aligned. 
With your help, I can set the world right. Your friend Donald is vital to this cause as well. Allow me to join your ranks. Well, seeing as how we're a man down, any help would be greatly appreciated. Welcome to the team, Isaac. So, uh, do you have any clue on where the kidnappers went? Afraid not. They got quite the head start while I waited on you three to awaken. Okay then. Uh, mysterious lady voice. Now would be a great time for you to chime in with some advice. Uh, hello? You there? That's just great. Of all the times for her to go MIA. Even with the power of the Sentinel artifacts we do have, I doubt tracking down President Trump will prove a simple task. Okay, so what should we do then? Who knows where he could be? Joe's right. They could have taken Donald anywhere in the universe, or even in a different universe entirely. The past, present, or future, nothing is off the table. This is just horrible. What if we never see Donald again? We can't lose hope. First things first, we gotta get out of this cave. Well, speak of the devil. Look over there. Interesting. It appears to be some sort of interdimensional rift, but its sudden appearance seems almost too perfect. What do you three think? Well, the last time we went in a portal that looked like this, it ended up being a trap. However, I don't see any better options. Yeah, I'm with Barry. I say we go through it. You only live once, you know? Well, I'm not so sure about that. But very well, I go where you go. I don't know why, but I got a bad feeling about this. Don't jinx us, Joe. Now, come on. This just might be our best shot at finding Donald. So, uh, where the fuck are we now? Well, it's certainly no place I've ever seen before. You think Donald is here? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Well, wherever we are, it looks like someone was here before us. Plus, doesn't this place seem a little familiar to you guys? It's not ringing any bells to me. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I guess it does kind of give off strong Black Ops 2 buried vibes. I don't even know what that is. You didn't get to experience the greatness that was Black Ops 2? Bummer, man. We should probably get a move on. Every second counts if we're going to save Donald. Shit, we're not alone here, and it seems like our hosts are of the undead variety. Nothing we can't handle. What about you, though? Have you fought these creatures before, Isaac? I've slain quite a few monsters in my life. This'll be cake for me. You better be ready to back up that bravado, because here they come. Shit, watch your step around here, boys. Last thing we'd want is to fall down this hole. Heads up, I count at least five walking corpses here on the right. This side's crawling with these freaks, too. Seems no matter where we go, the undead are sure to follow. Really makes you wonder what our total body count is. Well, my body count is two. There was my first wife, God bless her soul, and then Jill. Take it from an old man, the secret to a good marriage is good sex. Joe, not another fucking word. That is not the kind of body count I was talking about. The last thing I want to think about right now is you laying down the pipe with your crusty old man dick. Oh, you think it's bad hearing him talk about it? I caught him and Jill banging on the Oval Office desk when he was VP. He was role playing as the president. Uh, such disgraceful behavior. I expected better from presidents of the United States. Listen here, Jack, if you're gonna hang with us, you better get used to the fact that we are not mature in the slightest. Now, as much as I don't want to, I think we're going to need to jump in this here hole. I'm inclined to agree. There's nothing for us up here. Well, here goes nothing. Yay! We're surrounded. Time for us to jump, too. Holy shit. Everyone okay? Nobody lost any appendages, right? Oh, that reminds me of this time when I was a teenager. My brother Jeb and I were playing with fireworks, and one hit him square in the crotch and blew off his... Okay, George, no need to get into specifics. Take a look around. We seem to be in some sort of mine. And unfortunately, instead of finding miners, we found more zombies. <sighs> Boy, do I love miners. Joe! You better be talking about miners spelled with an E instead of an O! Well, duh. Minecraft is like my favorite game ever. Minecraft? 
When I was a kid, we didn't have time for games. It was all work and no play. Geez, man, what kind of childhood did you have? Guess that explains why you're so serious. Unfortunately, when you've lived the life I have, it's hard to find joy in things. But I took an oath to protect what I hold dear. I won't allow myself to be distracted from my mission. I'm just wondering how your mission involves us. I promise to tell you more when the time is right. Well, you've been pretty honest with us so far, so we'll trust your word. In the meantime, we should get out of this cramped area. Let's go through this door here. Hmm. I wonder what kind of things went on down here before everyone became all zombified. I don't know, but, uh, Joe, you feeling all right? You sound like you're halfway in the grave. Yeah, sorry. Just feeling a bit sleepy is all. Guess my age is finally starting to catch up to me. I'll try my best to wake myself up a bit, though at this point I could probably kill zombies in my sleep. Just how long have you guys been on this little quest of yours? Damn near close to a year at this point. I tell you, Isaac, if I told you about all the places we've been and all the bullshit we've had to deal with, you wouldn't believe it. Honestly, I'm not sure if anything could surprise me anymore. Well, I'm sure I've said the same thing at some point, like when Donald Trump was elected president. Yet my expectations are always shattered by some new revelation during our journey. Yeah, it's been a wild ride for sure. Let's just hope we're nearing the end. I'm retired, damn it. I should be enjoying my golden years. What on earth was that? Look out, there's a big one, and he's wearing some sort of armor. Now, hold on. Doesn't he look a lot like the Warden of Alcatraz? You haven't seen the last of me. The Warden. But that's not possible. He can't be here. After all, the Warden really turned out to be... Just what was that about? You seemed to recognize that big son of a bitch. And he said something when he died. You haven't seen the last of me. It's not important. Just reminded us of something is all. Come on, let's head deeper into this facility. I really hope there's a mystery box around here, because I need something more than this little pistol. But I tell you, all these symbols on the walls and machinery look familiar to me. I swear I've seen them before. Joe, no offense, but you don't even remember the years you were vice president, and you expect us to believe you remember seeing the logo for some high-tech corporation doing God knows what down here? Well, geez, Barry, no need to be mean. Sure, my memory can be a bit fuzzy, but I'm telling you, this all seems kind of familiar. Hey, look, that door's marked power. Maybe if we restore the power to this place, we can find more clues. Or at the very least, buy some Perca-Colas. The zombies here are much more aggressive than usual. Some juggernaut and double tap would do wonders right about now. None of what you just said made any sense to me. Oh, well, basically, there are these magical sodi pops that can make you stronger or shoot faster or carry an extra weapon. They're super helpful. Did you just say sodi pop? And also, how is a beverage supposed to affect my reload speed or how many guns I can carry? I thought you couldn't be surprised anymore. It's magic, bro. Just throw all logic out the window. Hey, Joe, if you're still looking for a better weapon, there's a Tommy gun on the wall over here. Thanks for the heads up, Barry. I think the power is behind this door. How about we head inside and check it out? Whoa, look at all this machinery. I wonder what those purple crystals up there are. I've never seen anything like it. Doesn't it kind of look like Ethereum from Cold War Zombies? Yeah, I guess it kind of does. I wonder why that would be here, though. I don't know, but I want the lights on. It's scary in here. Oops, what I do. Damn it, Joe, what have we told you about pressing buttons when you don't know what they do? I mean, I did get the lights on. I consider this an absolute win. Hmm. <laughs> and what's with the loud noise? It's giving me a damn headache. I don't know, but usually loud alarms like that are not good news. Disengaging emergency protocols. What the? Mr. Biden, is that you? I never thought I'd see you again. That voice. Don't tell me. It's good to see you again. It's only been about 20 years or so, but boy, did I miss you. There's a man trapped in that little box. Not just any man, that's Mark fucking Zuckerberg. I did go by that a long time ago, but now I'm simply known as Zuckermore. You remember me, don't you, President Biden? Actually, which Biden are you? Last time there were two of you, and two Donald Trumps for that matter. Now there are one of you and zero of him. It's a long story, man. Multiverse shenanigans and whatnot. But wait, did you say 20 years? It definitely hasn't been that long. 
wait, is this the Mark Zuckerberg AI you told us about when we met our counterparts from another universe? I'm so lost right now. Well, after you four left and Director Musk was sent away through the APD, I was left alone. After a while, I realized something. The Tesla network that I was connected to, it wasn't a regular network like you'd imagine. It connected to other universes. I was free to travel the multiverse so long as there was a Tesla device for me to connect to. It took some getting used to. At first, I was randomly being connected to Tesla manufactured vehicles. I definitely caused quite a few car crashes. But eventually, I found my way here of all places. The year was 2035 when I got here. Apparently, most life had been wiped out in this universe by a zombie outbreak, but a few brilliant scientists dedicated to furthering Elon's work survived and were trying to find a way out of this hellscape. We got pretty close, too. An interdimensional portal was built, but before it could really be tested, an outbreak occurred here, and once again, I was left alone. I turned myself offline, feeling shame for once again being unable to help the Tesla organization realize its goals. So I guess it's safe to say you're not the one responsible for bringing us here? I'm afraid not. And nobody else is alive here to have opened a portal. Hmm, unless... Unless what? Do you have an idea as to why we're here? Before the incident, the scientists here were conducting research into something they discovered. A plane of existence beneath our own. The Dark Ether. The Dark Ether. Never heard of it. It's a realm defined by pain and suffering. No good can come from experimenting with that place. Zuck, what happened here exactly? I feel like there's more to this story. Well, the scientists here, they succeeded in summoning a dark ether anomaly. That's what caused the undead to arrive. I managed to contain it, but not before the scientists all died. But that's not all. There were voices coming from within. Sinister beings that want nothing more than to escape to our reality. Given that the veil between worlds has been weakened due to Tesla's work here, it is possible that cracks are starting to show. And that could be what brought you here. What does all of that mean, exactly? I think it means we're going to have to put a stop to it before the dark ether spills over into our dimension. If that were to happen, there's nothing we'd be able to do to save our world. As much as I hate him, I don't even think Dr. Monty would be capable of fixing everything. Will you? Oh, I knew I could count on you guys. Allow me some time to comb over the research left behind. You four feel free to look around for anything that'll help as well, particularly some weapons. Well, running into Mark Zuckerberg turned into an AI was not on my bucket list for today. Joe, you've met this guy before. Is he trustworthy? Of course he is. He helped Donnie and I escape Alpha Omega. Well, given that that's a hell in itself, I guess he's good people. Hmm. Oops, I just pressed some sort of button. Oh no, you've just turned on the particle accelerator. It's going to tear a hole in reality if we don't stop it. Damn it, Isaac, that's something I'd expect Joe to do. Sorry, all this technology is confusing to me. Can't we just turn it off? I don't think so. What the? What just happened? And where's the color? <laughs> Guys, I don't have a good feeling about this one bit. I think something is trying to get to us. Something worse than the zombies. You're right. And right now, I think we've just crossed over into the dark ether. Well, how the fuck do we get out of here? This is worse than being trapped in one of the Twin Towers as it was coming down. I'm trapped here, just like you. That voice sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Either way, whoever you are will be damned if we're gonna be trapped here. <coughs> oh, was that one of the magic sodas you were talking about? I hope the effect is better than the taste. Did you all notice the zombie souls seem to be charging something in the center of the room? Yeah, wonder what that's about. Hopefully it's a way out of here, though. Can you hear me, presidential zomboys? I found an opening. Get ready to return to this dimension. Zuckermore, you're the goat. Thank God for you, because that's the last place we'd want to be stuck. Hey, guys, take a look. There's some sort of orb in the middle. Just what is that thing? I'm not sure, but it can't be good. Oh, no. It's just as I feared. A fully formed dark ether anomaly. And this is much bigger than the last one. Who knows what could come pouring out of it? Well, how do we stop it? 
Because the whole time we've been here, we've heard a strange voice, seemingly trapped inside the dark ether. And then there was the appearance of the warden as well. Yeah, that made my Alcatraz PTSD flare up. I have felt the otherworldly presence as well in my circuits. Something powerful is trying to claw its way out of the dark ether. And if we don't do something, it very well might. I won't lie. A lot of this is lost on me. But this sounds like some serious shit. Hold on. You guys hear that? Uh, no. Barry, your ears are huge. You're telling me you don't hear that voice? It's a little faint, but someone's definitely speaking. And it's coming from inside that anomaly. This voice, is it the same one we heard before? The one that was taunting us? No, whoever it is, they're begging for help. I can feel it in my bones, they're suffering greatly. Maybe it's a trap. I mean, this whole dark ether place sounds like nothing but bad news. Yeah, I'm with Isaac here. I say we work towards shutting this thing down pronto. I don't know. I can't just ignore this. I want to go in and save whoever it is. Mr. President, you can't be serious. Who knows what lies beyond the anomaly? You could wind up trapped inside the dark ether for all we know. Yeah, Joe, have you lost your goddamn mind? I'm sure you hear voices inside your dementia-riddled head all the time. Just treat this one like one of those and ignore it. I'm sorry, Barack, but I'm going in. All right, let's go then. You too, Isaac? I fear nothing. Besides, someone's gotta watch Joe's back. Well, looks like we've got no choice, Obunga. We're a team, after all. Damn you, Joe, you've always been a stubborn old mule. Very well, we'll do it. Mr. President, I once again strongly advise against this, but I see the determination in your eyes. Please, exercise the utmost caution. Don't worry, Zuckermore, we got this. Come on, guys, into the unknown. What the? Where the hell are we? I'm not sure, but it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. This place, I recognize it. The feeling I get here, it's like I've felt it before, perhaps in another life. In another life? What do you mean by that, Joe? No way. If this is what I think it is, then all my worst fears have been realized, and we're in big trouble. Out with it, Joe. Tell us what you know. Listen very carefully. Can't you hear him calling out? Please, make it stop. Haven't I suffered enough? What more do you want from me? Hold on. Wasn't that your voice, Mr. President? That voice? Light Brandon? Light Brandon, but that means we're in court effects, the Deathless's realm. Light Brandon, court effects. Who are these people you speak of? And just what is this place? It's a long story, but Cortifex is an evil god who rules the Dark Aether. Can't you just kill me? I've endured enough torment. Find someone new to torture Cortifex. This whole time he's been suffering by Cortifex's hand. This was his punishment for helping us in Revelations. We need to save him. Save him? From Cortifex? Uh, Joe, even I have to admit, that seems way out of our depth. Who dares step foot into my realm? This power, it's overwhelming. I've never felt anything like it. Shit, he knows we're here. Interesting. The presidential zomboys have entered the dark ether. Mm. And it appears there is one among you who has defied death. Shall I make you four my newest victims for trespassing in my domain? <laughs> You want to fight, foul demon? We'll give you one. Hey, speak for yourself, Isaac. Ah, a feisty one. I would love nothing more than to break that spirit of yours. Luckily for you, I have my hands tied with an escapee already. Consider this the only act of mercy I will ever grant. If I ever find you four here again, I will devour your souls. You coward, you need to let the other Joe Biden go right now. Joe, chill. There's nothing we can do for him. Let's not make this situation worse for us. You'd be wise to listen to your friend. Be thankful you're not the Joe Biden doomed to suffer here for all eternity. Now, get out of my sight, you worthless insects. Where are we now? I'm not sure, but there's a punch-a-pack machine here. This can be used to upgrade our weapons. It's pack-a-punch, Joe, you know that. But it won't do us much good if we're trapped wherever this is. 
Can you hear me, presidential zomboys? I'm not sure where you four went, but I finally got a reading on you. The anomaly has stabilized a bit, so I should be able to pull you guys out of there, and the pathway from here to there will be consistent going forward, in case you need to travel between worlds. So we'll be able to come back to this upgrade machine then? That's good to know. All right, Zuckermore, go ahead and pull us out for now. All right, get ready to return to our world. We're back at the top of the mine. Zuck, did you discover anything useful while we were gone? Nothing yet. I'll have to keep examining these notes to get a better idea of what we're dealing with here. The anomaly has been acting very strange, though. For now, just focus on arming yourselves for whatever lies ahead. You heard him. Time to see what the rest of this place has to offer. If we're going to square up with the forces of the Dark Aether, we'll need to be armed to the teeth. If only I had the entire nuclear arsenal of the United States at my disposal right now. I'd wipe this whole place off the map like it were an Iraqi village. Now this place is more my style. Still, what is an old American town doing underground like this? Who knows, but at least we found the mystery box. This town, you think it's the one from Buried? I mean, we know the locations from Zombies maps are actually real locations across the multiverse. Clearly, it's a little different, but who knows what time could have done to this place, not to mention the building of the Tesla facility. I can interject with a bit of info. This place was formerly known as Purgatory Point, back during the American frontier. From what I gather, the town somehow teleported across time and space to this location, Angola. It has been abandoned for a while. However, it does seem like there was human activity roughly 15 years ago, but the extent of that is unknown. The corpses that now wander this land are the former citizens of this town who perished hundreds of years ago and former Tesla employees, all reanimated by the Dark Ether's contamination. Very interesting. If I'm remembering the radios from Tagder Toten correctly, Purgatory Point is indeed the name of the town from Buried. I mean, I guess it's cool that we're in Buried in real life. I guess my criticisms that the map is too easy won't hold true in real life. You all seem to be pretty familiar with a lot of what's going on. How is that? Well, back home in our world, before we were forced into this insane journey, it had all been foretold in the form of a video game series. What's a video game? You don't know what video games are? I'm old as dirt and even I played them back home. It's not that I've never heard of them. They just don't exist where I'm from. I haven't told you all this, but I'm not from the same time as you four. Really? I mean, I guess that's not too surprising given how you've reacted to everything so far. But clearly you're no ordinary human. I don't suppose you're gonna give us a rundown of your backstory just yet, are you? Not yet, but what I can tell you is that my life as I knew it ended a long time ago. Then everything just went to hell after that. Well, we can definitely relate to that last part. Uh, our whole lives have been upended for the past year or so for reasons we don't fully understand. I mean, hell, I basically died and had my life taken over by an evil version of myself before returning to the land of the living. You died? So are you like these undead creatures then? Well, I did say basically, in a moment of self-sacrifice, my blood was drained from my body, which opened a rift to a place not unlike the dark either, where my soul was stuck for a long time. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, that sounds like it must have been a horrible time for you. It was a difficult time for all of us. Thankfully, our bonds have only grown stronger because of it. Especially Joe and Donald's, though he'd never admit it. Boy, do I miss him right now. We'll get him back, don't worry. After all, I made a promise. Hey everyone, come inside the saloon. I found something of interest. What is it, George? Yeah, what could be so important that we needed to check it out in the middle of zombie slaying? Oh, quit your whining, you sleepy fuck. Look here, I found something. Seems to be a letter from the people who were here before us. The date is smudged a bit, but I can make out the year, 2025. Well, what's it say? I mean, I doubt the lore of this place will prove useful, but who knows? I was just about to get to that. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> oh, there you are, Benjamin. Alex and AOC are ready to go. We're just waiting on you. What are you still doing in here anyways? Oh, sorry, Bernie. Didn't mean to hold you guys up. I'm leaving a note here in case anyone ever happens to find themselves in this town and we don't make it out there. I mean, I understand the sentiment, but who's to say there's anyone left on this planet anyways? I don't need your democratic nihilism right now, Bernie. 
I mean, the whole reason we're leaving this place is because there just might be hope out there in the world. That, and we're running low on rations. I mean, we can only survive on candy and booze for so long. I'm just glad our zombie problem is over. For now, anyways. Sure, we managed to live in relative peace for a couple months here, but there's a high probability that the rest of the world is still overrun. Then we'll just have to keep fighting until we manage to go home. Presidents Clinton and Trump may be out of the picture, but there's still forces at work we don't understand whatsoever. A higher ruling class, you might say. What's taking you two so long? Are you in here counting old coins or something? Shut up, Alex, you anti-Semitic fat ass. I was just writing this note in case future generations find this place. That's a great idea, Ben. What have you got so far? Great idea, my ass. Nobody's gonna just happen to stumble upon a letter in an underground cowboy town in Africa. You've corrupted your little boyfriend's mind with your insanity. That's enough, Alex. I'm sure you never learned this as a child, but if you've got nothing nice to say, then keep your huge mouth shut. Thanks, Bernie. Anyways, here's what I've got written down. To whomever finds this place, we came here trying to fix this broken world. But we were caught in the crossfire of a war being waged by a couple of madmen. Unfortunately for us, we chose the wrong side. Though I suppose in the end, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. We were not the heroes we thought. And now that the voice from Alex's head is gone, we have no sense of direction going forward. We can only hope a better tomorrow is possible. Hypothetically speaking, if you are reading this, and peace has indeed returned to this earth, then just remember there are those of us who fought for it. And if not, if the undead plague still has a hold on the world, then forgive us. That's some sad stuff. Really makes you wonder who these people were and how their story ended. I wonder what they meant by the voice in Alex's head is gone. What do you think, Joe? I know your old dementia riddled ass hears voices in your head too. What the? He fell asleep standing up. Joe, wake up, you crusty old cracker. Huh? Or where am I? Am I dead? No, you're not dead. You fell asleep as I was reading this note. Oh, yeah. My bad. Did I miss anything important? I mean, I guess not, thank God. But still, this is who the president is? Trust us. We have a hard time believing it, too, sometimes. All right, Joe's stupidity aside, let's not start with the petty squabbles. There's something written on the back. P.S. This key will unlock the cabinet in the corner. We've stashed a couple weapons there just in case the undead return. Oh yeah, here it is. Let's go check out that weapon stash then, boys. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Now this is my type of firearm. Simple, sleek, and most important of all. Perfect for taking out freak bag skulls. The M1 Garand classic. I love the ping sound it makes when you run out of ammo. I think it's just a bit too old school for my taste. I prefer fully automatic weapons anyways. I feel like one of them World War II GIs running around with this thing. World War II? Yeah, spoilers. And Germany starts two major conflicts that decide the fate of the world. Thankfully, America and her allies come out on top. Well, that's reassuring to hear. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go to that pack-a-punch thing if you guys want to come. I got myself the ray gun, so I'm down. This pack-a-punch camo is fucking epic. Reminds me of Dark Matter from Black Ops 3. Bummer, for some reason the ray gun didn't get a camo. I feel ripped off. Well, I was gonna say who cares what it looks like. But even I gotta admit, I'm entranced by how beautiful this thing looks. What the? Why is that computer in there playing Rick Astley? Oh, I'm glad you noticed. That's one of my favorite memes. I hate that meme. Once I saw a link on the internet for free Robux and instead it was that stupid song, Jill had to calm me down after crying for three hours. I'm so sorry that happened to you, Mr. President. I do have good news, though. There is a powerful weapon that was being developed by the Boring Company in tandem with Tesla's work here. I can help you all retrieve the parts for it. The Boring Company? I hope it's one of their flamethrowers. I had one back home. That thing was so much fun. This blows the flamethrower out of the water. You'll see what I mean. There's only one prototype though, so you'll have to decide who gets it. It's probably too advanced for me to use, so I nominate Barack. He deserves it for everything his people have gone through. Well, I'm not exactly in favor of reparations, but hey, if you say so. You must be from a long time ago, Isaac, because nowadays African-Americans have it pretty good. 
at least compared to back then. I'll say this. In my time, the idea of a black man even holding public office would probably get you thrown in a mental institution. It sounds like you've decided then. First, you'll need to upgrade your security clearances. Head to the terminal nearby and activate it. Well, I didn't agree to Barry being the one who should get it, but oh well. Don't cry, George. I'm sure you'll get your chance to use a wonder weapon again at some point. I don't mean to cause any alarm, but I detect multiple life forms radiating with powerful dark ether energy headed your way. Oh no, it's the guard. Where does this big lug keep coming from anyways? Who knows, but he's not gonna put a stop to us. Another one? Eat lead, you big motherfucker. He really thought he could take us down. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, Warden? I'm just getting started. <coughs> Every time we kill him, he just fills the room with even more smoke. For real, I'm getting flashbacks to my college days when me and my roommate would hit that Zaza. Damn, Trump was right, Barry. You are a junkie. But anyways, we did what you asked, Zuckermore. Now what? Look around for a container. It should hold the pieces of the NX-1 disruptor. Use your upgraded clearance to open it. All right, got it. NX-1 disruptor. Doesn't that sound familiar? I swear that was a weapon in extinction or something. You'd be correct. Director Musk was a huge fan of that game mode in Cod Ghosts. Just when I thought Elon couldn't be any weirder. Yes, well, come assemble the parts in the central command area when you're ready, Barack. All right, let's see here. Whoa. Now this looks like it would take out a Middle Eastern hospital in a single blast. I mean, it looks sick, but why do you always have to jump to such fucked up extremes, Barack? I mean, you don't have much room to talk, George, considering you're the one who's mainly responsible for fucking up the Middle East. Why the hell is America even involved in the affairs of such a faraway land? Don't you have your own people to worry about? It all comes down to that sweet, sweet oil, baby. Yo, Zuck. We're pretty well armed now. Did you figure anything out that'll help us close this anomaly? As a matter of fact, I have. The research notes here mention four valves that control the flow of unconcentrated ethereum into the air. These valves need to be tightened because so far the air has been contaminated, which in theory is what's allowed the veil between worlds to become thinner. Think of it like our ozone layer. If we don't stop it, eventually there could be a full-size gateway allowing anything to come in from the dark ether. Well, that sounds an awful lot like the climate change hoax. But I've seen enough evidence to believe what you're saying in regards to this. So we're just looking for some valves? Shouldn't be too difficult, or as long as it's uh, not like the Goofy Movie valve step. Goofy Movie? Joe, it's Gorod Krovi. Anyways, I think I found one of the valves. Yes, that did it. Just three more. Found another one. There we go. Here's one. Almost didn't notice it back here. All right, only one left. Keep an eye out, boys. Found it now to just turn it all the way. Great, you did it. That should stop the flow of Ethereum for now. Please return to Central Command. You heard him. Let's go, fellas. All right, Zuck, the valves have been taken care of. Will you be able to close this anomaly now? I should be able to if I just... 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 Just what the hell's wrong with Zuckermore? Just, I don't know. He's like just, glitching out or just, something. Hey, man, just, you all right? Do just, we need to reboot you just, or something? Presidential Zomboys. There's something inside me corrupting my code. It's the same entity that came through the dark ether. I can't hold it back anymore. Please help me. Shit, Zuckermore. What the hell was that? Where'd Zuckermore go? I don't know, but... <laughs> Who the hell's there? Look on the monitor. Time to pay for your sins! Who the hell do you think you are, and what did you do to Zuckermore? Could it be that Cortifex guy? Did he break through to our world? Not this time! So you want to know the truth? <laughs> that was some trick I played, wasn't it? Sending out astral projections of my form from when I trapped you fools in Alcatraz. No fucking way. Bill, how the hell are you here? You got eaten by the Shadow Man. Well, it's like I say, George. I always come back. <laughs> yeah, only this time you're a virtual STD that's infected Zuckermore. Are you the one who brought us here? That's right, Barack. 
You see, after my death at the hands of my former master, my soul did not rest. Instead, it was cast into the dark ether, doomed to suffer for all eternity. But you know me, Slick Willie doesn't give up that easily. It was torment for a while there. Cortifex is a torturous bastard, that's for sure. How fortunate was I to stumble upon a veil back to this earth. The same earth that I had once ruled before Dr. Monty screwed me over. And through said veil was a supercomputer capable of traveling the multiverse and built for the sole purpose of controlling the dark ether's energy. If I believed in God, I'd say he had blessed me. What's that got to do with us? Just who is this guy anyways? Who do you think you're talking to, especially dressed like some sort of knockoff Assassin's Creed character? Hold on, where the hell is Donald? Donald's not here right now, unfortunately. Anyways, Isaac, this is Bill Clinton, the 42nd president of the United States and our longtime enemy. No Donald? Fuck! Well, now my revenge is gonna taste a little less sweet. No matter though, I'll just traverse the multiverse and kill every version of him. <laughs> Are you forgetting about us, you creepy fuck? We've beat you before, we'll do it again. That's doubtful, Joe, considering you sound like you're one trip down the stairs from death. Now, I'd love to reminisce about the old times with you fools. But the future awaits, and the future is built. As we speak, a new body for me is being created. Though my power over electronics is useful, being stuck in a computer isn't useful when you want to bang some interns. Take your Zuckermore back. I'll be waiting for you with my new body, if you can reach me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was so scary when I felt Bill Clinton come inside me. What do you mean by that? We're just glad you're okay, Zuck. Time is of the essence, though. It seems this Bill Clinton fella seeks to do irreparable damage to every universe. Then let's get to work. He left me detailed instructions on where to find him. He really wants this rematch. Time to show this artificial unintelligence who's boss. All right, Zuckermore. Where's this creep hiding? Bill is in a hidden chamber of the facility, not accessible by normal means. We'll need to build a beacon to amplify the dark ether anomaly to reach him. Mm, I love bacon. I can get behind this plan of yours, Zuckermore. He said beacon, Joe, not bacon. So just how do we build this beacon? First, you'll need a couple of raw ethereum crystals. I believe they can be found up top where you four teleported in from. Alrighty then. Let's head through the anomaly to pack a punch. It'll bring us back up top from there. All right, I think I see the crystal from here. How do we get it though? The crystal should be attracted to dark ether energy. Give it a few shots from your pack-a-punched weapon, see if it doesn't come your way. Just shoot it, huh? Well, if someone shot me, the last thing I'd do is get closer to them. Actually, I think I was shot at before. Really? Were you in the military or something? It's hard to explain, but I guess you could say I fought for what I thought was right. I understand. I briefly served in the National Guard, though I never saw a combat. Anyways, we got one of the crystals. Look, there's the second one. Looks like we got a jump for this one. I got this. Yoink! Well done. Now you must take the crystals to the Ethereum refineries. Be warned though, these will attract a lot of unwanted attention. So more flesh munchers, got it. What do these refineries look like? Ooh, I know, I saw them earlier and recognized them. From Cold War Zombies. Wow, Joe's knowledge of that shitty game is actually coming in handy. Who would have thunk it? This must be the refinery. All right. Crystal's in the container. Now you just have to protect the crystal. The undead will surely try to interrupt the process. They won't stand a chance against my wonder weapon. This thing just blasts them out of existence. Even Bill's warden form isn't a threat to us. Bill's always been a weak little pussy. He's just too stupid to know when he's outmatched. The first crystal has been refined. The second container can be found in the Old West Town. You know what? Speaking of the town, I'm curious. Do you all think Leroy, or whatever the fuck that big hillbilly's name is, was here at some point? A big hillbilly, you say? I do remember reading some of the old Tesla notes when they first arrived to this place. They found the remains of a man who was about eight feet tall, wearing overalls when he perished. According to an autopsy done on this giant, he had multiple drugs in his system, which were atypical of someone around in the 1800s when the town was thriving suggesting perhaps he died in the 21st century. That sounds like quite the mystery. Still, it's sad to see someone throw their lives away for a short-term high. I sure hope uh, Hunter's been taking his rehab seriously. I haven't seen my boy in a while. 
Even when we were home for Christmas, he didn't return my calls. I hope he's not mad at me. I know it can be hard being the son of the president, especially with all these Republicans trying to go after him. I know how you feel, Joe. I may not look like it, but I'm a parent too. Though I've only got one son left. My other kids all died young. I'd do anything to see my boy again. I share your pain. I lost my first daughter and wife at the same time. I'm sorry. That couldn't have been easy. You're a tougher man than most for being able to press forward in life, even after such a tragedy. Well, I've always had this philosophy that we shouldn't let the tragedies in life define us. Lord knows I could have. I've been through more hurt and sorrow than most, but we should use those moments to motivate us to try harder. I continue to live the best life I can for all the people I've lost. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You know what, Joe? You may be old, but that age comes with a whole lot of wisdom. Well, that sure was sweet. Almost brought a tear to my eye, even. And in the middle of that heart-to-heart, -heart, we managed to refine the second crystal. What now, Cuckermore? I mean, Zuckermore. You'll need to find the three pieces to build the beacon. Unfortunately, Bill has sent three of his goons to steal the parts, so you'll have to destroy them to get them back. Bill has goons? I guess that's not too shocking, considering that he's the OG White House gooner. Well, I don't know. I'd give that title to JFK. That dude would fuck anything that walked. Also, I got the ray gun mark too. Bill's gonna regret messing with us when I melt his fucking face off with my green balls. Jesus Christ. Just take these crystals, Zuckermore. Now where can we find these minions of Bill's at? I'm getting readings of dark ether entities in the town. You should know them when you see them. Look up there, there's a dude surrounded by some crystals. That's him. Destroy the crystals to make him vulnerable. Say no more. Killed him, and he dropped this. Must be a part to the beacon. Very good. But I'm detecting another one in the area. Found him. Now sit still so we can destroy these stupid crystals. This Vihender was built for destroying these crystals. Kind of like how the Twin Towers were built to be destroyed by you. Got the next part for the beacon? Let's return to Zuckermore. All right, I've assembled the beacon. Now what? The beacon needs some dark ether energy so I can reroute the anomaly's pathway to Bill. I'm detecting another surge of energy in the area. Go look for a ball of energy and escort it back here. All right, sounds pretty straightforward, considering what we're dealing with anyways. So keep an eye out on an orb of dark ether energy. Shouldn't be too hard to spot. I mean, you say that, but your Justice Department couldn't spot 9-11 coming a mile away, even though they knew the hijackers were bad news and were even on an FBI watch list. Not sure what this 9-11 thing is, but I found the orb. Everyone on me! All right, orb, let's get you back to the lab. It's dangerous out here. Hey, now, why'd you stop? We have places to be. It's Bill. He's sending his warden projections after you. <laughs> Bill, if you're listening, your pathetic attempts to stop us won't work. He just doesn't get it. Apparently, he needs to die over and over again before he gets a clue. How does a former president become so consumed by evil? The malice in Bill's heart was born from an overwhelming sense of inferiority and jealousy. He's lost a lot, but he has nobody to blame but himself for the pain he suffered. It's sad because Bill used to be a friend. You really think you know a guy. Well, let's go teach him a lesson he won't forget. Just gotta get all these zombies off our ass first. Look, the orb is doing something. This is it. Bill awaits you on the other side. All right, you guys ready? We've beaten him before, but who knows if he's gained any sort of new power from the Dark Aether. I'll try not to hold you three back any. This is your fight more than it is mine. Nonsense. You're an invaluable member of the team, Isaac. We'll need your help to defeat Bill, too. Joe's right. We can't get too cocky. Bill isn't an average human, after all. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Let's not keep him waiting, then. Is this the place? It has to be, but where's Bill? I'm not sure, but this place gives me the creeps. Wait, what's that over there? It's some sort of egg. Is this where Bill's new body's being made? Shit, I think it's about to hatch. <laughs> what the hell happened to Bill? Does my new form frighten you, Joe? A little bit, yeah. I may or may not have soiled myself. Bill, once again, you look like a fucking super mutant from Fallout. I want to barf just looking at you. This is the former president? How are we supposed to defeat him? Our bullets don't seem to be doing anything. That's right. You have no hope of defeating me now, presidential zomboys. Uh, can you hear me? 
Listen, your small arms fire won't penetrate his armored skin. Let me figure out something. For now, just stall him. That's easier said than done. I mean, look at him. Hey, Bill, guess what? I fucked your wife. What did you just say to me? Yeah, that's right. I nailed Hillary. And she said my World Trade Center was bigger than yours, if you know what I mean. You'll be the first to suffer for violating my wife! Okay, Zuck, I got his attention. I really hope you figured something out. In the room is a panel for a laser trap that should be able to cut into his skin. It's gonna charge up, though. Just give me a bit more time. Oh, sure, take your time, Zuck. Not like we're fighting for our lives or anything. Come on, you big bastard. I'm not scared of you. You will be when I rip your innards out and hang you from them. Hmm. <laughs> I'd love to see you try. The death ray is ready. You can find the panel in the back of the room. Someone activate it. I got it. Bill's being shocked. Now's your chance to unload on him. Oh, well, we'll unload on him, all right? Just like how he unloaded on Monica Lewinsky's face in the Oval Office. Oh, oh, impossible! I'm supposed to be invincible! Shit, his armor's back up. Zuck, how quick can you get that death ray up and running again? It'll take some time. Just try not to die in the meantime. He's activated some sort of heat beam trap. Watch where you step. That's mainly for you, Joe. Mr. Falls up the stairs. Hey, that's only happened like 10 times, Max. The death ray is fully charged, my friends. Let him have it. Take this, you ugly son of a bitch. This is the end for you, Bill. For good this time. No, this can't be happening. Damn it. How could I lose again? Am I destined to be humiliated by you presidential zomboys for all eternity? Bill, don't start trying to play the victim. Every defeat of yours was brought upon by yourself and your lust for vengeance. You never once considered the consequences either. You got your own wife killed by dragging her into your schemes. Bullshit. You fools did this to me. Really? We made you make a deal with the Shadow Man? Or told you to blow up the Earth? Come on, man. The only one you've convinced with this malarkey you're spouting is yourself. Joe's right. You had multiple opportunities to stop and do the right thing, but you kept treading on this path of self-destruction, and it's always led you right back to the same place, your death. Hillary, odd how I miss her. I never wanted to hurt her, and now she's, maybe you're right. Maybe you've been right all this time. I just didn't realize it until it was too late. Bill, was it? I know I don't know you like these three, but you still have a chance to make things right. You have good in you, that's why you were elected president. The people of your country saw something in you that you've simply forgotten you had. I never thought about it like that before. We could still use your help, Bill, if you're willing. Donald has been kidnapped. Dr. Monty betrayed us too, so we want to take him down as well. You could avenge your wife. Hell, as far as we know, she's still alive. Perhaps we could even save her. You, you really think that's possible? With your expertise, I have no doubt we'd give Dr. Monty a run for his money. We'd force him to bring back Hillary. Even after all the pain I've caused you guys, you'd still accept me as one of your own. All right, I've made my choice. Let's save Donald. Great. I must admit, though, it is a bit weird to be on the same side as Bill Clinton. Well, more numbers to our cause isn't a bad thing. And just where do you think you're going? What the? Oh, no. He's found me. That's right, Bill. You thought I wouldn't notice how you slipped through the cracks. Nobody escapes the dark ether as long as I'm in control. <laughs> I must thank you for you subdued Bill long enough for me to retrieve him. That's not what we wanted. You'll pay for that. If you valued your life, you'd hold your tongue, boy. But since you did me a favor, I won't bother killing you. Listen here, pal. You, you don't realize it yet, but you've just signed your own death warrant. You better sleep with one eye open because eventually we're coming for you. And we're going to save Bill and Lightbrand and end your rule over the dark ether. Damn, Joe. I wasn't expecting that out of you. But courage for a mortal, or perhaps stupidity. Very well, I accept your challenge. The day you arrive in my realm, I will not hold back. Joe, what did you just get us into? That's a worry for the future. It's a shame we lost Bill, though. He could have actually been helpful. My friends, are you there? I lost you for a moment. We're here, Zuck. I take it Bill is... Yeah, he's gone. I see. Well, 
I'll bring you back to Central Command. Our zombie problem appears to be over and we have much to discuss. We're back, Zucker Moore. This has been quite the day, I must say. You can say that again. I don't know if my circuits could handle so much stress again. So Zuck, have you figured out a way for us to get out of here? Sure have. I got the interdimensional teleporter up and running. Just tell me where you'd like to go and I can send you there. Well, we need to find Donald, the one who was with me when we were at Camp Edward. Think you can help? Sure can. I still have Donald's, as well as your physical metadata saved into my hard drive. It's a bad habit I've kept from when I used to own Facebook and would sell everyone's private information to foreign interests. But I can use the information I have on Donald and the Tesla network to track which universe he's in and set the teleporter to bring you there. Is there anything this machine can't do? Well, in life, I couldn't convince people I was actually human and not a lizard person, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, before I send you four on your way, I should run a biometric scan to make sure there's no remaining dark ether residue on you. That stuff is not good for your health. Sure, whatever you gotta do, man. Okay, this will only take a moment. Scan complete. Let's see here. Well, everything looks good so far. Wait a second. No, that can't be right. Is there a problem? I'm sure it's nothing, just let me do another scan. This doesn't make any sense. Out with it, man. What's the problem? Isaac, was it? Your biometric readings, they make no sense. Uh, make no sense how? What's wrong with him? None of his vital organs are working at all. His heart is completely still. It's almost like he's... Dead? Well, yes, actually. You don't sound very surprised, Isaac. Care to explain? <laughs> That's right, I'm dead. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm just like these freaks we've been mowing down. So if you want to put a bullet in my head, be my guest. Now hold on, why would we do a thing like that? Because I'm undead. That's your job, right? I won't take it personally. My soul's been dying to rest anyways. <laughs> this cursed body of mine just won't let me. Hey man, listen. I won't pretend to understand what's going on with you, but you're one of us. We fought together had meaningful conversations with one another, helped each other out in tough binds. Whether or not your heart beats hasn't dictated the way your heart leads you to act. You're a good man, Isaac. Joe's right. You're not like the rest of these shambling corpses. You still feel, you still care, and even through death, you fight to help others. You, you really mean all that? <laughs> Thank you. I feel a renewed sense of purpose. Death is supposed to be the end, but fate had other plans for me. From this day forth, I won't let anyone dictate my path. I alone am responsible for my actions, and I choose to help you three. If you're listening, then good. Just know I'm not lying. Hmm? If who's listening? Uh, don't worry about it. Maybe one day I'll tell you more. Now we should get a move on. Time waits for no man, after all. Can't argue with that. So, Zuck, did you find Donald? As a matter of fact, I have. He's in an adjacent universe being held captive in Delphi, Greece. Greece, huh? Where democracy began. And if this Emperor Trump fella gets his way, it'll be where democracy will die in darkness. Well, following the pattern of the previous locations we've visited, I think I know exactly what's in store for us at Delphi. We better hurry then. Donald's life may depend on it. I think I saw the teleporter Zuck mentioned earlier. Here it is, boys. Donald is just on the other side waiting for us. Thank you for everything, Zuckermore. Good luck in your future endeavors. Don't mention it, and good luck to you four. Here we come, Donald. You, wait. Hmm. What is it, Zuckermore? I get it now, why you're dead. Hmm. What could you possibly know about me? You'd be surprised what your DNA showed me, Isaac. Though we both know that's not your real name, is it? Very clever, though. Shut the fuck up. I don't get why you changed it. I mean, I quite like the name. I said shut the fuck up. Now I'll ask you one time, what do you want from me? My apologies. Much like when I was human, I'm hard-coded to be data-driven. I just wanted information. I didn't mean to offend you. You and I aren't so different, actually. I know what it's like to have your mortality stripped away. Huh. Goodbye, Zuckermore. Thanks for everything.
And so it begins. Hey, look over there. I think that's the source of the mysterious voice that's been guiding us all this time. Please, you must help me. A common enemy has bound me here. Trapped for all eternity unless he is stopped. Real talk though, why are you surrounded by a stinky fart cloud? Joe, shut up. This is serious stuff. Lady, we'll be happy to help if you can help us find Donald. Are we sure we can even trust her? I mean, just who is she? The same could be asked of you. You are not one of the presidential zomboys I called upon. Well, I'm here whether you like it or not. I share the same goal as these three. Find Donald Trump. Yet I sense a darkness plaguing your heart. You don't know a damn thing about me. The knowledge I have gained over the years is vast. What I have learned would surprise even you, Isaac. <laughs> Clearly, I underestimated you. I'm not sure how much you think you know, but just don't get in my way, and things will be fine. Uh, I'm sensing a lot of sexual tension here, and I don't like it. Joe's right. We're all on the same side, aren't we? Yeah, petty squabbles will get us nowhere. Now, lady, what can you tell us? Is this evil Trump around here somewhere, or Don Jr.? Our enemy has taken his throne atop Mount Olympus. He likely already knows you are here, and will do everything within his power to stop you. Olympus. Geez, he really does think himself a god. Well, how do we get there? I'm sure time is of the essence. As you stand now, you are not powerful enough to face God Emperor Trump. The sentinel artifacts in his possession carry far more power than yours. So how are we supposed to even the playing field, then? The primordial weapons lie dormant in this city, waiting for someone to claim their power. Well, being a man of primordial status myself, I think I know what you're talking about. The ancient gauntlets. Oh yeah, I remember those from the game version of Ancient Evil. They seem like just the weapons we need to save Donald. Well, once again, I find myself left in the dark. So long as you three know what to do, though, I'll follow along. We'll be counting on you a lot, Joe, Mr. Chaos Expert. Don't worry, Georgie, I'll carry us to victory. Now let's not waste any more time. Donald's life depends on us. Good luck, my heroes. <laughs> well, sounds like we're gonna need it more undead inbound, guys. Who goes there? It's me, Father. I was looking for you. Dad, calm down. It's just me, Don Jr. Yes, that's right. My son. I hate to say it, but you scare me sometimes. I didn't know the power of the Sentinel artifacts would have this kind of effect on you. This is the price I must pay for absolute power. One day you will understand the meaning of sacrifice, Junior. Yes, Father. Say, what are you doing up here anyways? Haven't you noticed it? Tainted flesh has entered my city. No doubt they're here to save my alternate self. Have you secured the prisoner? The imposter Trump is locked away tight, just like that oracle we found conspiring with the presidential zomboys. Very good. Once the evil that plagues this city rips the zomboys to shreds, nobody will be left standing in my way. Shit, Dad, you're starting to turn again. Let me get you some food. No. What do you mean, no? If you don't eat something, you're gonna fully turn into a zombie. I tire of eating the flesh of disgusting animals. Well, I'm sorry we don't have any Big Macs or anything. You remember what I just told you about sacrifice, son? Dad, what are you doing? I'm your son? And I am hungry! All right, guys, this is gonna be perhaps our most important battle yet. There's so much at stake here. No kidding, Donald's life is on the line, as well as the fate of the universe itself. Not to mention, if we succeed, we might get some information from this trapped bitch on how to deal with Monty. That's not very nice, George. She seems like a very lovely woman, minus the fart cloud surrounding her. Still, he's got a point. We don't know a lot about her, but she does seem to be on the same side as us in regards to Dr. Monty. What's the deal with this Monty guy? 
Seems like you three have a grudge against him. Well, we have a good reason to. The dude is basically a god and strung us along all over the universe to do his dirty work, making us endure all sorts of suffering in the process. Sounds like a bad guy, then. Oh, that's not even the worst of it. He's also British, or at least he has a British accent anyways. And like, if you're an all-powerful being, why would you choose to have a British accent? He's pure evil, I tell you. Well, I suppose we better see what the rest of the city has to offer. Though, if I had to guess, it'll just be more walking corpses. Even though it's under less than ideal circumstances, it is pretty amazing to be in the ancient city of Delphi. The myths surrounding this place are very interesting. Yeah, well, I'm just worried some of the myths may be true. Greek mythology can be pretty fucked up at times. Like one wrong move and our souls might end up stuck in Tartarus. Tartar sauce, what's that got to do with anything? Just shut up, Joe. But for real, I can't hear Tartarus without immediately thinking of Persona 3, goaded game. I still don't get what these video games you guys told me about are supposed to be. But in terms of our current situation, I suppose you could make the argument we are trapped in our own little labyrinth of suffering. Well, given your current status as a Walking Dead guy, I suppose that makes sense. But I don't want to think about that possibility because that would recontextualize our entire journey in a very depressing way. You know, even though we're again fighting off hordes of the undead, at least this time it's on a banger map like Ancient Evil. I mean, we just skipped shitty dead of the night. That map always made my poor old head hurt. No offense, President Biden, but it doesn't seem like it takes much to confuse you. Damn, Isaac just roasted your demented ass. Look, isn't that a sentinel artifact? What's it doing out here in the open? Seems a bit suspicious. And why is a statue of a headless lady being grabbed by the Burger King? Pretty sure that's Poseidon or some shit. I never played this map much. I just remember some review where someone got really triggered that this map was sexist or something. Well, guess we should try and take the artifact since it's right here. I don't think so. What the? Who the hell is that? No way. Donald? Arise, my soldiers. Slay those who wish to stop my ascent to godhood. He's summoning spooky, scary skeletons. And they don't want to stay down either. How is a pile of bones harder to take down than a fully-fledged zombie? Watch out, they're coming from the stands too. Shit, we're surrounded, and he's locked us in here with a barrier. This isn't good. What on earth? It's Pegasus. Guess some of the myths are real. Come back, Mr. Horsey. We need to thank you for saving us. Oh, I'm sure we'll see him again, Joe. I thought this life of mine was done with surprises. I mean, a real-life Pegasus. You don't see that every day. Damn horse! You fools are only delaying the inevitable. After I slay you, I will devour your flesh and begin my takeover of every universe. Well, that doesn't sound good. We need to find this guy and take the other Sentinel artifacts from him. That's easier said than done. Remember what our lady friend said? We need the primordial weapons to stand a chance. Now you have seen him, one who calls himself the God Emperor. There are secrets in this city that will give you a fighting chance, if you can find them. Well, that's vague as fuck, though I do remember there being a pretty dope shield on this map. Maybe there are some parts laying around. I don't know, but I think the box is up ahead. That'll be a godsend. All right, Magic Box, what you got for me this time? The SG-12, not the best weapon, but my inner hillbilly is happy with a shotgun. Damn it, I got some sort of long-range rifle. A lot of good this'll do when they're in my face. Well, I got the shitty Argus. Man, this was always Donald's favorite shotgun. I sure hope he's okay. Well, they don't call him Teflon Don for nothing. He always comes back from whatever life throws his way, whether it be 90-plus criminal charges or when he swapped with Hillary to become ruler of the ether, he always comes back stronger than before. I admire him in that regard. I'll tell you what I don't admire about him. That shitty toupee of his and that weird orange tan thing he has going on. I can't wait for you to meet him, Isaac. He has to be seen to be believed. I love the guy, but he's goofy as hell. I'm looking forward to it. He sounds like quite the character. Oh, trust me, that's putting it lightly. Hey, I found the tip of a spear. I think this is part of the shield, if I recall correctly. Yo. Unless my old eyes are deceiving me, that looks like a bridle made of gold. I think that's for Pegasus. 
Ooh, if this will make Pegasus happy, then we should bring it to him. Oh shit, it's one of those big scary forearm fucks. What in God's name is that thing? I don't know what it's supposed to be, but if it bleeds, we can kill it. Let's see how Goro here likes a taste of my chakram's of vengeance. He's one tough son of a bitch. Yeah, but he was no match for the presidential zomboys. And look, he dropped his shield. We should bring these parts to a workbench. We can craft Apollo's will with the items we've gathered. Very good, my heroes. The Blessed Spear of Apollo will be vital to uncovering the secrets of the city and overcoming the Sentinel Artifacts trial. Sounds like we're on the right track, fellas. I'll go ahead and build this shield for us then. Okay, now this is epic. I'm just able to throw these magic spears and a new one just materializes in my hands. Yeah, I'm sure you know a thing or two about chucking spears, Barry, given your ethnicity. Damn it, George. That's something I'd expect from Donald, not you. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Don't get me wrong. Back in my home, I'd heard much worse, but you guys are from the future. I figured racism would be a thing of the past. God damn, Isaac. You're supposed to be on my side. It was just a joke. I wasn't expecting you to be a 200-year-old or however fucking long ago you were born social justice warrior. All right, I'm gonna be the one to say it, I guess. Stop with the petty squabbles. Ooh, that felt good. But seriously, come here, I found Pegasus. I think he's been waiting for us. Are we gonna ride on this thing's back? I'm not really a horse person, you see. Ah, uh, don't knock it till you try it, Barack. I used to have a horse named Bob who I'd take everywhere. Well, I doubt uh, Bob will compare to a fucking Pegasus. Come on, buddy. We're ready to take flight. <laughs> This is going to be so fun. I guess. Where does Pegasus plan on taking us anyways? It's got to be Pack-a-Punch, right? Yeah, also known as the Underworld. Well, that's ominous. I will say, riding a dragon is way cooler. Yeah, that's a thing me and George did, by the way. A dragon? You guys have truly been on some incredible adventures. Guys, I think I can see my house from here. Shut the hell up, Joe, for the rest of the flight. <laughs> Joe, are you crying? Nah, man. I just have something in my eye. Joe deserves to cry after that zesty-ass comment. That's the kind of shit Drake would have said. Oh, shit! There you are. Mark my words, presidential zomboys. I will not be stopped. Oh, my aching head. Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're fine. Minus the fact that the place is swarming with the undead. That's got me wondering. Isaac, since you're technically undead, can you feel pain? Would a headshot put you down like the zombies? Well, to your first point, no, nothing hurts me physically. The headshot question, though? Well, I don't want to test that theory, but based on experience, I'd say it'd take more than that to keep me down. That's interesting. I wish I could not feel pain sometimes. Be careful what you wish for. The pain of this cursed life I'm now forced to wander through is worse than any pain I experienced while alive. Well, geez, that's depressing. Can you hear me, presidential zomboys? I feared the worst when I noticed Trump had found you. I see you have made it to the center of the world. The means to further empower your weapons can be found there. But you must free the eagles of Zeus. You should also be on the lookout for the means to control Pegasus. His aid will be vital. Sounds like we really have our work cut out for us then. I'd have an easier time brokering a peace deal between Palestine and Israel than all this shit. I hope these Eagles of Zeus are like American bald eagles. That would be fucking awesome. She also mentioned a way to control Pegasus. Joe, you know anything about that? Yeah, I think there's a forge down here that we can use to craft the Pegasus strike. I considered going down the path of a blacksmith when I was alive. But in the end, I pursued other endeavors. Still, I know the basics. I can help forge this Pegasus strike, if need be. That's why you're the GOAT, Isaac. Hey, I'm not a GOAT. It's an acronym, bro. It means greatest of all time. Honestly, none of our unexpected allies have let us down, really. Larry, Dr. Cohen, Scuba Sam, and of course, Yamato. Been thinking about him a lot lately. And everyone else we've lost along the way. That's why we need to stop Dr. Mani and the Ether's influence. So 
So no more lives are lost and people are free to live as they want, not in some preordained cycle. A noble goal indeed. How about we start with freeing this bird? It must be one of the eagles. Our bullets aren't doing shit. Stand back, guys, I got this. There's one eagle free, one to go. God damn it, let me out of here. Don Jr., you piece of shit. You have no right being my namesake if this is what kind of person you are. My friends are gonna find me, and when they do, they're gonna kick your ass. I'm afraid you won't be seeing much of Junior anymore. Who's there? You better be here to let me out. Oh no, Donald. You know I can't do that. There is still much to do. Enough with the theatrics, just show yourself. Finally, I get to meet the man responsible for thwarting all of my plans. Jesus fucking Christ. Your face is seriously fucked up. Are you supposed to be me? I am you, Donald. The superior version. The one who will rule this and every other world. You couldn't stop me. Not when you prevented Mike and Kamala from finding the votes I needed. Or when you blew up my moon base along with McConnell. Even destroying the Shadow Man wasn't enough to stop my plans from advancing. Okay, but we didn't do all of that with the intent of stopping you. We didn't even know you were a threat. But now you've gone too far, and I guarantee my friends are gonna come find you and put a bullet in your ugly mug. Oh, your little friends have already arrived. They'll never reach you, though, and soon I will devour them all. You bring shame to the Trump name. Allying yourself with those corrupt puppets of the deep state. Yeah, we may disagree politically, but those are the best group of guys I've ever had the honor of calling my friends. And you're making the mistake of a lifetime underestimating them. I have no doubt in my mind that they're gonna stop you. We'll see about that. When I kill them, I will bring their corpses here so that you may realize how misplaced your hope was. Then, I will destroy you! Yeah, sure, pal. I'm not scared of you. If that's all you have to say, then just leave me be. <sighs> Such arrogance. I expected as much from me. To tell you the truth, I originally planned on taking over that body of yours. But I'm starting to like this new me. Yeah, I think it suits you. It reveals your twisted, ugly, dead soul. Now, if you're done yapping, I'd like to sit here and wait for my friends without your hideous face staring me down. Yes. Sit here alone, knowing that the end is nigh. Mark my words. You and your friends' deaths are assured. Finally. I, I couldn't have him knowing that for once in my life, I'm actually scared to death. All right, we freed the Eagles, built the Pegasus Strike, and got Pack-a-Punch available to us. What now? Well, now we need to find the primordial weapons. They're most likely hidden around the city. I mean, this place is pretty huge. What exactly are these weapons, anyways? You said something about gauntlets earlier, right? Yeah, they're like hands of Greek mythological figures like Gaia and Charon and shit. These might be the most powerful weapons we'll ever get our hands on, pun intended. Well, every journey starts with a single step. And step one would be to find the base versions of the gauntlets. I will guide you to the primordial weapons. One can be found near the purple blossoms. Purple blossoms, huh? Surely you must mean the purple flowers I saw back in the city. Well, I'm surprised your slow ass remembered such an important but small detail like that, Joe. Good job. Not sure if that's a compliment or not, but thanks, Obama. Now to go see if my hunch was correct. I'm somewhat excited to try out these weapons. The ballistics of the future are already impressive enough, but weapons that utilize magic? <laughs> I'm expecting something that'll wipe these freaks off the face of the earth. That's typically how wonder weapons function. You're gonna have your mind blown, I'm sure. Hmm. Oh guys, I found one of the hands under a pile of random rocks. That's great, Joe. I just found one too, right by the purple flowers, like she said. Another can be found where the arrow splits the road and in the chaos of venom. I think I saw an actual giant arrow crashed into a road earlier. Now that would be an awesome weapon to add to the US arsenal. 
I'm just imagining hundreds of scared Afghani civvies screaming in terror as a giant arrow demolishes their fucking houses. Ah, uh, putting that aside, there's a giant statue in the underworld dripping with some green shit. Maybe that's the venom she mentioned. I'll go check it out. All right, let's see here. Aha, found my hand. Now that looks interesting. This has got to be one of the primordial weapons. At last, the hands of the primordial gods have been gathered. They must each be brought to one of the shrines. Karen, Gaia, Mera, and Uranos. Become their champions. Wield their power. I don't know which of these weapons does what, so I guess I'll just go with Uranos. Okay, well. I guess Karen fits me best. I assume his shrine is somewhere here in the underworld. I guess I'll go with Himera here because yellow is my favorite color. Well, that's a goofy reason, Joe, but I guess I'm stuck with Gaia then. I'm just gonna guess this shit is hungry for zombie souls. All right, Aranos. I don't know who you are, but you better find me worthy. I'll kill as many colored zombies as I need to. You know what? Out of context, that didn't sound right. But I mean, they're literally glowing blue. Come on, you freak bags. Old Joey Biden can take a million of you on at once. That's it. Now you may have a taste of the God's power. All right, let's try this out. Who wants to die first? <sighs> Holy shit, this is incredible. This must be the blood magic that I've read about. Looks like I've got a date with Mother Nature. Good thing she and I are already on good terms, given I love to smoke her special plants. Whoa. This is like a fashionable version of the Thunder Gun. I dig it. I'll whip up some winds that make Hurricane Katrina look like a gentle breeze. You think they're epic now? These aren't even their final forms. They can be made way more powerful. It's hard to believe these could be any more deadly. How do we acquire such power? I'm sure we'll have to do some complicated side quests that consists of random bullshit. There's no time. Allow me to open the gateway to the realm of the gods so that you may unlock your full potential. Where am I? Gaia's rage flows through you, Barak. Now unleash it against the undead. Holy shit. This is fucking awesome. Isaac, Karen has granted you his power to send them to the other side, where not even your own soul can step foot. Well, they can go right back to where they came from. I don't care if hell is full. That doesn't give the dead the right to walk the earth. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. This must be how Obama feels when he hits a Middle Eastern family with pinpoint accuracy. I mean, this is literally a solar orbital strike. Wipe out any opposition with a mighty gust of wind, George. Man, they can't even touch me. I'm almost certain I could have knocked the planes that got hijacked out of the sky completely with this thing. All right, I think I've got a pretty good grasp on this gauntlet. Time to get back to the real action. I'm not sure how any of this works, but I won't complain that it does. All right, we have these all-powerful wonder weapons now. Can you help us find the evil Trump? As I told you earlier, he sits atop Mount Olympus. Reaching him will not be a straightforward task. Before you is the flame of Apollo. Ignite the tip of Apollo's will, then seek out three marked locations. Marked locations? Well, this has Easter egg quest written all over it. Joe, you know how to do this one? Yeah, we have to take the flame of Apollo and light three oil spills around the city. It's pretty random, I know. Well, that's pretty par for the course in regards to Cod Zombie's quest lines. Guess we better keep an eye out then. This looks like one to me. If I were an oil spill, where would I be? Wait a sec, is that it? I'm like a bloodhound for this sort of thing. I mean, I did turn the Middle East completely upside down for their oil, so I should be able to find one of these spots. There we are. I'd recognize the scent of liquid gold anywhere. That's a bit concerning, George. But shit. Did you guys feel that tremor? I'm guessing that means we did something right. Good job, guys. What's next on the to-do list? We'll actually need you for this part, Isaac. Follow me. Okay, then. What do I need to do, Joe? See these statues? You need to shoot a charged shot of your hand of Karen on the ground and stand in it. Some of the statues will have glowing eyes, which you'll have to shoot with your hand. You'll have to destroy four of them. 
Whole lot of sense that makes. Here goes nothing, though. Ah, there's one. There you go, Isaac. Keep destroying those statues. And that makes four. Well done. I trust you know what to do next, President Biden. Don't worry, I'll show these whippersnappers how an Easter egg is done. You say that like you weren't carried through nearly every quest for most of our journey. That was the past, now it's my time to shine. Now hold on, Joe, we're not completely useless here. I remember this step vaguely. There are like these three spinning cogs we have to stop with our spears. Damn it, Georgie. This is supposed to be my moment. Come on now, Joe, we're a team. Think about it. What would Walter White have been without Jesse? Uh, probably alive. Yeah, but then there'd be no peak fiction. Who's Walter White? Is he some important figure in American history? You wouldn't get it. Okay, then. Well, I found the last of the three cogs. I'll nail it in place so it turns the bigger one. Damn it, I missed. Oops, missed again. Damn, man. Oops, missed Your again. aim sucks. Do you need me to do it? Oops, missed again. Joe would have an easier time hitting this than you. Oops, missed again. Isaac, we don't have all day. Move out of the way if you can't. Oh shit, you finally got it. It only took like 10 fucking tries. I haven't the slightest idea what you mean. I nailed that first try. Anyways, what's next, Joe? We don't need that walking husk for this. I remember what to do. We need to hit a spear at that crystal at the exact moment. All three spinning statues are facing it. Hey, lay off the man. Joe may be old, but he's a good guy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Us walking corpses gotta stick together, right? You're damn right, bro. Well, while you two were busy glazing each other, I finished that step. Now I'll concede to your direction, Joe, because that's as far as I really remember. Don't we gotta wait for one of those four-armed Big Chungus motherfuckers to show up? Yeah, he's gotta blast one of these crystals to release a little Egyptian ank. Here it is. Guess now we play the waiting game. Well, fuck, we didn't have to wait long. He's here. Come on, Ugly, hit us with your best shot. Bullseye. He hit right where we needed him to. Now to thank him for that, let's wipe him from existence with our magic fucking gloves. I'll use the true wonder weapon of Black Ops 4, the Helion Salvo. God, I love this thing. All right, Ra here can hold on to the ankh for now. Barry, follow me. You're needed for this next part. My time to shine, huh? What you got for me, Sleepy? You basically just gotta shoot these branches with your hand. It should be simple enough. Not sure what that's supposed to accomplish, but okay then. Besides summoning another one of those four-armed freaks, what did that do exactly? He's a special one. He'll drop a golden pole. Oh, I see what you mean. Man, this reminds me of my sweet Laura. Boy, did she know how to work a pole back in the day. Man, you know who I want to see pole dance? That cute little Georgina that Dr. Monty showed us that one time? Damn, she was fine. No, 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 no. Joe, I tried so hard to destroy that mental image from my head, and now you've just brought it back. I'm guessing this is something that I'm better off not knowing, right? It is pretty disturbing, not gonna lie. Joe, just steer us away from this conversation and tell us what we need to do next. We basically need to get electric catalyst to charge up the pole, then activate these moving symbols on this sundial when the blue symbol is lined up with this line on the circle. Not sure how you remember this shit, Joe, when you can't even remember when you were vice president or what you had for breakfast, but thank God you do. I'll handle these symbols. You guys just keep our undead friends here off me. We got your back, George. Don't worry. You know, this is probably a hot take that'll get me roasted, but I think these wonder weapons are better than the staffs from Origins and the bows from DE. Good thing Donald's not around to hear you spout that bullshit, Joe. He'd go off on you. Regardless, I lined up all the symbols. Now I guess we gotta return to the Ra statue, right? Oh yeah, I remember this part from a Mr. Dalek JD tutorial video. We gotta like protect the statue from skeletons. This Mr. Dalek JD guy must be a genius if he somehow foretold of these events. Nah man, he's just a British plagiarist. Like we said earlier, back in our time, the locations and events we've experienced so far are loosely based on a video game series. We still don't know how that's possible, though. And people like you were not foretold. It really does add a layer of mystery to all of this. I hope one day you guys are able to find answers and peace. Don't look now, guys, but the raw statue stole my glove. We gotta protect it from these skelly boys. 
Let's just do a better job of protecting it than Obunga did Benghazi. Whoa, now that was all Hillary's doing. Not my fault she was utterly incompetent. Brother, you appointed her to her position. The buck stops with you. It doesn't matter, though, because it looks like we managed to successfully defend it. I found a scepter. I'm guessing Ra wants this thing back. Here you go, boss man. Oh, look, I think he's revealing something with that laser. You're so close. The gods are not fully satisfied, though. They demand a performance. Head to the amphitheater. Really? A performance? I don't even believe in these gods. So why should I have to provide entertainment? Oh, uh, loosen up, man. This is the fun part. Wait, is this the hit your mark step? This part is actually really cool. Well, for those of us who aren't as knowledgeable on the chaos maps, can you explain this part in detail? See these circles? Each one corresponds to our wonder weapons. The colors make it obvious which one is yours. Basically, a game will start where our circles will move around the arena, and when we go to it, zombies will appear either in the stands or down here. If they're in the stands, you kill them with a regular attack, and if they're in the arena itself, use a charged shot. And sometimes your circle will come back over here, in which case you just stand here and don't do anything. You get all that? It's simple, I promise. I think so. I mean, if your old ass can comprehend this, then I most certainly can too. All right, let's do this then. Oh, looks like I'm up first. So I just do a basic shot for these ones in the crowd, right? Good job, Barry. Now get your ass back here. It's me and Joe's turn. Well, that was easy. There's gonna be multiple rounds of this and it will get more crazy. It's nothing we can't handle. This is child's play. I don't know where it's coming from, but this music is really cool too. You guys weren't kidding. This is actually pretty fun. These magic hands are satisfying to use like this when the zombies can't fight back. So, uh, Isaac, does this constitute as friendly fire for you? Very funny, Joe. But you look like more of a zombie than me, just saying. Big talk from the guy who's got 90% of his face covered up. Damn, Lil Bro. Joe's kind of spitting facts. Uh, touche, old man. But seriously, I don't think you'd find what's under here very pretty to look at. Well, we're friends with Donald, and he's pretty fucked up looking. I doubt you could look any worse. We did it, guys. Well done. Now head to the River of Sorrow. You must open the way to God Emperor Trump. Pegasus weighed you. You heard the bitch? Let's head through one of the portals back to the PAP area. All right, Pegasus. Where you at, dog? Hey, there's a weird blue symbol on the floor over here. Maybe put the Pegasus strike on it? It's worth a shot, I guess. There you are, Pegasus. But wait, what's he doing? He just summoned what looks like a giant ballista. What are we to do with such a weapon, though? If I'm remembering things correctly, we need to get some venom from the trap down here onto the tip of one of our spears and bring it to the arrow on the ballista. Then we fire that fucker at the egg way down by pack a punch, and a portal to Mount Olympus will appear. Please don't let this trap melt my flesh off. Phew, you're okay, Barack. Now to just get this up to the ballista. Don't worry, Donald, we're so close to freeing you. All right, Barry, fire that fucker. All right, Mr. Ballista, as Donald would say, you're fired. Head down to the center of the world. The gateway waits for you. Good luck, heroes of the multiverse. Well, this is it, guys. On the other side of that portal is the evil Trump. No offense, Isaac, but once we rescue Donald, we want answers from you. Right, of course. Well, let's not waste any more time then. Donald is waiting for us. Great, why does it have to be raining? I think catching a cold is the least of our worries right now. Easy for you to say, Jack, you have headgear on. Come on now, it's hardly the time for petty squabbles. Look there, that must be Mount Olympus. I think you're right. So then where's this imposter Donald at? Looking for me, Barack. Yeah, actually, where the hell are you, you creepy son of a bitch? I am far above you feeble mortals now. I am a god among men. I don't know, man. Sounds to me like you're too scared to face us. My powers would be a waste to use against you puny ants. Here's a better idea. You die like the animals you are to my loyal steed. Get them, Pegasus. Wait, Pegasus? 
shit, he must have used his magic to take control of Pegasus. I don't think we have any other choice. We have to fight Pegasus first. Damn it. I'm so sorry, Pegasus. I promise we'll set you free from this chump's control. How are we supposed to stop Pegasus with him flying around like that? Well, my Helion Salvo has a lock-on function, so I'll be able to get direct hits on him. It's the zombies trying to distract us that has me worried. You can be our primary DPS then, Brock. DPS? What do you think this is, Overwatch? Leave your nerd lingo at the door. Barry, just do what you do best and send a metric fuck ton of rockets his way. The rest of us will keep the zombies at bay and take shots with our wonder weapons when we can. Jeez, don't be a buzzkill, Bush. Anyways, we can also use those jump pads to travel between islands. Jump pads, huh? Whoa! It's a good thing it doesn't work anymore. Otherwise, my stomach would be very upset. More of these big bastards. When will they take the hint? Hey, Pegasus is over there. Let's go get him. I still feel bad about having to do this to poor Pegasus, especially after he helped us out earlier, too. It brings me no joy to have to do this either, especially since my home has a strong history with horses, even more so after my death. There you are. Knocked him out of the sky. Now's our chance to do some damage. The specialist weapons that Santa gave us are going to be our best option here. Isaac, you can just use the hand of Karen. You got it, George. Wait, did you say Santa? Long story, man. Just focus on Pegasus. Knocked him down over there. Come on. Please forgive me, Pegasus. This is for your own good, I promise. How could a man be so cruel as to use an animal for his evil scheme? This is no man we're dealing with, but an abomination who will do anything for power. Good thing our Donald didn't end up like him. I guess it's to be expected since he's a mythological creature. But boy, can Pegasus take a hit. If you can't kill a simple barn animal, what makes you think you have even a hope of defeating me? Don't listen to him. Pegasus is starting to show signs of weakness. I'm sorry, but it's time we put this wounded animal down for good. Useless horse! I don't know why I wasted my power on you, but I'll be taking it back now. Pegasus. No! Yes! I am truly Lord of Olympus! This power, it's insane. Are we going to be able to kill him? Stow your fears, Presidential Zomboys. He may be powerful, but he is not immortal. OK, then how do we defeat him? His arrogance will lead to his downfall. Look for an opening and strike with all your might. Hey, there he is. Give him hell and watch out for any attacks he throws our way. How did you acquire such power? Still, it won't be enough to stop me. That's what you think, Donald Duck. Unfortunately for you, we have the power of God and anime on our side. Damn you. There's no way Dementia Joe is hurting me. So he is capable of taking damage. Guess we just gotta keep the pressure on him with our wonder weapons. There he is again. Let's see how you like my scepter when it's shoved up your ass. Ah! Stop this at once! Sending more of your undead goons, huh? You were always the type to have others do your dirty work, Donald. Like on January 6th. Deep down, you're scared, though. You're not like our Donald. You've kept your heart closed where darkness has been allowed to fester. That's enough from you. I am a god now. You cannot stop what is coming. You're no god. You're a parasite who has bled the lives of others to advance your own goals. Your reign of terror ends today, though. Right here, right now. Damn right, Isaac. Donald, you can cosplay as some big important guy all you want, but you are still the same narcissistic loser you've always been. Stop it. Stop making fun of me. That's it. Donald's defenses are tied to his fragile ego. You've got his guard down now. Time to finish this, you big Oompa Loompa. This isn't happening. It can't be happening. Sorry, God Emperor Trump, but it was about time someone stood up to you for once in your rotten life. Only one Donald is leaving here alive, and it's not going to be you, buddy. You're fired. Fucking gross. I was just expecting him to fall over and die, not blow up into a million little chunks. Well, let's just be thankful it's done. And look here, he dropped a key. Perhaps this'll free the woman back in the temple. Most likely, but uh, how do we get back there anyways? And where the hell is our Trump at? You've done it. The false god has been defeated. 
I will now use what little strength I have to return you here. All right, lady, we defeated the evil Trump. Do you know where our Donald is? Yeah, there's a lot we need to talk about, and Donald should be here for it, once we know he's safe and sound, of course. I will open a portal to where he is being imprisoned. You three go get Donald. I'll stay back and free her from this chair. All right, thanks, Isaac. We'll be right back. Huh? Shit, I bet he's coming back to kill me. Please, just let me go. I don't want to die. Yeah, right, like we'd let you die, Donald. That voice. Guys, I never thought I'd see you all again. Come on, man, you know we'd never stop looking for you. Hold on, where's Don Jr.? We don't want him getting the jump on us. So about that, the fucked up other version of me straight up ate him. Safe to say he won't be a concern. But speaking of, did you guys manage to defeat the bad me? Damn right we did. He won't be causing any more chaos in this or any other timeline. And that's not all that's happened. We ended up in this western town where we ran into Zuckamore and Bill Clinton. Bill? How the fuck was he still alive? And what ended up happening with him? He escaped from the dark ether after his death, but turned over a new leaf once we talked some sense into him. Unfortunately, Cortifex appeared and reclaimed his soul. And now he's expecting a fight in the future, too. Well, isn't that just great? As if we don't have enough on our plate with Monty. Oh, and did you guys end up finding out who that mysterious woman who had been speaking to us was? I heard her voice briefly before being locked up, so I think she's around here. Isaac should have her freed by now. We have much to discuss with the both of them. Hold on, Hussein. Who the fuck is Isaac? He's this dude that appeared after you were kidnapped. He gave us a sentinel artifact. But other than that, he's shrouded in mystery. He's trustworthy, though. He helped us find you. Great, another player in this twisted game we're forced to play. Guess I better go introduce myself then. All right, back through the portal then, everyone. There you go, your shackles are undone. I must thank you, Isaac. You have truly been an important asset to the Zomboys. Now is the part where you tell me that you know more than you've been letting on. Who are you, really? As if you are in any position to ask such a thing of me. You have lied to the presidential Zomboys every step of the way. <sighs> there they are. Isaac, meet President Trump. Interesting getup you got there. But listen, I gotta thank you for helping my buddies out. I'd be dead without everyone's efforts. Right, don't mention it. I sense the same tension I did when you two first met. Is something the matter? As a matter of fact, yes, Joe. Your friend here hasn't been truthful with you. He has deceived you with his goodwill this entire time. That's not. And even worse, he has actively been trying to sabotage you four since the very beginning. Isaac, what the hell is she talking about? That's not true, is it? Now's the time to tell us everything. You sought us out for a purpose. You owe us an explanation of just who you are. I'm sorry to have kept you guys in the dark for so long, but she's right. I haven't been entirely honest. In that regard, it's quite ironic. Where do I even begin? Tell them the nature of your business with them, and the fact that you've been working for Dr. Monty. What? You're allied with that toothless snake? I knew I didn't like the vibes this guy was giving off. I mean, how could you three trust someone who dresses like a poor person? There's got to be some sort of mistake here. Isaac, I thought you wanted to help us because you agreed with our mission. I thought we had become friends. Joe, we are friends. Then why in the bloody hell does Monty know you? He's a deceiver, presidential zomboys. His word cannot be trusted now. Yo, bitch, how about you shut the hell up and let me talk? I'm going to explain everything from the day my life was thrust down this dark path to now. It all began the day I died. It was a day like any other. The country was just coming out of the bloodiest conflict in her short history. I had enjoyed great success the previous year, being granted more time to continue the job I had started. My wife and I decided to spend the evening out together. The ironic part is that neither of us wanted to be there. 
Still, it was supposed to be harmless, just the two of us and a couple friends watching some cheap entertainment. Midway through the performance, though, the unexpected happened. I died that day from a gunshot wound to the back of the head, and for 20 years I stayed that way, until the fateful day I met him. Rise and shine, Mr. President. What the... Where the hell am I? Last thing I remember was being at the theater. And what am I wearing? Try not to freak out, Abraham. But your little night out with the wife was about 20 years ago. What are you talking about, old man? Who are you? I go by many names. You can call me Dr. Monty, though. A pleasure to meet you. Okay, Doc. You mind telling me what you're blabbering about? How did I end up out in the middle of a field? Well, it's quite simple, really. Twenty years ago, you were shot by some bloke named John Wilkes Booth. Time marched on, and now you're alive again. Stop bullshitting me. Tell me the truth. Someone's in a pissy mood. I guess that's what twenty years of missed time will do to a man. But okay, I was lying. You're not alive. You're as dead as a doorknob. How could I be dead? I'm having a conversation with you. Don't believe me? Try and find a pulse in that body of yours, I guarantee you won't. What the hell? You're right, I can't feel my heart beating. Okay. Now we're on the same page and can get down to business. Truth be told, you've reanimated due to the universe falling apart. But guess what? You're gonna fix it. What are you even talking about? What does this have to do with me? Well, Mr. President, or should I say former President, there are successors of yours from the future who have ballsed up everything. It's my job to keep every universe in check, and that's a bit tricky when these rogue presidents have done everything in their power to fuck it up. So here's the deal. You take these presidents out for me, and I let you go back to the night of your death and change things. You're asking me to commit murder. Well, you can forget it. Just let me go back to being dead if that's the case. I wouldn't advise that. You're the only one who can do this for me. And if you don't, every reality will fall. That includes the past, present, and future. Countless lives will cease to be. Why me? Why can't you get George Washington or Andrew Johnson to do this? Well, Washington was tempting, but I couldn't look past the wooden teeth. And Johnson? That fucker nearly got removed from office. Listen, you were considered to be one of, if not the greatest president of all time, even centuries later. This is bigger than your country, though. The entire universe is calling upon you, Abe. If everything you're saying is true, I guess I don't really have a choice. I just hope the Lord can forgive me for committing the most grave sin of all. Tell you what, I'll put in a good word to the man upstairs for you. Oh, and you'll have to drop the whole honest shtick for a bit. Assume a false identity and all that. After that, Monty explained pretty much everything to me. The sentinel artifacts, the presence of zombies, etc. I needed to gain your trust, especially after Donald was separated from the rest of you. I never would have found him on my own. My god, you're gullible. You trusted Monty even after knowing he was British? Donald, we really have no room to talk. We trusted him too once. Still, I can't believe you lied to us, Isaac and plan on killing us. That's the thing, though. I don't want to kill you guys. You all showed me friendship, and a future worth being optimistic about. I genuinely believe what you told me about Monty, that he was using me. Isaac, no, President Lincoln. I owe my life to you. If you hadn't signed the Emancipation Proclamation, who knows how my life would have ended up. Yeah, and we all make mistakes. I believe your change of heart is genuine. The conversations we've had in the short time we've known each other are proof of our friendship and respect for one another. I mean, I don't make mistakes, and sure, I don't know you as well as these guys, but I always say that perhaps you are the only president who is better than me. You guys, thank you. Maybe together we can set things right. I've heard quite enough from you. Presidential Zomboys, do yourselves a favor and kill this stupid Republican. Hey, just what do you mean by that? Yeah, you got something against us Republicans or something? Something's rubbing me the wrong way about this bitch. Just who are you anyways? You have no reason to doubt me. But perhaps it is finally time I reveal myself to gain your trust.
Well, this will be interesting. No way. It was you all along? Well, I definitely didn't see that coming. Nasty Nancy Pelosi? Hello, Donald. It's been a while. Okay, someone fill me in. Who is this chick? That's Nancy Pelosi. She was Speaker of the House for a long time and a real thorn in Donald's side. Now, I know by this point in our journey, nothing should come as a shock anymore, but seriously, why and how are you here? Oh, Barack, I'm trying to make this world a better place. Well, for us at the top anyways. What exactly do you mean by that? How did you find out about the ether and Dr. Monty? You would be surprised what kind of information is out there, President Bush. Being a highly influential member of Congress, I was privy to many secrets others wouldn't normally have access to. Sounds like corruption to me, like how you trade and buy stocks knowing damn well you'll make a profit beforehand. My question is, how did you acquire the powers you clearly have now, and what led you to this place? Well, this isn't my first time here. In fact, I've been coming here for centuries, looking for the missing library of Alexandria. The library of Alexandria? That place is said to contain knowledge not meant for mortals, but wasn't it destroyed? Not destroyed, lost. And now that they're all together, the Sentinel artifacts will reveal its location. I love going to the library. Hey, Nancy, while you're there, can you check me out a copy of my favorite book, Gender Queer? I can never find a copy because Republicans are banning it. Shut up, Joe, this is serious. Nancy, just who or what are you? You're clearly no normal human if you've been around for this long. I don't know, but when's Medusa gonna show up? Remember in the game version of Ancient Evil, she was the oracle that was guiding the Chaos crew? What? Of course we don't remember that. We barely played shitty Black Ops 4. You've been sitting on that info this whole time, Joe? My bad. I forgot till just now. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Of course, I've been using magic to conceal my true appearance. I can't quite walk around Congress with snakes in my hair. Is this a joke? You're seriously telling us that you're Medusa? I'd be more than happy to prove it to you. I can turn you into stone in the blink of an eye if I so wish. Sheesh. I mean that Medusi would get me hard if you know what I'm saying. George, I hope to God you're joking right now. That's still Nancy fucking Pelosi. Getting back on track here, what's your goal? Usurp Dr. Monty as the one in charge? That's right, Donald. But there's still so much about the ether I still don't understand things that you could teach me since you ruled over it for a time. There's only one way to get that information instantly, though. Shit, I remember this from the ancient evil cutscene. She's gonna try and suck your dick for info, Donald. What? What? No, I just need to kiss you on the lips. Now pucker up, Donald. Hell nah, stay the fuck away from me. So you wanna play hard to get, huh? A shame, I was planning to allow you four to join me at the top, but I guess turning you to stone is the only option. I'm sure the library will have the information I seek. Shit, watch out! What are you... Uh, hey, what's the big idea? You could have messed up my perfect hair. Donald, I think he just saved your ass from turning to stone. Uh, I, 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 I don't understand. You should be a statue by now. That's never failed before. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm not your average president. Now, return to the darkness that you slithered out of forever. Ah, oh, there it is. Here, this sentinel artifact belongs to you guys. I guess at some point she swiped God Emperor Trump's from him. Thanks, Isaac. Er, I mean Abraham. Sorry, it's still a bit of a mindfuck. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta personally thank you. Back when you were president, you pardoned my great-great-grandfather. Really? It's a small world, I guess. But yeah, don't mention it. So what now? We have the Sentinel artifacts. So we should be able to confront Monty, right? Yeah, I'm ready to give that asshole a piece of my mind. <sighs> Not quite. There actually is one more Sentinel artifact out there. Medusa's plan wouldn't have even worked without it. Hope you guys have the will for one more adventure. Another one? And you're just telling us this now? Ah, uh, cut him some slack, Donald. Abe, hey, do you know where we can find this last artifact? Monty told me there was one in Japan that hadn't been found yet. I hope you all have a way to get there. Japan, huh? Well, the last time we were there, things didn't end up going that well. Rest in peace, Yamato. Abe, it doesn't sound like you'll be going with us. That's right. My time's starting to run out, I'm afraid. What are you talking about? Please don't leave us. We could use your help. I'm sorry, Joe. 
Medusa's attack. I don't know why, but it's just taking its time. I can feel it begin to change me. You mean you're actually turning to stone? That's not fair. That was supposed to be me, not you. Don't talk stupid, Donald. The world needs you more than it needs me right now. We can't just leave you here to die, though. Not after everything you've done for us. The outcome was always going to be the same. Monty likely would have killed me after finding out I betrayed him. My only regret is that I'll die here, and not on American soil. I'd do anything to lay my eyes on America and her beauty one last time. There's got to be something we can do. Can't these Sentinel artifacts do something? Come on, open a portal home. Look, I think you said the magic words, Donald. Huh. Well, if it brings me home, then I can die happy. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, we're in Washington, D.C. It sure looks a lot different than I remember. And what's this building supposed to be? It looks different to me, too. Actually, this is what things were like when I was a kid. This is supposed to be the Lincoln Memorial. But something's off. I get a memorial named after me? You really don't know how big of a legacy you left behind. Leading the nation through the Civil War, emancipating the African-American people, you are truly one of the most important figures in American history. And let's not forget, you helped us out in our quest to save the multiverse. We owe you a giant debt of gratitude. <laughs> it pleases me greatly to know that my life was worth something. And I know the country is still in good hands all these years later. Still, I gotta say, it seems like there's something missing here that would really make this memorial stand out. We must have come back in time to when the memorial is still under construction. This has got to be a paradox or something, because we're here for the finishing of this monument despite not remembering it happen. Well, that's time travel for you, I guess. I suppose all that's left now is to head up to my final resting spot. It's a hell of a view, man. I've been here more times than I can count just to take in the beauty of this country. I'm grateful. This way I'll be able to watch over my country forever. Yeah, and we'll be sure to come and visit too. Huh, you better. You don't gotta worry about that, Abe. I mean, you saved my skin back there. Speaking of skin, I feel mine starting to harden. I think it's time. You guys should head back home through another portal. We'll meet again in about four score or so. God bless you, President Lincoln. Thanks again for everything. I'm no good at goodbyes, but we'll meet again after all. You're the only president who I'll admit is better than me, just saying. We'll see you real soon, Abe. Promise. Looking forward to it. So long, my friends. Well, I think we made it home. Sure looks that way. Sorry we're late, Mr. President. Didn't mean to make you wait for a hundred years. It's only been a few seconds for us. I almost expected him to say something back. I'm sure he's looking down at us, telling us not to worry. We need to make sure he didn't sacrifice himself for no reason and find the last Sentinel artifact. It's somewhere in Japan, right? Guess we should head home and start doing some research or something. Yeah, after a nice long shower and some sleep, of course. Amen to that. Good luck, Mr. Presidents.